Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Glenn 2. You guys know what it is by now. I don't even know. It is what it is. It's one of those days. It's all right. We're already starting off. We're going. <laughs> yeah, like that intro? Professional. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing today? Well, it's Saturday for most of you guys. Maybe for in Australia, it's Sunday. I think it's Saturday today. It's Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's Saturday today. Oh, I got some sleep last night. Oh my gosh, it felt so good to actually get a decent amount of sleep. Yes, last night we've had some long streams. Man, dudes, it's been good. We've made some progress. Been a lot of laughs. I don't, I don't want to repeat yesterday, but yeah, you were there last night when we talked some stuff. But uh, dudes, so 18 hours tonight? Nah, nah, dude. I got stuff to do tomorrow, so. I need to get some sleep and get up and do a bunch of recording and all that stuff. Too many things to do. Who do we got in chat here, bros? Have in chat. Let's do a little quick rundown. We got David. We got Yark. We got John. Keith. JP. Hi, Bam. Joe. You already said your name. King. We got Darius. What's up, man? We got, well, we got me. We got Defiant. We got Beast. We got Miguel. Hope you got the chat open too as well, so. We got Grumpy, we got Double R, we got Varus. We got here. Try not to miss anybody. Peter. Here. Kyle. What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Yeah, I try to read, try to give myself a little bit more time today so I can go through and do all the comments and stuff for all the videos. And make my rounds today, too. So yeah. Also, too, you might hear Dopey a little bit more. Somebody did say that like you'll hear me clipping in and out. That's because I'm reading chat or I'm turning my head. My microphone is ex I was in recording mode. So I forgot to change my microphone back to non-recording mode so I could turn my head a little bit more and it picks up the microphone. So if I was, if I've been clipping out in and out, that's why it's because I'm reading chat. I turn my head and my microphone's like, no, I'm not picking it up. So I did, I did change my settings back to uh, streaming mode. So my microphone's a little bit better. So I can have a little bit more movement at my desk and you guys still pick me up. So that's what was going on with that. If you guys noticed that my sound or my, it was cutting out at the end of sentences because I was looking over to read somebody else's comment and kind of that was what was going on. So joy yeah but okay i did i i did something a little stupid last night so i remember i said i was going to get the time lapse video out for you guys what i did was i put the video up as a members only so that way it could process the hd feature of the thing but so most of you guys that were in the members only got it for like maybe like an hour it was like not hd but um i was supposed to have it out at four o'clock in the morning but i set four o'clock for tomorrow and I woke up and I was like, why didn't the video come out? And I looked, and I was like, because it's the fourth. It's not the fourth. That's nothing new. <laughs> Shh, really? Come on, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. But the V, but the V, you can't lie to him. Dude. They know better, Dopey says. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so I just made a boner and uh, and put it up for two. was going to be for tomorrow. So I changed that real quick as soon as I made a big boner move, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Made a boo boo. Cool, bro. Don't care. Just <laughs> say things to He's like, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Just start digging your hole, dude. They don't. They don't. They don't care, man. We get first. <laughs> we get first peak season VIP. Yeah. So, but the only problem is you guys are gonna get it generally at nighttime. Like, you're gonna get the uh, the time lapses, but they're not for the first like hour. Or so they won't be. Um, they won't be HD because it takes them a little bit of time. But I want to get them out and get them going. Uh, so I time them out so you guys get like three or four hours before everybody else on most of the videos now. So, works of being a VIP. Noob content creator moment. Delete the channel, start over. <laughs> That's right. That's been the story. That's Everyone's like, Split, have you ever gotten an intro to one of your streams correct in the amount of years you've been doing it? No, dude. Never. Actually, never. Look, I mean, look at the Q&As too. It's like, bro. Dude, why can't my character look at me anymore? What, dude? Stop! Wait, hey, hey, listen, dude. It knows what I did. It doesn't want. It doesn't want to look at me. <laughs> nope, you haven't. Exactly, man. No, never, never have ever gotten an intro correct. It's always been messed, even on very super important days. It's like, nah, dude. You think you could do one thing right, split? Let's get your intro down. No, 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 it doesn't happen. At least your character has a head. <laughs> True. All right, so what's the plan for the day here? We did, if you were not here last night until the very end, 
you missed a lot. So I think what we should do is recap what I, we were trying talking about a little bit last night before we get into the digging, let everybody kind of roll into chat a little bit and do that. So, okay, where do we begin? Yesterday, last night, end of stream, we discussed the future of this project and what it's going to be and what I was going to do with the original project at the end of season three. But yet we came over here because you guys all wanted me to start new, right? So with season three, I was going to be doing a two scale Hoover Dam project, right? I was going to, that's what I was going to be doing. It was going to be a two, because at the end of the season three recap video, I'm going to be doing a project to scale, big, massive thing. Woo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I didn't mean my mic for that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be doing a, we were going to, I was going to be doing a project to scale. It's going to be massive. You guys, a lot of you guys know I like to do the builds as well as the digging, but I also like to do the builds that make sense with the digging. So just digging a hole to dig a hole is cool and all, but digging to hole, digging a hole for a purpose, excavating or doing this earthwork for a reason is even more fun to me, right? So prepping everything out before I have to do something to say, if I had to put footings in or something like that, I want to simulate digging those things out and those projects. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it over here. Now, there's a few questions that come up, and I'll be asking you guys here those questions pertaining to the hard mode survival, because at some point, we have to cut hours back, right? We have, and I know you're like, no, Split, you're not, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Here, and here's the reason, I'll let you know why. If you weren't here, this is what we're going to be doing. I am building mega dam project but yet on this map right this map i am building a mega project everything that we're doing is going to be for building that project right so what the plan is is we're going to be building a massive dam like still but we're not going to build the hoover dam because the hoover dam is has a an issue with the building system because i've already kind of built the hoover dam on my other map and it just caused chaos the problem is is that it's over 100, 100 to 200,000 blocks that I'm going to need to be placing to build this project. Over, well over 100,000. Uh, season two was, was about 100,000 blocks. This will make that look like nothing. All right, so we have to be very careful of what we're doing. And that's going to take an extreme amount of time if I have to craft every block, right? And you guys want me to keep building standards and stuff like that and like safe practices, so to speak. That's part of the challenge. So eventually we're going to have to ditch something right from the viewer challenge. So at some point you guys are going to have to go, okay, split. It's fine. The viewer challenge is over. Go hardcore, but keep it still real. It's realistic, right? So at some point that's going to have to happen in this playthrough because it's, I can't go for a thousand. I can go for a thousand hours and play the season for a thousand hours. But the problem is I will lose most of you guys in that process. Cause you're just like, dude, that, that part of the project took like a hundred hours and I didn't want to watch that for a hundred hours. Right. So that's kind of the, the issue with these viewer challenges versus doing something crazy like that. Right. I do want to experience the viewer challenge. I do want to have fun with that. But after a certain point, we're going to have to bring it to a vote and say, okay, the viewer challenge is done. Now go hardcore into the project and, and stuff like that. Right. And it's, yeah, like just to get the, just to get all the equipment and the preparation work to even build this project, we're probably looking at hundred to hundred, 150 hours, maybe more. So it's going to be a massive, 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 massive thing uh, to deal with. Right. So it's okay. It's we're early off in this whole thing, but I wanted to keep you guys informed on what will most likely happen. So to kind of like go over what I did yesterday real quick, or I was talking about yesterday. So the pro the the dam project is this. We're gonna we're gonna be going at a little lower of a point down here like this, probably about right here. And I'm gonna be making the first dam part right here. So we're gonna go straight across this. I'm gonna be I have to I have to put in. I'm gonna have to do a little road system to kind of go around and work my way in so I can get the trucks and everything over to the other side, the equipment. I have to strip this whole hillside here. Has to go. And all the road work and stuff like that, the pre work, so I can get the equipment over and everything like that so we're going to be building the straight dam across this way and then i'm going to be putting a road big enough on top of it so i can go back and forth once we're starting to build the project 
Um, I'm not going to be able to, however, use uh, world grid. So I'm going to have to literally be doing this with snap mode, which is completely fine because it's, it's not angled to the grid properly. If we go into the build grid build. See how it's at an angle, right? I don't want to build this. Any, I mean, I could go over here and use the grid to put it at an angle. It doesn't have to be straight across that ravine because this whole area is going to get changed. I have to prep this whole area. Right, so I could do a grid snap and go like this and build my my bridge my, at an angle and make it a little easier for myself, but it might be a little bit more work than I want. So I just keep it simple and do snap. It just means I have to be very good on my alignment and stuff. Uh, let's see. So the first tier of the dam is going to be going this way, and then we're going to have to dig all this out and set it off and down here. This might be an area for a nuclear bomb to go off in this canyon because this canyon has to be massively trenched out so it might have to set a few nukes off in this area or just use graymite and blow it off in strips and then doze it out so most likely i already know you guys are probably going to vote for not using nuclear bombs because it's just you know a massive amount but that will cut probably 150 hours out of the uh the equation there right because i do need this canyon to be detonated to a certain point down into here there's going to be an outflow tunnel this way and there's going to be one that comes in under here as well. And then those are all going to be cement cased in. And then we'll build the foundation part down here. And then we'll be moving down in tiers. So when the water blocks come in from the... When the water blocks come in from the deco pack, I'll be able to push them right up against the backside of the dam. And simulate this whole area being flooded with the dam working and then down here below i'll be putting like concrete step and then there'll be like a little area and then it'll be another one another dam going down and then down in that area is going to be where the hydroelectric things are kind of like it's, so it's gonna be a match between like the hoover dam and some of the other big modern triple dams and stuff like that that you see today so uh, that's kind of how we're going to be simulating that and then the rest of the canyon will just be filled with water blocks down here it'll be just a nice big beautiful dam that will re-put in trees Stuff like that with the deco pack. So this is kind of like a project leading up to the deco pack because we don't really know when that's coming out, right? So going into that, that's that's the mega project for this build. It's going to be massive. It could take up to a thousand hours. I hope not. <laughs> it's a monster, absolute monster. I said, we're looking at over a hundred, hundred, two hundred thousand blocks. Uh, are you building the power plant with that? I mean, kind of a simulated. Can't you do a little bit of both? Exactly. Yeah, I can do a little bit of both. If that's what you mean, like kind of like mixed. It doesn't have to be an exact replica of a current dam because we just don't have the building angle pieces that, that would make it look like one of those dams, but I can kind of simulate it a little bit. But the shape of the Hoover Dam with the arch and stuff like that, when I, when I did that in other save, when I did that in another save to kind of test if the build was even possible, I had to, I had to voxel block in, or I had to pixel block build and the problem is, is it made way too many blocks that were clipping into each other and causing that like that tensilation tear looking like shit jittery stuff. And the whole wall was like that. And it was causing my frame rate to be like one frame per second. Right. So it, um, it definitely was an issue. So that's why I'm going to go with more of like a straightforward, like modern ravine dam that they do, especially in like Turkey and things like that. Right. So we're going to kind of go with that style of, of a dam. A thousand hours over the course of 24 hour days isn't that many days yeah but uh we can't do 24 hour days i gotta work dude <laughs> like you know can't do that many days not anymore anyways all right let's, before we get into the building here let's take a look at something here this make sure dopey streams going good shut up youtube stop telling me to spam them with ads all right. YouTube's like, this would be a great time to throw ads at them. No, you're absolutely wrong. Not happening. You don't want to finish it badly then? No, because, it, you know, I want to actually complete a project because, and something that we kind of discussed about uh, an issue with mega projects and Out of War. The issue with mega projects with Out of War is. If you're especially if you're doing them on like a like a survival style playthrough is that the odds that you get to finish it are very low because the fact is is that every month christian's doing something to the game that's most likely probably going to break what you're doing so that's the issue 
The other issue is, is you guys getting bored. And you can't tell me that you won't. Because it happened in Season 3 when we were doing all that major mega project stuff. That you guys hit that limit of wanting to watch. The burnout factor on these games is very high. You'll even see the viewership drop massively over a period of a week. So, you know what I mean? Then I'm, then I'm stuck with this giant project that nobody wants to watch. Or only a handful of people want to watch. And that gets a little monotonous and... Well, I like to chat when I'm playing, so. You gonna be building an Eiffel Tower? Is it gonna be the one that's on fire? I know you're messing with me, dude. I know you're messing with me, dude. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's a tough one. So I, that's what I'm thinking. That's where my head's going with this build. Like I said, I really want to do something with the other one. I wanted to do something with the other one. This is what I was going to be doing with the other playthrough. And, you know, I'm bored. Make donuts with equipments. So, yeah, we're going to keep progressing. We're still going to be keeping in mind, but we're going to we're going to work towards what we need to work towards. Um, And I need money for a dozer. I mean, plain and simple. A dozer right now is going to be... I need that dozer. That dozer needs to happen. Because I need to push... I need to start... Everything I do needs to be in preparation for the infrastructure to build the dam. Right? So, the first thing I got to do is I need to start digging my way this way here. Right? I know we have this, this, this project where we're getting ore. But if I can start producing pay dirt out of here and putting pay dirt into this cut and cutting along this wall... I need to do that. But the thing is, I would love to have the dozer to do that first. To just rip off all the pay. Or all the bad pay. I don't want to run bad pay. <laughs> just more split of shit himself on earthquake stories. Well, you get those type of stories when I do, do these type of playthroughs. But yeah, we need to... We need to push all this. The dozer needs to dump this off the side here. We need to move this in. I need to put a retaining wall in here. Right? So a retaining wall is going to go in. And then when I push all my dirt over here, it's going to fall down in, build up, flatten this out, flatten all this out, flatten all that out. So that way I have a place to be kind of like a staging area. In the meantime, I also need iron. So we found an iron node that we're going to mine. The iron node is right down here. We're going to keep everything close to the build site. That's right down here. So we're going to be building, we're going to be building a little road to get up there. So we're going to be building a little hall road to get in. So up and around back over here. So that's going to be one thing that we're going to need to do. That's that's another uh, infrastructure project. So when we start getting the haul trucks, we're going to be this is where we're going to be pulling our, um, our iron out of. And this is almost likely going to be flattened off. This is actually the uh, underside of this hill. Eventually, this hill is going to be knocked down. So we're going to need to detonate it from the inside and make it fall down. All this will be gone and flattened. This mountain, all this is going to be flattened and gone. Pretty much all this is going to be flattened. Then I need to get across to the other side. And I need to world grid a block in as a marker so I can have my height marker. The last thing you want to do is build a project and your height on this side is different than the height on the other side. So what I'll do is I'll world grid a, a block in here like, like say where my level is. And then we'll go to the other side and make sure we snap it into that uh, same place, right? So we know that we know our height is the same so when we're dozing and doing all that work and then we'll start building the dam. So, Roslyn, thank you much for the uh, sub. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome to the channel. As well as anybody else that's new that might have subbed over the last, like, hour or even before off stream. Much love. Thank you, guys. You dropped some nukes, man. Uh, what country am I from? Canada. Born and raised in the States, but live here in Canada for the last uh, 11 years. 12, 12 years? Something like that. Something around those. Something around there. Dobie says 12. The sad... Make an excavator. Think it beat me. Yeah, so that's that's the project. That's the project I would like to do. It's always how it's always nice to have something to work towards. Sorry, drinking some. Did I write down this to-do list? No, it's pretty much ingrained in my head last night because after I said it, I was like, damn dumb. I just sat here and told poop jokes for like three, four weeks straight and been fine. 
I got all this work to do. Good job, Split. But it's always better to try to do something and fail than to do nothing at all, so that's what's going on. Amanda said, stop putting pulls up, stupid. <laughs> Just give yourself more work. That's okay. I like the uh, I like that on this type of game. Glenn as well, too. Well, you can welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, that's the uh that is to the to-do list. Now, in what order do I start them? Right? In what order do I absolutely start doing all of this work? Okay, so now that we know what we're doing and what we're working for, what order do I start in? First off, we need money. How do we make money on this save? Gold. So right now we have everything that we do towards that project. I need to be earning money in some way. That means I need to be running some type of pay dirt. So I think for me, the best thing to do to start getting pay dirt would be to continue working in this area here and try to not use the underground mine because I'm using a lot of resources in here and I'm wasting a lot of time trying to build those resources. However, this is my pay pit right now. This is where I'm getting the money to get those bars. So what I'm thinking is eventually this mine shaft is going to be closed and I will take out all the bracing and then we'll probably end up detonating the ceiling and dropping the ceiling down. And then that way it becomes level and then I can doze it and level it with everything else. So we're probably going to do that to drop it down. And because underground is so underground is nice. It's fun. But it's technically slower because you're in a compact little area and it's very hard to get like it's, it's not hard but it's, it's it's a slower process it's a slower process to mine underground right so this is great to start out this is great and get nice and it's fun but we need to get to more industrial size mining and stuff like that that we need hope we got lost in the dungeon <laughs> catching you live while driving new mines looking good hell yeah brother hell yeah man so i would like to take a little bit more out of here because just because we need the cash, we need the we need to get those um we need to get those sluice boxes working over there. We need three to, we need about six thousand gold bars, which is an insane amount. To get to get a dozer. To even just get the cheapest well, to get the cheapest dozer, we need about three thousand bars. Same thing like a little bit more than three thousand bars, right? To be able to get the, to get to be able to get a baby dozer. But a baby dozer, we can do a lot of work with a baby dozer. So we don't need the big boy for like one point eight million. We don't need that yet. And we just need to be able to get this stuff moving. So I would like to be able to dig and keep digging through here. Because like I was saying, eventually I'll remove the ceiling. Eventually I'll remove the ceiling and I'm going to start blasting until we see daylight. Right? And it's going to bring all that material down here. And we'll start removing the cribbing. And we'll start bringing it all down. And then that way I can scoop it up and get it out of here and put it in the box. And get rid of the tunnel. So we're just digging this thing out from the inside. I enjoy how all your calculations are done in gold bars now. Yeah, it's the, I just, I don't know. It just felt, it felt like a fun system to follow versus everything else at the moment. There's so many different ways to get money and that seemed like it wasn't too, I mean, to making steel and making steel parts and selling them or making concrete and concrete blocks and selling them seemed to be just a little too OP. So, but if, if it comes down to that and the viewer challenge is over with, then it goes into build hyper mode, we'll start doing that. But I want to build at least my base fleet with uh, gold bars, right? So, as you guys know, I like running pay dirt. And it's great to only have to mine these nodes when we need items, right? So, I keep it to that. Oh, okay. So, that being said today, how did you, did any of you guys watch the time lapse? You guys saw my, you guys saw how it like went backwards in time? <laughs> like, Man, so disappointed, actually. It's not disappointed like Christian. Like, damn it. Dude. Like, I'm more disappointed that I can't get the time-lapse footage like I was at the end of Season 3. The Season 3 time-lapse was like, holy shit. Time-lapse I did yesterday, I was like, I hate this. Like, because I used to record, I used to record 10, like I said, 10 to 20,000 clips. This was only like a couple thousand. So it gave me like, it doesn't give you that super smooth time-lapse feeling, right? And uh, I'm hoping that Christian can get that fixed. It, it's, it's not going to get fixed before the the next update, most likely, or the uh, vehicle next generation, like he was saying. So, going to have to bear with another a season of subpar uh, time lapses, guys. I'm doing both gold and steel. Taking a bunch of steps, chain.
yeah it's a it's a hard balance on what what you want and how fast you want to go i mean i don't mind like i said i don't mind the suffering people like to call it suffering i call it content it's actually it it makes it something to do every day right you're constantly always working and you're constantly always doing something and isn't that what we all want in this type of games anyways isn't that what we want like so why skip it if you know I me mean, i i've seen people complain and complain and complain about having things to do in this game and then when they're given that they're like that's it's too long it's too hard i don't want to work i just want all my equipment now well then why did you say it in the first place you know what i mean like you you got what you wanted you just didn't like the way it was given to you you know what i mean like so it's like can't can't have your cake and eat it too sometimes you know Dopey, if I have cake, I'm definitely eating it. <laughs> right. Oh, getting internet at the RV? Dude, that's awesome, man. Be able to play some ships again, buddy. Okay, well, I need thousands of pay dirt. What do we have in the box right now? Let's take a look at our inventory here. We have 3,761 pay dirt. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Get these things popping. Let's get them filled up. Let's get them. Let's get them moving here. Get them going one at a time. We're not worried about money. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill one of them all the way up. So now we know this is pretty much one, two, three, four, five. We'll just say five hours, even though it's not. Give it an estimate, rough estimate, guesstimate there. You know what I mean? And we'll do the same thing. We'll just start slamming these in so we know. And then within five hours, I can definitely obviously fill these up even more. And we know we're going to have money coming in. We already have almost 500 bars. Pull the gold out of these as well. Get them moving. Get some get some more gold smelted. Kind of give us an idea. Oh. So one of them is pretty much good for around five hours. Oh, and we already have some gold over here. So we actually have more than we thought. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, dude. Dude, easy, easy buddy. Which one? The li the little one. Be attacked by the little the little one. Yeah. So we don't have any iron in here, so we need to grab see if we have any iron in this pile. And we do have a little bit of iron. We have some steel, since we still have to reinforce. Get everything kind of going for the day. Four thousand gold bars will be uh fifty-eight five hundred and uh, eighty-eight thousand. Yeah. It'll be we don't need four thousand, but four thousand would be nice to get the uh to get the dozer, right? So the dozer is First dozer would be actually, yeah, the first dozer is we're going to go with this one. Yeah, we need 540,000. So we need for this guy. That's a big boy. We need some, we need some gold bars. So we got to get slapping this in. <clears throat> Just like the I love you watch, watch play when uh, live when I play. Yeah, man, that's what I said. It's more of like a podcast. Most of you guys I know are playing. That's why when I know when I know chat's getting quiet, I know all you guys are playing. And you know what? That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want you guys playing and chilling and relaxing. And uh, sometimes I'll throw my music playlist on, but it's like I said, it's all copyright free shit. So I generally don't do that because sometimes a lot of people seem to say they don't really like when I play music. They're like, nah, dude, it just distracts from what you're saying and, and uh, everything else. So. Okay, so the thing is, is we're probably going to hit a lot of dirt here. Just digging for your future factory. Yeah, man, I, I was, I made my rounds today. Everybody, uh, it seemed like everybody was streaming. I went to everybody's uh, channels and stuff like that. As many as I possibly could here today before getting mine going. Just drop in and see how you guys are doing, saying hello. It's nice to see all you guys playing and making content.
Like I said, there's a lot of you guys, so if I didn't uh, didn't stop in, I apologize. A lot of you guys, I'll try to make my rounds. Try to split the time in there. So it's good to see all your guys' mind projects. It's good to see all the different ways that everybody's playing the game. Everyone's having fun with it. Everyone's critiques. It's always nice. Let's see here. Bailey's in your coffee? Hmm. I've gone with cold coffee the last couple days, actually. Maybe make a pot before bed and then let it cool down and then stick it in the fridge and and do it all up and nice iced coffees. You like the met? You like when I do metal in time lapses? The, oh, so the other reason why I don't do heavy metal really that much is because only a select hand few of people listen to it, right? And if I make it a little bit more softer, like like I did with this time lapse. It's a little bit more easier for a majority of people to listen to. Because not like listen, not everybody's a rap fan, not everybody's a country fan, not everybody's a uh, you know blot every genre you everybody likes, right? So would it make more sense to place a sorter Cromwell before storage shed? Uh, no. Right, right now there's no reason for me to be sorting anything at all out all, at all at all really to be honest. This version of the game, the wash plants are actually kind of useless. In a sense, they really are. Right? Like, they, they don't... Early game like this, there's really no point in having a wash plant. Like, mathematically as well. Until you get to bedrock. And then bedrock is the only time you really need a plant. Nice little chunk for rubies and stuff. Yeah, I don't really need rubies though. I mean, I can sell rubies and stuff, but I'd rather do the straight conversion with these little wash plants to gold because it's a guaranteed amount of money versus it's a it's a guaranteed five to one, which is nice. Then you can bank on it per hour, right? So that way I know how much money I'm making an hour exactly if I keep those things fed, right? So it's like, okay, if I fill every one of those and I keep them running all day long, I will have this many gold bars at the end of the day. I can calculate it and I can bank it. I know it's going to be there and I know it's going to going to be rocking out, right? So that's that's why it's really nice. And this area kind of sucks ass, so we're going to say we're going to have a lot of earth, we're going to have a lot of dirt. But we got to get it done. We got to push. I don't have a dozer, so rip me. And I don't have that much money for explosives, so also rip me as well too. If I would I would let about a 3-400 brick of explosives out right now if money wasn't a problem, but I would dig out with Draymond and just massacre this uh, Tepater and then just run it. These are DRI playing in the background. Uh, we got some questions here. Anybody help me with the XP, please? I hit a I hit a brick wall. I'm not earning hardly anything, and I use the uh, the fast pick and are cutting trees down. I've been selling gold, making steel bars for cash. Um, gold, gold is a good way of doing it, but you need a lot, right? So like, if you're trying to get for like four or $500,000, you're gonna need like 3000 gold bars, right? So it's, it's a very slow way of making money. It's more of a hard survival style of building, but what you're gonna wanna be making money is you're gonna wanna be doing like cutting trees down and making wood products that don't take a lot of materials, but still sell for like two to 3000, take the 30% off of that. And you're gonna be making a decent amount of money. But if you're trying to go for XP, XP is XP is kind of rough right now without the pickaxe because the equipment doesn't give XP and selling to the plant doesn't give as much XP anymore. It's kind of broken at the moment. So it's going to be it's going to be kind of a rough grind because the balance of the game for the leveling system is not really polished right now with this patch. I would say it's not meshing well with each other. So it's it's kind of a tough one. That's why I decided to make the I made the, the decision to, to keep my level 70 because I saw that there was too many holes in the leveling progression system uh, from the open pit mining patch. What's up, Brennan? Yeah, the buy, the buy menu and all that UI and stuff like that is a little uh, jank right now. Oh, and I, need, and I need to get the drones running too, so give me a second here, guys. We are at 73 likes, man. We're, we're not too far off from the 100. Let's see if I was right. 
See if I was right, we're at 38 minutes here, dudes. Okay, so yeah, we're going to work on this hill. It's not going to yield me much money, but we're going to kind of get some space. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go... I'm going to start cutting in. I'm going to start cutting in and widening this thing out. I'm going to go in. Because like I said, eventually we're going to dig this whole thing out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to implode it from the inside down. So... I have a corrupted save up here. It's weird because it's an inventory file. I don't know what it is. It's really odd. It happened last night. I don't know what it was doing. Something strange. Ask Christian about that. Let's see. Actually, hold on. Let me see how much pay dirt I actually have. You can't even change the time or the weather. Uh, hit M. In here. It's right here. I can change mine. Mine works. Weather works. The weather automatically goes back to automatic, though. So if you want to change the weather, I always just keep mine on automatic or I'll keep it on, like, clear sky. Actually, the one I actually prefer the most is I actually prefer light clouds. It gives you a nice amount of light. Just the right amount of light. So I always try to start my day off, like, down here around 8. Gives you a nice little, gives you a nice, a nice sun. And then we, it'll creep across the sky throughout the day, like an eight hour, nine hour stream. And eventually at the end of the stream, it'll be like over here somewhere. Yeah, no problem, Looney dude. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer. Some things are just not linking up quite right now. You know what I mean? Cause like I was saying, this patch, it completely, dude, he underestimated when he said that how much work they did on the back end of the game. You can tell they completely gutted this game over this last month. Performance-wise, as well as, like, all the back-end stuff. And you guys know why they would have had to done that. It's obvious. It's common sense. Multiplayer's coming. So, all that stuff is going to be messed up for a little while until it all gets fixed and linked back in and fixed. And and it's all one good unit again. But, yeah, the uh, Open Pit Mining patch introduced leveling. Now, this patch introduced, like, a whole new production style crafting and nothing's kind of linking up to make a reason uh, make a thing but then again like for myself we were never really told to go through and look for balancing things and things like that so i think you know you guys the players can do that while we're doing that and kind of give ideas maybe what you guys would like to see in the suggestions and leaving bug reports and these things some of these things aren't bugs it's just balancing right they're not bugs they're just balancing so yeah think of it that way they're not really a bug it's just not balanced properly yet We only have one drone. That's a, that is a bummer, man. I love the multiple drones and I love the one second cams. I'm going to try to go back to the one second camera. Is the game worth buying? Absolutely. If you love digging holes and playing with heavy equipment, there's no better game right now. No better game, I don't believe. If you just like digging holes and running around the world and doing crazy shit and building crazy stuff, there's no other sandbox digging game that's going to beat this in total. Um, as far as all those things, right? And it's cheap, so it's like 20 bucks. A couple days worth of coffees and holy crap, right? All right, so here's our drone. We're out here. Let's do some, let's do some outside this pit mining today. Set up a shot. Make sure our shots are good today. Oh, also too, you notice, remember how dark my frames were? I did a lot, I did a, a, lot, of, a lot of color matching and uh, color editing in the uh, video. So that it brought, it brought everything up a little bit better. Because these, this footage from the drones can be a little on the dark side, so. He wants to lay in her bed. Come here, hold on, we gotta, baby kitty needs her, he needs her bed back. He's like, hey dude, you got stuff in my bed, bro. Too. I got that. One second. Come here.
Really? Dude. Stupid cat. Freaking cats, dude. I like to give you guys the full thing. If I'm doing a time lapse, I like to give you guys the full shot here. We're gonna go we're gonna go one second though. We're gonna go one second because the three seconds seemed a little bit too like around. The one second is a lot better. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna try three thousand. Okay, we're gonna see how this works today. We're gonna try three thousand frames. It'll give me a little bit of time before it tries to export and it'll give me a little bit more running time because I'm going to be doing a lot of digging right here. So what you guys need to watch for is when I get out here around here, you need to tell me to readjust the camera, right? When I get out of this frame, tell me to readjust and I'll move the camera. Okay. Or if I start potatoing, then I need to uh, adjust as well. I should move this a little bit more like that. Okay, let's see here. I have some more questions before we get digging here. Sweet, thank you. I love farming Gold Rush. And this looks like... Yeah, dude, James, I think you're going to like this game, dude. 100%. Split, hope, you, hope you're having a great time. Uh, thanks for another great stream, dude. No problem, Christopher, man. Hey, brother. Stop in and out. Say hello. Here. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Stefan, how are, how are we streaming two live games uh, at a time? Uh, the other one is pre-recorded. That is my wife. She is... Don't be... This isn't pre-recorded. I don't take kindly to that. <laughs> no, you can... On YouTube, you're allowed to stream on your channel up to like eight times. I am... Yeah, I'm... I. So you're allowed to do eight separate stream keys and have eight separate streams running. So my computer is actually running both of the streams. Um... So, but Dope, Dopey's all Dopey has to do is just open up the chat panel, pop it out on her uh, second monitor, and she's good to go. And then I have my stream running and stuff like that. So if I jumped into Dopey's stream right now and started talking, and you had both the channels up and running at the same time, you'd hear a delay because you'd hear me on my stream and her on her stream. We can't watch her? What do you mean? Of course you can. What are you talking about? Choose not to watch her? That's okay. That's okay. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I understand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, she's she's live. You can watch both at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the recording. Give her a rip. Let's go. We got a lot of material to move, dudes. Yeah, if you're on TV, it won't let you open up multiple tabs, right? I understand that completely. I think on the phone, you can't either. I'm not sure. I think maybe on the phone you can, but I'm not sure how you do that. I'm not sure how some of you guys do that. But Jeff, definitely what you want to do is you want to mute one of us, right? But only when we're in when we're in the stream together talking to each other, it's better to mute one of the streams, right? It's, be it's better to mute one of the streams because then you'll get like that feedback echo, right? With both of us talking. Uh, out of war is going to be crazy though dude think of it this way when multiplayer comes not only you're going to be watching my view but you're going to be watching dopey's view you can watch dopey's view because she like she said she she she's going to sit in the rock truck sometimes she just wants to chill and listen to music and stuff so you'll be able to sit and chill and watch and and um stuff like that but however i'm also bringing back the ability to change to dopey's view and uh so you guys will be able if i'm not if i'm doing something stupid and dopey's doing something crazy funny or flipping a truck or doing something crazy like that I'll be able to switch to her view, but on my stream and she'll still be doing her stream. So yeah, boys. Oh, like we did on farm sim on Twitch. So multiple views, multiple streams. Yeah, dopey cam. Yeah, I did it on construction simulator. The only reason why we had to uh, stop doing that was because Dopey's computer was like our my super, super old computer from like seven, eight years ago. Like actually like probably like 15 years. It was an i7, uh, 2600K, and it was just having a hard time running the games and doing everything like that. So 
we had to kind of end doing that. It was giving her problems and stuff like that, but really cool feature. So we're going we're gonna to go back to that now that we have a lot more horsepower in the computer department and just start rocking it out, dudes. Giving you, that, giving you guys that content in this uh, out of war game like nobody else. Have you on the phone and the other TV? Ah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Use the phone for like chatting and stuff like that and then watch it on your TV. Yeah, it's a good thing, dude. 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. How many minutes are we in? 40. Will Dopey be joining me in Out of War? Uh, yeah, some days. Dopey's going to be a part of the RP series for sure. 100%. I mean, I can't, can't do RP... Can't do RP without Dopey, right? But uh, as far as streaming goes, she said she'll sit down and stream. Um, she'll be streaming with me and stuff like that some of these days. Will 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 she stream it by herself? She said most likely not. Probably not. It's probably a no. She's, she's one of the players that just wants to be a rock truck driver, and she's perfectly fine just chilling and listening to music and chatting with you guys and being stupid and making fun of me and stuff like that, so... Which is awesome because everybody in this world needs rock truck drivers, right? Everyone's going to need rock truck drivers. While, while is it the most glorious job on the mine site? Absolutely not. But they are obviously the unsung heroes of every mine site. That's why everybody likes rock truck drivers but hates them at the same time. I should say hates them. Everybody likes them, but everybody hates being a rock truck driver, even in real life. That's what it is. What's up, droid? I mean, everybody needs rock truck drivers. There's no way to get around it. It's not. It's not an amazing job. It's super boring. But then again, but then again, in real life, excavating is super boring too. You'll fall asleep. The hardest part of the job is not falling asleep. I think, I think pound for pound a lo being in a loader and lo operating with a loader real life is actually more it's i don't know it's it's just i i, I like it better than than an excavator excavation you just get it can get very boring if you're if you're just on a side if you're in a very tight cramped area then it's a little bit more okay shit i gotta be on the ball but if there's no one around for a while and you're just scratching pay you can you can fall asleep and not off dude it's dark there's hardly any lights like you can't see shit and like it's it's just you're just staring off into the darkness right a loader there's a lot more movement and stuff like that going on so it's a little bit easier to stay awake um and rock truck is a little bit uh yeah you gotta be on your game at all times right all roads are narrow you always gotta worry about falling off the edge you always gotta worry about the slippery edges and the slopes and the bends your weight distribution everything man Freaking dragon coming in with the freaking first board of the day. Dropping a 10 banger, dude. Can we get some hypes in the chat for dragon, dude? Much love, brother. Much love, man. And get ready for those baby excavators. Let's go. As well as I'd like to say, the guys that donated off stream last night. Trying to wake me up and shit. Three in the morning. <laughs> you guys <laughs> you, <laughs> these guys be donating off stream to like try to like wake me up and shit dude you guys are amazing but suck ass dude <laughs> that's why all notifications get turned off with my tablet and everything like that i'll be sleeping and like matthew will be like five dollar donut you weak <laughs> he knows i'm recording and it's like and the Varus did it the other day too. Varus dropped a 30 bomb and it was like, here's for the server, yo. And I'm like, it made me stutter so bad. Like <laughs> I had to like stop the recording, and just edit part of it out. Cause I was like, okay, gosh, damn it. What a question on DC. What do we got here? What did I get here? Pull up here for a second. On Discord? Shit, I don't got Discord open. One second. Or hold on, where's it at? Give me a second. I'm not prepared today. Discord. Where you at? Where you at? Where we at? What channel? Actually, sorry. I'm going to 
Uh, here is it. How do you transfer money from uh, the company that doesn't doesn't? You have to go into your other save and you have to do something in your save. Apparently, I didn't transfer mine over, so I just brought my thing. So I'm not too positive on that. Uh, I'm gonna be in the so okay, guys. If you want to leave me questions in Discord, my Discord, I'm gonna be in the Out of War channel. I'm gonna have that open, and I'm gonna scroll down to ye bottom. And if you want to put questions stuff like that in there and show pictures, and then reference them in the in the chat. But generally, try, try, try to try to type in the actual this chat in here if you guys have questions stuff like that. This is the one I mainly look at, but I will I will bring up my Out of War Discord, um, on there. So join the Discord and uh, post your pictures and stuff like that of your mind sites in there and everything like that. So make it a little easier on me today, guys. Double R dropping the gift as well. That's what I get for trying to reach out. And I'm gonna like run him a box. Thank you much, buddy, for that support, dude. Yeah, go to the bank screen, transfer funds. Option at the bottom. There you go. Yeah. Thank you much, Darius. Yeah, that's how you transfer your funds. XP, I think you had to do. Just log into your other save and hit save. You had to do something. How do you spell it out? <laughs> up snippy if you guys got a if you guys got a gifted dudes and you guys are here watching say thank you to the guys that uh that dropped it these guys are super generous man they drop they drop hundreds of gifted subs a month helps my wife and helps you guys out get content all the time lapse footage that happens after the stream will be vip until early morning so that's one perk of uh having vip if you do not have uh gifted members turned on make sure you do so one of my mods will post how to do that in the chat here shortly, hopefully. You guys can let me know when we hit 100. It'll work, dude. Eve, New Jersey. Our oh, heads a painter down here. I like that. That's nice. That'll help me out. So we're going to skim this off and then explosives. Anybody <laughs> explosives? <laughs> no dozer need explosives. How much are the explosives? How much do drain might cost in this right now in here? Should we light off an explosive stretch here in a little bit? Just a good little, just a good little top notch off the top up there. Good little rimmer around the outside. What do you guys think, chat? Do a nuke? We're not doing a nuke. Come on, get out of here with that right now. So I'm thinking possibly doing a rim across here like this, just detonating this top off. What do you guys think? Oh, David dropping the five as well. Much love, brother. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, dude. Blow stuff up, dude. Nothing wrong with the ring job. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, we can we can spend some money, a little bit of money. We got we got we got some cash. We have enough cash. It's not gonna put a massive dent. In our in our uh, in our plan here, but we have no tool to get the overburden off, so we need to get it out of there. We're gonna waste a lot of time running overburden, and we don't want to. So, how much is twenty two k for ninety nine? I think so. No explosives until I have a dozer. What? All right, this is a is this a voter? Is this a voter or a floater? Come on. Come on, dudes. Come on, Chad. Is this a vote or, or, or are we going to give it? Going for a poll? Going for a poll? We'll do a poll if you guys can get 100 likes real quick. We'll shut up about the likes. Get that 100 and then we'll... The dozer's OP and out of war. The dozer is OP and out of war. It's... 
It's just as OP as the explosives, but I want to get some pay. Are we able to drop items from the inventory yet? Yes. Uh, do all the conveyors? They should, but definitely want to drop them into a hopper. Blast it. Five more likes and then we'll vote. Yeah, let's go. Four more. Hit it up. Drop a vote and I'll go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll decide the fate of if I get to use some explosives or not. Let me kill the time lapse real quick, actually. Boom. Make sure I turn that on before I do any explosives or digging. Remind me. Remind me. And like button. Hurry up, dudes. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. I got to pee. You guys are slacking today. 59 minutes, dude. You guys almost made the 60 mark. Oh, my gosh. Are you guys actually going to do 160 minutes? Sheesh. Oh, someone did turn the vote off. Yeah, well. That Hunter won. Okay, you guys are good. All right. We saved the game. Damn. All right, now now we got to see if you guys can get Dopey's up to 100, view, 100 likes. No, just kidding. <laughs> now dopey needs 100 likes that's it no i'm just kidding you guys you guys are good thank you guys very much for smashing that 100 likes dude helps bump us up in that uh this is something to watch category on youtube apparently so okay let's go for a poll all right can i blast over burden there's the poll i'm gonna use the restroom real quick bear back All right, back. How's this poll going here? Oh, yeah. Ready, oh, ready, oh, ready. 53 votes on the poll. That's it. And thank everybody for, uh, thank you all for uh, helping everybody answer questions across Discord, channel, stuff like that. Thank you guys. It helps me out a ton when you guys answer people's questions as well. And as well as everybody that might be new, these guys know what they're talking about as well. So if I miss your question, but they answer it, give them a thank you. You know what I mean? Very good. We're all trying to help each other learn how to play. And uh, we don't want anybody even having a hard time. So, boys. What's up, Dragon? That's true. I forgot about the damn build. Yeah. <laughs> the build. All 
146 viewers. Yeah, man. You guys have been slaying it, bros. Like I said, thank you guys very much for coming in and supporting the channel and uh, the stream and, and just generally just keeping me motivated to keep playing for long periods of time and chatting and having a good time, as well as playing along and sharing your guys' game experience as well. Can't even do the hog pan and gold rush. You big noob. How dare you. What can we do with rubies, diamonds, and stuff like that? Uh, nothing at the moment. There's no, there's no implement to workbench for uh, certain things in the game. And then there's also some things that we can't craft. Uh, it looks, it looks like we got 63 votes. I know some people cannot vote because they're on devices that may not even see that there's a poll running, or they're on a TV. So, I uh, will let it go to five minutes. All right, we'll let it go to five minutes. Are the core, are the devs going to be doing adding quartz and marble and stuff like that? If there's a demand for it and it makes sense in the production chain later on down the road, I'd imagine that they're going to do different things like that as well. Uh, how do you turn on gifts? Uh, can one of my mods post uh, how to do the uh, turn on allow gifting? And I was almost like losing my voice from talking so much this last couple of days. Stay hydrated. I have to go to the bathroom all the time. <laughs> it's like I'm on break, dude. Doesn't the crusher work for rubies? Dude, I honestly, I've had not enough time to do all that. <laughs> but I don't believe it does. It could. Might. I haven't. I actually have not been able to run a full plant in every piece and test everything out thoroughly because... I'm trying to uh, do all the uh, promotional video recording and stuff like that, right? Hey, Yark, dude. Thank you much, brother. Appreciate that, man. Auto enable gifts. There you go. Exactly what Odd No Name just said. Right there. That's how you turn on allow gifts. This works for anybody's channel. So if you're on someone's channel and you want to be able to accept gifts when you're watching other YouTubers and people are doing gifted subscribers, that is how you get those as well. So that's how you turn those on on all your channels. Now, if you do not see that option, it's because you have a branded account and well, YouTube pretty much just says get wrecked nerd. So yeah, that sucks. You've been in love with this game since, uh, game since you found it. Uh, I enjoy Gold Rush, but this style of gameplay is just, it hits different for you. I agree, Wayne. I, I love Gold Rush too. And I asked, I, we had this conversation last, uh, last season as well too. I said, eventually there's going to become a point where I just prefer out of war in, in every aspect. The only aspect that I think that this game is missing to kind of like summarize what we talked about yesterday was I think that this game loses in the integration of like the wash plant, the power system, the water system, and things like that that Gold Rush has and the intricacy in the cleanouts and stuff like that and wash plants. But that's all stuff that this game can add in where in this game wins in all the other departments. But that's the only place where I think Gold Rush beats but then again, that game's been out for a lot longer or stuff like that. So it's uncomparable. You can't compare them really, right? But I would like to see those features from that game because I think that that's what makes Gold Rush so fun is setting the wash plants up and managing the wash plants and the water and power and those things that I would like to see those come into this game, right? Those things come into here. And that's also why I dislike Farm Sim because Farm Sim is too basic, right? When it comes to the, power, the productions and stuff like that, right? So Farm Sim's too basic. Gold Rush is like, oh my gosh, when it comes to that department. And this game's kind of like, I don't know where to go. So <laughs> that's kind of what I feel uh, about that. Hey, Jet. You got Jet, dude? Well, hopefully come back later, bro. All right. Looks like we're blasting, dudes. All right. We're blasting. I'm going to buy some... Uh, buy some Nomite here. Uh, take a look here. We're blasting. We're gonna blast some explosives off. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff. This will help us get towards our dozer, and then we'll do a lot more dozer work once we get to uh, that point. Have to spend twenty two k. Got to spend twenty two k. Okay, let's take a look here. Good free build. We want to do. What we're gonna do is we don't want to delete this layer down here, but we want to rip overburden. So we're going to go, we're going to try a couple on the upper rim here. He 
to space these out a little bit more. All right, time lapse is going back on. Inventory. Put it in here. Get ready for a one, two, three, rip, little rip tater chip. Cross our fingers it doesn't crash. Yeah, dude, let's go. Hey, we ain't cheating. We deleting. All right, that's enough. We can do that. That'll work for now. All right, we can get back to work. This cam axle, but not cam shaft. Yeah, most of that stuff will have to be fixed. The the, the typos and the uh, the things. Five and a half hour live stream. Nice, man. Hope you made a lot of progress on your stuff, dude. I found it the hard way, but I'm committed. Kind of hope to see a massive mobile wash plant. That's what I, I actually was when I was talking to Christian the other day, I was like, um, I was like, if you were going to add anything like a gold monster type of machine off the bat, I was like, I think designing something like MSI mining, like the Slucifer from Gold Rush, um, something like that. But then we can also like change the mats and things like that and plug a water port into it and power. And then like, just make it one giant placeable object and then make it to where we can like play with the mats like we do in Gold Rush. And then we can also build like a hopper or a stacker feeder or even just give us a stacker feeder and something like Slucifer. And I think that would be a good start for the placer mining of of Pater in big cuts. You'd really feel like you're simulating gold mining at that point to like a really, you know, really good way. You know, build a, pla build a pad, put that thing up on top of it and then, you know, be able to go up there and be able to go up there and like, say, check it like every you know, like 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. And then, or if you need money, just do a clean out whenever you need money, right? Don't put a percentage on the mats, right? Just just go up there and clean it out whenever we want because those plants can run for like 70 to 100 hours, you know? So why put a percentage on them? We kind of have a small one right now, like the ones we have over there on that, that bank, but um, I think we still need mats to play with. I know some people would be like, no, I don't like doing the mats. It's too, it's too tedious. But like we were talking about yesterday, it's because the reason why it was too tedious on Gold Rush is because they put a percentage timer on it, right? Where I think it'd be better if they didn't. Why don't I turn voxels on? Because they, they, they play like shit, dude. <laughs> Bulk mode all the way, brother. They play like Dookie. You know what I mean though? Matt to be fine without a percentage thing. Yeah, because in real life, if you think about it, my, my, arg my argument with the developers of Gold Rush was always, why in the hell do we have percentages or why are the percentages so low per yardage? Right. And some of the dev team way back in the day was like, yeah, the game feels like wash plant simulator, right? More than a digging simulator. And it does it hundred percent feels that way. It feels more like it's a wash plant simulator than, than a digging sim. Yeah. Bulk mode. Number one. Hell yeah, dude. Bulk mode is the best. I like bulk mode. All right, we'll see if we start getting those Play-Doh textures. And I think we are. I think we're getting the Play-Doh textures. 
you know the crazy thing is my graphics card is not showing the performance issue but i'm still kind of getting that play-doh-y look right we are getting a play-doh look correct let me check turn that off for a second man we might we might just have to go up to uh I just have to go up to the, I think we're just kind of boned. Yeah. As soon as we hit the thousand mark right there, see, as soon as we hit that thousand mark. Yeah. As soon as we hit the thousand mark, it starts to give you that, that potato, that potato texture shit. All right, so what we're going to do is I can just do this. I can literally just go 1000 on the cash. Uh, Christian did say it's a problem with, with the build, right? So it's something with the cash size and stuff like that. He, they, they changed all the backend stuff and it messed up the drones, but he said it will be fixed with the next gen equipment. So what we're going to do is we're going to export and see if that potato stuff goes away. So we're going to watch down here. If that's it, it's just a cash issue. And that never happened before because I used to be able to go up to 7,000 at like literally at like 0 0.1 or even 10 to 20,000 cash. So he definitely changed and broke the back end of it for sure. A hundred percent because this never gave me a problem at all. Never had potato textures or anything like that one bit. So he must be, re they must have reworked everything performance wise and cash wise and things like that. And then this is just going to be broken. Like he said, until the next gen vehicles, that's a performance issue. So, uh, one second here, guys, let me export this and then what we're going to do is we're just going to do auto export on a thousand but one second because the video this the, the time lapses look so much better at one uh frame per right so it just might be a little annoying on the uh the exporting or i can try two two frames which would double the length How's the graphics card doing? Well, obviously it's fine right now because there's nothing's going on, but bummer, dude. Bummer, man. I was hoping season three I was gonna be able to give you guys some banger, 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 banger of time lapses of the whole project all start, you know, to bummer. That's okay. We can say we can always bump it down a little bit. my file and I can kind of tell you where we're at. I can kind of tell you where we're at in the time frame here. Image sequence. We are almost done. We're about eight, nine, eight ninety. Still chugging along. There we go. We're almost done. Uh, we'll see. We'll do one more at a thousand per, and then we'll take a look here. We have, as soon as we hit over that thousand or close to that thousand, we start to notice that potato. Yep. And there we go. Look, as soon as the cash is dumped, boom, everything goes back to normal. Right. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as soon as that potato hits, right? As soon as the potato hits, keep an eye on it. And then we'll kind of be like, we'll see what the cash size is. And then we'll set the export cash size to that, uh, that limit. So, all right. So we're good to go. Sorry, I have to, sorry, sorry. Well, this kind of teaches some people that maybe want to learn to do this too as well. So I guess it's not for nothing, right? But change that to set one. Drone's good to go. We're in a good spot. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Damn cave-ins. Get back to your guys' questions here. You prefer I for inventory? Machine? No need to brag, huh? But isn't that uh, one of the original parts of the game? The uh, the bulk mode? Bulk mode was, I mean, not bulk mode, but um, 
the voxel mode voxel mode was just the way he would like to do the game but most of the players hate it like most players hate the balls they're messy and he's he was trying to work with them all year he, he had a year of working back and forth with the voxel balls but it never felt right it was always pissing most of the players off and then when he put in bulk mode ever most everybody was like hell yeah dude so much better and then he took and then he took it out when he redid the game in march and people were pissed a lot of people stopped playing the game when he took bulk mode out a lot of people quit the game a lot of people were like nope I, i'm now i'm forced to play with something when we had bulk mode and bulk mode was so much better and uh people were mad people were upset um but i do agree with what cross just said my my opinion on the dozer however bulk mode for the dozer is ass i think with the dozer the balls are better 100 percent. because it, it just feels like when you're pushing the dirt around it's actually doing something but in the heavy equipment and stuff like that like the excavator and the loader and the rock truck i feel like it's better with the uh the bulk but that's my personal opinion everyone's got a different viewpoint on it so and nobody's wrong it's whatever you want to play with the option that we have is good but I honestly think that the amount of players that play with bulk mode versus the other mode, every time I do a poll, it's a landslide. It's a landslide amount of people that play with bulk versus versus the balls. So honestly, I think he should definitely change it to where the default version of the game is bulk mode. So that I that's, that's I get questions every day. How do you make my, how do you make the dirt look like yours? The game looks so much better, and it seems like it plays so much better when when you're playing in bulk mode. It's nice to have the option to choose, but I think that it's by default it should be bulk mode, not the other way around. I think, you know what I mean? Because so many people are used to this type of digging and say, Farm Sim, Gold Rush, Construction Simulator, like every game, and there's a reason why they do it, because it just feels better. What's the what's the difference in them? It's the difference is this. Here, I'll I'll, just, I'll turn it off and turn it on for you. Also need to start the recording. Here, I'll turn bulk mode off. I can play with both, but I just prefer bulk because it's less messy. So this is the other way. Now I'm not going to use, but I'm going to let the natural bucket lock kick in, not the extended. That's normal mode. Okay, now hold on. So I have to use, we have to use bucket lock to keep 90% of those things in there from doing that. Now I got to get out and roll every time I make one scoop or else every time I make my next scoop, guess what? I have to drive over all that poop that just fell out of my bucket. Annoying. Personally, annoying. Don't like it. Bulk mode stays on. All right. Greetings from Europe. What's up, Peter? Yeah, that's ever like I said everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not a, not a fan of it And it's even worse when they grenade under your vehicle exactly if you if you're moving dirt And then all of a sudden you roll over it and it remounts to the ground your vehicle goes flying It like, pops up in the air. We call them we call them voxel grenades And then all of a sudden everything goes flying out of your bucket and then like shit just goes flying everywhere Yeah, everybody can do whatever they want to play as i'm just saying it's i, I don't mind it if, if that's the only option we have i'll play with it i don't care you know what i mean i'm not saying that it's it's not playable i'm just saying it's it's easier it's easier we all had to suffer with with it when uh when uh what's it called when um when the open pit mining patch came out everybody was like this is what it was oh man the rock trucks are horrible shit just falls out everywhere and then bucket lock came in didn't really fix the problem everything was falling out everybody was getting sick and tired of having to get out and like roll everything every move every rock truck run you lost half of your load even if you were driving slow uh every time christian tried to fix it not didn't really seem to do anything to it 
because it's so much stuff to try to figure out and fix and it just became a drag in when open pit mining came out and we sat there for a month battling it we just all battled it all of us sat there and battled it over and over and over and over and over again we played it we played it we, we suffered through it but as soon as bulk mode in everybody just perked up everyone's like yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah dude it's time to freaking play let's go <laughs> <laughs> every, it, it, every, all the whole community sparked back up everybody seemed to be more excited to play again <laughs> it's like dude oh man dude we've been battling with balls forever it was nice to get it it was really nice too like i said if you like playing with them more power to you i'm not i'm not bagging on you not any means at all but if, is it for me no i don't speak for everybody either but you can see in chat almost everybody's like nah that shit sucks we did a poll yesterday and it was like what 96 percent of 90 90 something people percent of the people that voted were like nah dude the voxel way sucks but like i'm saying in every time i've done a poll it's always been the same thing not going back to the ball mode yeah most most people like i said have that feeling york most most people have the same sentiment The roller was the worst with the balls. See, I never, I never, I never had that problem, John. I never had that problem, dude. Where it was like spitting voxels out for some reason. It was really weird. I never, I never had that issue. Yeah, the community had a couple of Red Bulls when bulk mode came out. <laughs> Christian broke the patch and I was going to do the showcase 24 hour stream and half the stream I couldn't play with bulk mode because he broke it <laughs> right before, like literally that morning. I knew I shouldn't have patched. I knew it. Not like a skelly issue just kidding nah it's it's just sad it was sad it was it was sad because it was like i understand christian really wanted wants the bulk mode like the, the voxel mode to be like the way the game is but it just seemed to never be able to get it right and it just seemed to always be having too many problems you know what i mean i, f I feel i feel for him man you know what i mean like i feel for him like i said i'll play the game either way it doesn't matter but when you're doing something you want something to be a certain way and it's just it's just fighting you and fighting you and fighting you it's kind of a bummer it's, i i can I, I feel for him you know what i mean because i know he really wants the i know he really wants the voxel balls right you actually think this this the, the scraper's always been a, in a bad position though right I don't think I don't think that the grader's ever been in a good position. Um, you might actually be able to tell me what's the difference between the LW and the LW one. Can't seem to make a difference uh, in the shop. There's some of them are more fuel efficient, and that's why they're different prices. But actually, there's no real difference. Actually, they they all seem to have around the same capa bucket capacity and uh, things like that, right? So. Some of them are just a newer model. Some of them are like a little bit older of a model. Um, some of them have better fuel capacity. Why am I only getting like half? Why am I only doing half scoops here? Yeah, voxel mode 100% is the way to do the dozer. I, I, I will stand by that. It feels the best, even though it's performance heavy. Bulk mode just does, it just does not feel right. It just does not, it doesn't feel right the dozer 100 does not feel right that's always been my uh it's always been my take on that dozer right is that just don't feel right and explosives obviously too right like you imagine having bulk explosives somehow like <laughs> nah dude like certain things need the balls certain things don't you really want to make it to use to make roads I think the best combination for anything for making any type of flat surfaces is the dozer and the roller. I think it's 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 a good way to simulate making roads. Uh, shouldn't the uh, shovel wheel loader have been in the in one point eighteen or no zero point one eighteen? You mean the uh, open pit patch? Uh, the the from my understanding the two eight eight. The bucket excavator is pretty much going to be a thing of its own, most likely. It's a monster, dude. It's, it's massive. 
the thing is that thing no one has a mine big enough or has never made a mine big enough to even have that thing on their claim in the first place that thing is a, and that thing like christian said he goes there's kind of a reason why he had to put bulk mode back into the game in the first place is for equipment in the future that's what he said during the uh the open pit patch um q a he was like that's why bull or the uh the, the thing coming back right on the greater i'm not a fan of it i'm not a fan of the greater the greater needs to be be completely uh refigured out there's no there's no practical uses right now in the game for a tooth versus a a tooth versus a smooth edge bucket there's none eventually there probably will be but right now there's not the same thing as using the other equipment like the chained tires and things like that there's no there's no actual difference people say that there is but actually no it's not there's no there's no difference right now um christian debunked that a few times in the in the stream Yeah, there's no there's no actual use for them at the moment they're just for aesthetics uh, later on down the road they will be durability items so if you have them on you won't probably blow tires or you won't damage tires as fast that's that's why they have them people don't realize it's not for traction people people think the chains on these heavy equipment is for traction no it's to protect the in-between grooves on the tread that's why they have it because sharp shale and stuff like that in these mines can puncture in those weak points where the rubber is not as thick so they put those chains on if you notice they and if you notice in the heavy equipment in the pits it's always in between those grooves is how the chain is laid on the uh, on the tire right so some some youtubers will swear the chains help for traction in a pit it's not that's not what they use them for and if you if you if you um some of them they will if it's, it's color graded and it's also some people are like well it's color graded because different companies have different colors right it's not it's not for like this color has more traction no no <laughs> but it's brand dependent some are orange and the reason why they paint them is so you can see when they need to be rotated so when the paint wears off they can look at it the mechanics can go okay it needs to be rotated so that's another reason why they paint them super bright colors right and <laughs> yeah i was watching another person play this game and he swore up and down that he that that's what they're for no they're only it's it's like adding armor to your tire is what it is it's like adding armor now when you're logging it's kind of, it's kind of the same thing but it actually is kind of for traction because it'll help with uh in muddy situations so it depends on but in the mining industry it's for armor pretty much you're armoring up your tire yeah you buy them the way you buy them because they look cool man actually if you want you know but right now they don't really do anything driving on shale and stuff like that is like driving on razor blades exactly and you can't be blowing twenty thousand dollar tire tires like every 20 minutes that's not gonna happen <laughs> right like not happening yeah it's, it's just a huge part of mining tech right most people don't think most people think it's most people think of a chain and they think about snow right they think about snow that's not the case when it comes to mining it's 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 for armor uh, are we gonna be able to repair specific components on the vehicle it seems like it it seems like he added a lot yeah i found that out after buying the scraper yeah what's my job outside of streaming um i've done many different jobs i used to i used to work as a heavy equipment operator before doing this but now i had i didn't work for about seven years and then i did and now i do uh linoleum repair and pretty much i just polish floors all night i've actually been off work for like the last three months i go back to work on the uh the end of this month but it won't affect my streaming time because i stream at 12 o'clock in the afternoon to about eight i have dinner and stuff like that and i hang out with my wife for a little bit and then i go to work and i work at night so actually yeah, i just I actually just started working again in about a year uh, about a year now i was part-time and then you know with the economy and everything like that i got offered a full-time position so but i do linoleum repair for this big giant building and 
pretty much just polish floors when not repairing things. So. It's a job, you know what I mean? It works. It gets the bills paid. And I don't have to deal with anybody all night long because it's literally just me and my boss. My boss is in the office. So. That's a, a perk. I hate working with people. I really do. Why? <laughs> And this guy don't want to change tires 20 times a day, right? Yo, what's up, J-Rob? Yeah, not too much. You can't just jump out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it, you got to have you got to have your crew come out. They got to change a tire. Most of the time they try to get it back to the uh, the yard. The vehicles out of out of it for a little while. They might even have to wait for a tire for like two weeks. Right? Like. You don't want to be blowing tires, man. That could be horrible if you don't have replacements. Then your mind sight gets shut down for days. People don't have respect for cleaning floors? No. Most most of my work is just um most of my work is pretty much just repairing floors in these two different buildings that I work at. Uh because the where I work, they have a lot of like heavy stuff that they wheel around all the time. And they always like they're always cutting like cutting parts of the floor out because they're like the overweight of the carts and what i do is i come in and i cut uh, that part out and then i blend in a new piece with this like big giant heating thing my fat ass it works so great because the more weight you have the faster it melts and blends and then i polish it in and make it look like it never happened so my fat ass just sits there on that thing and gets it done quick then i can sit there and polish it out and buff it out and make it look like it never happened right <laughs> so for some for some reason this building that this place that i work for it's like i don't understand the job it doesn't make sense to me because it's like why do you care what the floor looks like when nobody ever sees it right and then you guys always mess it up i was asking my boss that and he goes you know sometimes he goes dude you just don't question why these companies and stuff like that do this you just don't you just take your paycheck and you know it's like he's like and then one day one day he was like dude shut up man I've been doing this for 15 years. Just shut up, dude. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, oh, I'm just telling you. I was like, I'm confused. He's like, yeah, I don't know either. I don't get it either, but it is what it is. So I'll take it. <laughs> I don't get it, but I'll take it. Okay. Don't understand it. You don't like being around people? Yeah, because they can be angry, upset, things like that. Yeah. I don't like incons inconsistency in people is what it is it, it, on the workplace right like one day you show up and it's like they brought their baggage to work and you're like bro i didn't need your shit today you know what i mean <laughs> like i didn't need your shit today i needed you to come to work and leave that shit and be a different person when you're at work you know what i mean like i don't need that today keep your keep your bad attitude and wife made you a bad dinner at home Yeah, it's like that. I'm I'm super lucky, man. I I actually really do like my job. It's I I can literally literally it's I think it's been really good for me because sometimes I would just sit and do things for no reason when I wasn't working, and then I wasn't being productive. I was just sitting there doing nothing. And now that I actually have a job, and I work that many hours, I work eight hours a day, and then I try to do content for like eight hours a day, like five to seven days a week. It makes the content that I make. I feel I feel like for myself personally. It makes me not waste my time as much. But the other downside is, is I'm not able to spend as much time with you guys in the community, right? Oh, and we're exporting. And we didn't get potato textures this time at a thousand. So that was a thousand frames. We'll take a second. And then it'll make a new file for me. Get already is right now. About halfway done. A little annoying. I know this. I know, but this, this also gives me time to answer some questions as well too in chat. But it also gives us a really nice time lapse. So, yeah. So right after I'm done streaming tonight, 
I'll quickly edit these all together and then I'll post it up for the members and then around five o'clock in the morning my time it'll open up for the rest of you guys that are not members You have to use crane trucks for the big tires because they're so heavy. Yep. Yeah, they there's they're <laughs> you gotta use yeah. You gotta use some you gotta use heavy equipment to uh repair those tires. And exports complete. A little bit of a performance wobble there. There we go. And the next export is off to the races. Let's go. Let's get that. Let's get that process going quick here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that the time lapses are not going to be like they were at the end of season three, where I had multiple cameras and stuff like that set up. Um, but once the once the heavy equipment patch or the heavy uh, what the heavy equipment the uh, apparently the vehicle rework, the next generation vehicles. Apparently when that comes out, that's supposed to fix the drones again, so I can. So I can really start smashing out that content. So we'll just give you guys the one cam drone. We'll move it around after like say three thousand. Make sure it's always in the shot, and uh, try to get you guys try to get you guys some nice uh, time lapse. I know not everybody likes it, and people say I'm wasting my time doing it. But you know what? It's not. Sometimes it's not for the views. Sometimes you do things because Jim Bob wasn't able to watch a ten, ten hour stream and wants to see what I did, right? So. That's why we put them out there. It don't, it doesn't take me very long to edit these things together. Like literally it takes me probably 20 minutes with the, with the method that I use. So okay, we're really pushing this, uh, pay dirt in here. Now that explosive helped us out a lot. Woo. Thank you guys. With the rate that I'm getting this uh, this ore, man, I might actually just close down the uh, pit because I need to be working lower leveling this out here. Not leveling, but need to be digging out here. My, my, my goal is to hopefully have enough pay dirt to slam all those wash plants back them full of uh, pay dirt. Then we'll blast and go for another. We need those things to be rolling for five hours straight today. We need those things to be cooking all day, actually. I'll get that coal. Well, if I'm doing an open pit right now, I don't need it. I mainly need money. I need that dozer. So I can't be spending 20, 20, K, like almost 30 K a crack on 99 explosives to clear overburden. I'd rather make that. I'd rather put that money towards a dozer. So I don't have that overhead coming out of uh, explosives. For clearing, uh, clearing the overburden. Looks like we're about ready to have to do another blast string, so. Yeah. Once we get that lip above us, we're going to have to blast it out. We still have a nice wall over here we can chunk out first, though, so. And we're straightening this pit out here and. Uh, the two bottoms on no i'm not uh, i'm gonna pack them all full but what was it 2500 pay dirt per the max amount so we need a massive amount of pay dirt straight up like this this thing's chewing today the old loader's working in our favor today she wanted to play ball I mean, that mountain's got to go, right? It, it did nice. It got us a loader. It got us a bunch of other things, but it's got to go. Ooh, we're skidding around here. Yeah. Take out some material here. Let's keep my bucket angle a little on the...
don't forget to reset the time lapse camera angle uh i think i think we were at a good angle but i need to do an or check here in a second so we'll check the angle of the camera here in a second as well too stop the camera do an or check real quick here Ooh. yeah so 20 we're at uh let's see, let's see 29 almost 3k now so we're, we're trucking on that dirt a little bit more coal so we can actually we can actually turn on another another plant fully here let's take a look at this how are we doing let's max this one out again right then we'll then max this one out and that gives us a thousand i guess we'll max them we'll get as many as we can We'll start maxing them out and then restocking them. Am I going full open? Yeah, it's it's just less logistics going the pits open than there is than it is going underground, right? Because then I have to build all these resources, right? And follow that build plan. But since we're doing a mega project now, we need to not focus on me running around or I need to focus on building infrastructure. If I can't get the infrastructure going quickly, that means the build is going to take longer. So right now, this pretty much from if I had a laser level, and I just went like this. and I stood right here and I went everything above this level right here from here. So from here, if I zap straight across everything from here up needs to be gone all the way to where I hit that ridge line needs to be just gone. So that's kind of the task. And once I complete that, which that is a shitload. <laughs> That's not a, that means this whole mountain's got to go. That means all of this has got to go. All right, all of this, all the way down to the side, back side of this building. All that's got to go. All this has got to go. All the way over here. Um, I don't mind with the floors um, anymore. Because the, flo the floors is like... The floors, the floors to me is it's a little for me personally it's a little too corny mining with the floors. Um, so I just I don't I don't play with them. That's why I, just, I play bulk bulk mode. Yeah, that's all got to go. That's all got to get out of here. This all just all has so we're just gonna push through this canyon. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna push our way this way, and try to keep it as level as possible. I can always backfill a little dirt with the dozer and stuff like that and a roller. Um, and then I can then I can build a build the infrastructure that I need on top of it, like the smelting plant. So. So pretty much over here while we're pushing this way, there's not very much good ore for me, but I need to move all this crap out of here. Right, so. In the meantime, I could also convert this area to being my smelting building and just b and build it all off and put smelters and crafting stuff inside of here. So, But the plan would be also to get rid of all of this and everything above us and then open this up completely and then get rid of all the cribbing and stuff like that and supports. Yeah, I used to I used to play with the floor mining mining with the stuff to keep everything relatively flat, but I'm not gonna I'm I yeah, my OCD does not hurt me enough to to care anymore. It's just rip and rip and go. And I gotta build every tile without buying them, so that's just too much. It's too much. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh but it is a good way to keep your, your mind sight. When I when I, when I level, I'll do that though. Daniel, so what I'll do is, is I'll lay some tiles out and then fill, 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 then don't take the tiles away. That's the actually, that's, so in season three, when I built that pad, that's how I got it so flat, but I did all the major moving without it, right? So you'll, what you do is you just put some tiles down, then just slowly dump dirt in front of it and smooth it out, smooth it out with the dozer and keep pushing away, but then you can just delete the tiles and it stays flat, right? That's, that's a way how you get things really smooth. And then you can just delete all the tiles because you don't need them if you're just running haul trucks with bulk mode. So that is that that is a technique for for flattening and stuff like that. It's the, it's the, it's the easiest way to get something perfect perfectly flat, like or close to it, like a nice pad that's flat, right? A shovel doesn't even give you a that nice of a of a, a finish. So let's connect. Hi. Should we uh should we move the drone for a new view? What do you guys think? 
Or should we finish out this thousand, then move the drone? I think I think finishing out this thousand, then moving the drone would probably be the best. It's only a thousand and one one per this. So that's a thousand screenshots. That that goes through so quickly. It's like fifteen seconds. So I think we should not move the drone until three. I think three one thousand shots, then move the drone. Would be best. Because that's not very many seconds, right? In the in a in a sequence, it's very short. Right, so the, the the time lapse will be like, it'll be really blocky, like oh my gosh, <laughs> right. So you want to at least get it three to five thousand shots before at uh, one second. Okay, let's drop a save. Drop a save as well. Thank you guys for your patience when it comes to uh, that stuff, but the result is a video, so. Thank you guys for supporting those videos, honestly. For the guys who need that when you're at, like, work or you want to catch back up with the videos or things like that, right? Appreciate that. Don't drop the save, they're fragile. <laughs> yep. I have my graphic settings to the low settings, but it keeps shuddering when I'm driving. Uh, any fix ideas? Oof. It's a tough one. Because that's pretty much all computer, right? This this game is pretty demanding when you're doing everything. So the best the one of the best things I can say is to try to keep your site as clean as possible. And what I mean by that is the, the more jagged and shadows that you have, the more performance it's going to require on your game. And right now it's also running very performance heavy because of these old gen vehicles. So once that gets in, you'll probably have a little bit better of a time. So a uh, quick question. Where do the screenshots go after you the time lapse for the drone? You can't figure it out. Uh, they go into your app data folder uh, for out of war. And then you'll see go under saved so it's out of or it's so it's app data local um out of or saved screenshots and then every time it exports it'll do a image sequence and then it'll say the time the date and the number and then it sends it sets it as zero zero to x amount so then that way you can sequence your videos easier while importing and stuff like that or exporting to your uh movie player I'll I'll be doing a whole video on it because people are still having some issues with uh, how to actually use these drones. So I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do that. Matter of fact, I might be working on that tomorrow. If I'm not streaming, is that something you guys want to see? Would you guys like a how to do the drone tutorial? Kind of like how I did the um, kind of like how I did with the uh, what's it called the um, the change of company logo. Like a little quick five minute video. Boom, 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 boom. GG, super easy. No need to sit there and blab for 30 minutes on how my wash plant performs and shit like that. You know what I mean? Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to build a wash plant. And then the guy's sitting there talking for 45 minutes about his dog and his cat. And it's like, dude, bro, I came here to figure out how to set up a wash plant, bro. <laughs> <sighs> or, or everything's encased in cement so you can't really see what the hell you're looking at it's like dude <laughs> damn it bro <laughs> i need this information and you just blocked it all out <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, more okay yeah, I'll, I'll work on that tomorrow because tomorrow I am not streaming. Tomorrow's, uh, you know, straighten up the house, hang out with Dopey, uh, cook some, cook a good dinner, and um, just kind of relax and off and on the computer. Tomorrow I will, however, be off and on in Discord in the VIP chat. Um, when I'm recording and doing voice lines and stuff like that, I'll mute my, my stuff and stuff like that. But feel free to drop in and say hello. Um, it's kind of like a coffee talk day, so to speak, where I'm just kind of off and on doing shit, so. You want to come in chit chat about the game or things like that 
just be mindful sometimes when there's a lot of us in there you got to have to wait for a second to get your question in because everybody will be like trying to chat and stuff all at the same time so sometimes we can have up to like 20 to 30 people in there just kind of chilling playing their playing their game right so <laughs> a 10 minute video of how my cat plays yeah that's that's she's been she's been a little weird with uh the gaming lately she does she likes to game but someday sometimes she sleeps so it's hard to get the footage it's hard to get the footage i gotta i gotta set up a place to make her comfortable like because sometimes she'll sit there and play her game on her tablet and i could literally just edit that all in and make her look like it's a cat playing out of war so i think it'd be cute Yeah, she does most of her gaming at night. It's really crazy. People might be like, what, your cat games? Yeah, dude. Cat plays those cat games on Dopey's tablet at night. Or she plays on Dopey's phone during the day. She's, no, she will come up and meow at you because she wants to game. She'll come straight up and grab Amanda's phone like and No cat videos, dude. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's cute as hell, dude. Got a gamer kitty. Yeah, this pit is much more easier on the brain. Do gifts of her? Well, I was actually, I have all the cameras and green screen, stuff like that. And she likes to sleep on my desk, like most of the day, someday, like today, I don't know. Where she, lately, she's been a little weird, but most of the time she sleeps on my desk in a bed, like here next to my, my mouse. And the cat plays on a tablet. Yeah, dude. She, she plays on Amanda's tablet. She's mad. Actually, she's madder now. She wants to play. She wants to play on mine, but I don't let her. It's actually laying next to her bed, so she's probably mad because I told her she couldn't play with it. But she, like, went away and was mad at me, apparently, today. We want to animate a cat tutorial. Sometimes it takes forever to wash the plant versus, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying to be like, Vars was like, man, this shit takes forever. Then buy more of them. <laughs> like, if you need more output, buy more. That's why I have them on that bench right there. So if I start getting way more dirt, which I, which is, I, which I am, there's no way that those four is going to give me enough. I'm going to need like probably 10 or 20. How to train your human. Nah, she's, 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 she's the new channel mascot after Jasper. If, if a lot of new people don't know who, what, who Jasper was. Jasper was my, Jasper was my miniature, uh, toy oxen that I had. I had him for almost 20 years. He was a long hair. Uh, he had the black and uh, pretty much he was the, um, they called him a, a dapple red. So he had the brown with the, uh, the black and he was a long hair. So he was a mini. So he was like nine pounds eight pounds he was a tiny little one but he's was the channel mascot for pretty much most of the yes yeah, my most of my streaming up to last year when we had to uh you know make him go the way of the dodo but uh he had a good life he was good and uh he lived a long 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 life and he made the channel many laughs especially when he'd come up and just piss on my foot randomly during the stream for no reason and uh farting under my desk constantly Where's the Jasper sticker gone? It should still be there. The Jasper sticker? Did it get taken away? Oh no, the Jasper sticker is on Twitch. The Jasper sticker was on Twitch. That's where it was. I need to bring it back over to YouTube. I actually need to, I actually need to start. I need to make way more. I'm way behind on my emojis. Stuff like that, so. So yeah, it's uh, it was he was there. The, the, I've always like I said, I always wanted a, I've always wanted a Scottish fold, 
And I've always wanted the gray one. Pretty much the one that has gray and looks like they have blue. So Dopey, Dopey's been wanting another cat to add to our family. We have we have our rescue kitten. We have our rescue cat, um, Mitzi. Uh, she's older. Now we've had her for a while. So yeah, it's been a. Uh, she's good. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want another rescue cat, man. I understand rescues and stuff like that. Everyone's like, "How dare you buy a brand new cat instead of getting a rescue?" Bros, I've done it. I've done it all. Rescued plenty of animals in my life. Sometimes you just want a breed every once in a while. That's specifically what you want. And she was always my like. She was always my uh, that cat that pretty much exactly what she is is what I wanted. And Dopey managed to find her, which was so crazy. Like Dopey was managed to find her. We went through an ordeal just getting her. It's like some crackhead lady, dude. But she didn't realize how expensive this cat actually was. Like, dude, she didn't realize how expensive this cat actually is. Luna, Luna, are the cat we got. That she's a three to four thousand dollar kitten, and we got her. We got her for under a G. No shots or anything, so I had to go get all of her vet vet work done and stuff like that and stuff like that. But yeah, man. Yeah, but I've always wanted a Scottish Fold, man. Those flop, those those little ears, dude, man. Can't you know what I mean? Like, damn, dude. That was a pain in the ass to get her, right, dude? They were like messing with us. They, it seemed like they were trying to scam us and stuff. And I, I literally just put my foot down and said, "You don't produce the cat, we're moving on." And I'm gonna report you for scamming. We're moving on. No, like, I just put my foot down and said, "Piss off, lady." I'm super glad we got her though. She's she's got a really good personality, and she's she's a little buddy, and she's a cuddler and stuff like that. And our 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 older cat, she's not a cuddler at all. And that's what me and Dopey were looking for. We're looking we were looking for a cuddler. Only problem with her though is, damn, she talks, bro. Woo. Man, she's just like, dude, worse than me. Holy cow, dude. There she's coming. Yeah, she, she, anytime she wants something. I'm starting to kind of like pick out how she, how she, uh, how she talks as well, too. Yeah, I remember you Dopey venting. Yeah, dude, it was a, it was a bullshit process, man. Dopey fell in love with her with the pictures, right? Dopey was like, oh, I want her so bad. Right, like well the lady kept sending her pictures and videos and everything like that too and kept saying she was going to bring her and then the next day she kept blowing dopey off and stuff like that then she kept asking for deposit money and stuff and we're like no i said absolutely not trying to make us travel on the bus for like six hours and stuff like that to go get her when she already said she was going to bring her to us and we already gave her gas money to do that because she said she was coming up that weekend. And it was excuses after excuses after excuses. And, you know, Dopey literally finds my dream cat and exactly what I'm looking for too, right? Yeah, and then even after, even after we got her, the lady kept messaging us, dude. Like a freaking psycho, dude. Like she called Dopey and was like, you better not have changed her name. It's like... Excuse me? Uh, Dopey's like, you're lucky I didn't beat her, your boyfriend up in the front yard and just take her. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Dopey was about ready to go savage, dude. <laughs> Yo, what's up, hybrid? How you doing today, buddy? Only here for a little bit just to see where you're at, man. Yeah, drone's uploading at the moment. There we go. Yeah, the drone the drone uh, is uploading the footage to the um, to my file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna dump this thing here. There we go. I'll stop right here. Exit out of the vehicle, and we are going to jump into the drone. 
one. Let me change these file names here. So what I'll just describe what we're doing. So in the out of war screenshots folder, there is, it's going to give me every time it exports, it's going to export and open and open up a new folder. So guess how big the folder is for this brick of uh, photos. 3.5 gigs, bro. 3.5 gigs of folder today. I will have probably 30 of these folders. Yeah. I'm going to rename this one that two. Rename this other one over here. That. Back into game. World connect. Pop over here. Up the drone menu. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, drone. Hey, what's up, Jason? That looks like a nice little area right there. If I can get the drone to stop. Okay. Then these extra couple frames here, I just clear cache. All right. So it doesn't mess. So it doesn't mess up your next folder. It starts with the new frame and there's not a couple frames in before. Just clear your cache. It's always good to drop a save. Uh, cause the XP right now is kind of broken at the moment with all this whole giant overwork rework of the game. So kind of has a little bit of an issue. Uh, let's also do an ore check as well too. Uh, when you bought the cat, that's when you blocked the breeder. That's exactly what Dobie did. Dobie was like, nope. Yeah, she kept texting Dopey drunk too. And anytime Dobie would talk to her on the phone, all you hear is kids screaming in the background and like her and her husband fighting and shit. It's like, dude, we don't want, we don't want to do anything. Like, just produce or get GTFO. Right? Like we were, I was, I was so sick and tired of, of the process. I just was just fed up. But we got her, and that's what matters. And she's a sweetheart, so. Ninety percent of the time. <laughs> Dopey. Ninety percent of the time. You guys are wondering. I guess I'll show you guys a picture again. So you guys who haven't seen her, I'll show you a picture. Whoa. I'll show you a picture of her. Chilling, gaming. B. That is a not enthused picture. Ow. <laughs> she was not happy that day. <laughs> I did. Here it is. This is the one. This is the one. There she is. That's her game at night. That's her game at night, dude. No, she doesn't have two different colored eyes. It's just the way the, the light reflects off of her eye. It was dark in the room. Literally, this is what I see at the foot of my bed. When I peek down at the end of the bed when I'm watching TV. <laughs> she's like, she's like, you don't see nothing. You see nothing over here, bro. Playing my game. And uh it's gonna leave me alone. So that's that's uh the new kitty. That's her though. 
That's what she that's what she does. Came in at nighttime while we're watching TV. Are the loaders voxel balls still nerfed or fixed? Um uh, what do you mean? Nerfed or fixed? Oh, actually, hold on. I wasn't going to do that. Let's turn that off for a second. Let's go back to Aid to Blast again. She's playing Raid, She's playing Raid Shadow Legends, bro. She needs a sponsorship. <laughs> What's she playing? Shadow Legends, dude. Uh, remember when we were getting cheated the amount yes that was fixed that was fixed i thought that's what you were referring to but i wasn't quite sure so i figured i'd have you ask you have you say what you're talking about yeah that's that was all fixed so that was an imbalance between the voxel size balls and what they produced that that was fixed in um that was fixed in the was it 0.18 or whatever it was the one that was the when they added bulk mode back in well no, it was a little bit after sorry after that patch she fixed it where pretty much it made running the big loaders and stuff like that useless because the the ore it produced was not it's pretty much exactly the same size as this so you'd fill up a rock truck and it was like well now i can't fit as much in the rock truck so <laughs> gg noob get wrecked suck at digging tunnels uh i like to do the digging blasting when i'm doing tunnels but that's only if i'm using belt mining to make my tunnels so if i want to make them like perfect like i did in the uh underground tiny tunnel mining videos that i did i like that it really works nice if you're trying to uh Build. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna use that method. Well, I'll definitely be I'll definitely be building my uh, my tunnels with the CTM to get the main core shaft in, and then to keep it aligned because I'm gonna need to do a lot of alignment work there inside the mountain. So I'll be using the CTM there. To do that, but I'm gonna have to use a. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do it in bulk mode with the uh, with the trucks, right? Because there's I can't belt mine so. Those 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 um, overflow ports that I'm be building for the dam is gonna be insane. Just just that, right? Like you gotta think. I have two tunneling projects that I have to do on this on this uh, thing, right? There's two I have to do at least, right? To simulate like how they build the dam to, to divert the rivers, but there's no river, so we're gonna kind of have to like imagine there's a river there, right? <laughs> yeah, so I gotta build those two chutes. That's how you build those first. You tunnel in and pour those out on the side. Uh, so pretty much how you start a tunnel interface to the mountain is you want to put like a like uh, the cribbing up like that and then put a wall so you don't get the cave-ins and then keep building the roof as you go. That way you don't get cave-ins because it's hard to build a tunnel when shit just keeps caving in on you. And the way you stop the cave-ins from happening is, well... You have to build um, a roof of some sort in the cave, because how the tun how the tunnel mechanic works or the caving mechanic works is your player in unsupported dirt will cause the voxels to pop and explode and fall down, simulating the cave in, right? So you got to put something in between you and the dirt, or you and the equipment in the dirt, 
that means you need to put a floor tile or a cement block or the reinforced um or the little steel mesh or something like that right so just go up to a flat face and start cutting in really what you got to do we gotta make sure we're not digging in really but whoa that's okay this this whole area will change what i'm doing now is mainly just trying to get the bulk amount of the material moved out of here and get some money for this uh dozer and once i get the dozer then we can start doing some work start removing overburden and pushing for victory let's go and let's go and work on squaring this up with the uh the mine wall here a little bit of work here what's up Dobie? Open pit mines are definitely easier to manage once you can once you learn how to uh, proper benching techniques and how to prep for benching. You don't got to deal with all the hassle and you can move the heavy equipment around a lot easier. Uh, you know, especially if you're trying to build. OK, I guess I guess I should say this. It's a little bit more complicated for people in their in your brain when you're building a open pit mine and you're using the ground as your elevation change. If you're using the blocks because you do you know what I mean then I tend to not use the blocks when I change elevation so I plan and prep out my cut without using that type of technique right so kind of like I did in um in season three right that's a really good example of how I did uh, a bench on the side of a hill Some people were like, how do you, how do you even think about that? How, like, you got to think so far ahead. That's just, that is just running a mine, right? You got to think, you got to think so far ahead. Anything you're doing in the, like right now, my brain is not on digging this pit. My brain is working towards how I'm going to be digging the pit and where it needs to go 50 to 60 hours from now, right? So right now, what I'm doing right now is mainly just getting some of the, the material moved out of here that I know needs to be moved out. And I'm thinking 50, 60 hours from now. If you're mining and you're only just thinking in the moment, you're gonna you're gonna screw yourself over. Gotta think ahead. An open pit mine's uh, a, a pit mine, and, and once you get good at it, it's just it just comes to you naturally, right? You're like, okay, do this in my sleep. Like that mountain up there, if I, if, since I'm going to be imploding it from the inside, I'm not worried about making a, a, a bench, right? We just need, we, this area needs to be here for uh, production, All right? So we just need to clear. Just ask Jack Hoffman. Did anybody tell Split Christian's adding spoons in the next patch? Yeah, he's going to make you guys all dig with him. I realized they can't dig right there because in this next so many X amount of shots because the drone is right there. So I'm out of frame, So we won't dig there. We're going to dig where the drones can see. I know, and I know the drones looking this way. So <laughs> when I do that wall over there, I'll flip the drone to the opposite side and then we'll dig that side out. It's kind of crazy because I, I, my brain's in like 40 different places, right? I got to be a director because I'm, I'm directing today's episode, right? For the time lapse. And I got to run the mine and I got to chat with you guys. <laughs> so it's like, <sighs> and I got to manage my, uh, workflow files. And I have Adobe. Actually, I have, I have Adobe. So you got somebody asked me what I, uh, programs I use to, um, what I, what I actually use. I use Adobe products. Why I've been using them for years and it honestly, they're fast. They work, they update, they're easy to use uh, for beginning people. I'm not like, I'm not a, a good coder. I'm not a good um, editor and stuff like that. So having a program that's a little easy to use and use a little bit more user-friendly and has a million tutorials on the internet. 
that's why I that's why I pay for Adobe products. Because like, you know what I mean? Like if you want to learn something, it sucks when you're using some of these free programs because they don't have like sometimes they don't have really good tutorials on how to do things. But if you have if you have an Adobe product, there's millions of tutorials for things. Right? So if you want to learn how to do something, you just pop up a tutorial and then start building what you want. So that's why I use them. Yeah, it is expensive. It costs me about $75 a month to have all their products, but it's worth it as a content creator. It's super worth it as a content creator. Women say men can't multitask. <laughs> Using the OP pick? Yeah. Multiplayer would be hair layers. Yeah, DaVinci, for people that, that don't have the money, I always suggest DaVinci Resolve. I, that's, I always suggest that. That's the one that's the one that I do. And if you don't have Photoshop, uh, paint.net is probably your best bet. So if you're if you're a free if you're a free to kind of like a free to play content creator. Definitely go with DaVinci Resolve and definitely go with paint.net. Right? For your Photoshop needs to make in your thumbnails, right? Ah, give me that dirt. Yeah, DaVinci Resolves came a long way. Whenever, whenever I can't afford to pay for my Adobe and stuff like that. That's I I have DaVinci DaVinci Resolve installed. Some 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 months I don't make very much and I can't I can't afford to pay for all that stuff like the channel the channel overcost overhead, right? So I've had to like not have those things. So what do I have to do? I still got to keep doing what I do. So I have to pop in and use DaVinci Resolve and I'm like, "Eh, damn it." <laughs> Photoshop uh, Adobe Adobe products are so just they're so just like one click easy when it comes to certain things. It's just like, "Oh man, that's how I fixed uh, Brito. Everybody remember when Brito had that super hardcore, annoying, high pitched squeal in his videos? Like it was, like, he, he's like, I don't hear it, man, and he was freaking out. Like, <laughs> like I had to go in and like figure out with his videos, like what was actually going on with his videos. Like he was, it was massively broken. His videos had a wicked high pitch like squeal to them. Like it was almost like someone who had like a dog whistle or something like that, dude, to humans, bro. But, but since he has tendonitis. He can't, uh, he can't hear what was going on because he can't hear that frequency or he already hears that frequency, right? But to people who don't, it was very cringe. So like I went into, I went into, I actually had to help me with one of my, my friends that's a sound engineer was actually, was actually helping him out and come to find out it was actually his headsets microphone that was broken and it was causing a weird audible hum at around 15,000, um, there's around 15,000 something frequency and it was causing that to happen. I showed him how to cut it out, but he went the nuclear option and just bought a headset. No, <laughs> so, I was like, you can fix it. You don't got to buy a headset. So you don't got to buy a new microphone or anything. You can fix it by just doing this, like literally this, like one little thing. But yeah, 15, yeah, kilohertz. There you go. Yeah. Well, damn it. But you can just cut that range out because voice doesn't do doesn't use that high of a range, right? So I just showed him how to cut it out, and that's why it was so easy in Adobe, right? It's super easy to go through and look at certain things and use it. It's just super, really nice. Yeah, dude, that was it was crazy, bro. It was like I felt bad. I really I felt really bad for him because everybody was leaving comments and they were like, "Dude, like, bro, it's really hard to watch your video. Something's different this year. Like something's different. There's a high pitch, you know, high pitch." It. I, I just felt bad, man. Like, dude, nah, dude. Brito's a good dude, so I don't want to. I don't want to see his viewers being irritated by something like that, you know. God, get that shit fixed, dude. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, settings and shortcut keys that are uh, universal across their, all their products. Exactly. And the other thing that's great about their products, when you have all of them, 
I can have every one of their products open on a different monitor and I could be working on something. I can hit control S it'll save and it'll automatically show up in my video on the fly. And then I can open up Adobe After Effects. I can build an animation and do the same thing. It'll pop up in my Adobe Premiere on the fly. So I can build the base product on Photoshop, import it Im immediately on the fly into After Effects and then immediately import that right into my video on the fly. It's, it's, it's so nice. Like that's why I, that's the shit I've been learning this year, right? Like trying to learn all that crap, to like make what I do better, and and just try to try to make a better better content for you guys, right? Like just try. I'm trying to learn how to be a better video editor, and even if not a video video editor, just just a better, you know what I mean? Just just a better overall experience in my videos when you're watching them. But then in that return, it takes like forty to sixty hours to make a damn video because I'm learning all these things and trying to learn them and stuff like that and retain all this information and shit too. So. Yeah, we do need fuel, so. Uh. Yeah, you can put, you can do that, but I, I'm going for the higher rate. I want a guaranteed amount of gold, not a uh, wash plant amount of gold. So that's why I'm not doing the, uh, the wash plant right now. Tony Big 18. Yeah, Gimp's not bad. Gimp's not bad as well, too. Gimp is not bad. Yeah, he's getting late for you, brother. Have a good one, man. Have a good one, dude. Get some sleep. Tell the family hello. You think the uh, wash plant thing is broken, by the way? You mean the, um, you mean the big wash plant for the big uh, setups? It seems to be a little out of balance. I'll be honest. Whoa, trying to read chat and drive. The wash plant needs a fourth or guaranteed. No, yeah, the, all the, all the, so all the balances and stuff like that will be changed, guys. All the balance. Right now, it's cram, 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 balance later. There's no point in balancing now when everything's going to be broken. It's just, why do a whole bunch of work and then break it in like less than a week or two, right? So I know it's a little annoying to us players, but you know what I mean? That's why your guys' feedback's important, you know? So... Okay, cool. This is where it's at now. This is the state of the game. I know it's annoying to some people. Some people hate this style of, uh, you know, they think of the game shit or it's just broken. It's crap. But um, yeah, it's just the way it is. That's how he's. That's how we're able to get things so fast. Right here for a second. I mean, that's that's the. Whenever, whenever he did the open beta, there were so many people trying to tell him what to do and constantly DMing him, it slowed him down, right? So that's why he stopped doing the open beta, right? And also, too, he was breaking the game too frequently and annoying people at a massive rate, right? So that's why he pulled out and didn't do the open beta anymore. It's faster for him and the team to work and not have everybody shoving their opinions on him constantly, right? And then constantly trying to tweak back and forth to make everybody happy. That's what he was doing. He was trying to make everybody happy. And it slowed down the game and it honestly broke the game it broke the game from october to december the game was a pile of donkey fire shit and everybody knows it and he does too and that's because everybody was throwing shit around constantly and just like he was trying to make everyone happy right and so he had to pull out of that and that's why there's not open testing anymore All right so but however like i was saying this last couple days you guys are all testers all you that love the game and understand what he's trying to do and understand where the direction of this game is kind of going, you're all testers. It's just your live testing. That's all it is. You're live testing the game. And yes, that is annoying. It is annoying. I agree. It is annoying. It can be very annoying when you're just like, I just want to play. I don't care about that crap. I just want it now. Right? <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. I do. But unfortunately, we. I, th I think we'd be. I think we'd be getting a good outcome though, right? I think the outcome of what he's been doing is really good. I think we've been getting 
patches like every month, right? How do you guys feel about that? Do you hate this style or do you like it? Do you like that he's able to push a bunch of content every month at us? Or do you wish the content would just be polished now and take like five months per patch? Answer that. I guess I should just ask you as that. You know what I mean? Because that's literally the alternative, right? Is five months a patch or shit it out to us and then we can tell them what's wrong with it, right? Yeah, I think I think the current model's working myself personally. I'm not gonna shit my opinions on you and just be like, no, and not ask you guys how you feel. And trust me, if you say you don't like it, you're completely fine. No one's gonna bash on you. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, right? So not everyone's gonna like everything, exactly. You know what I mean? So we try to keep it pretty neutral here for everyone to state their opinions and stuff like that on the game because of the community and how it runs. And I I generally like everybody's feedback. You know, like about the voxels today, about about some people like, you know, why bulk mode versus this, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, here's my opinion on it. It's cool that you have your opinion on it and stuff like that. And that's completely fine. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate on anybody for playing any way that they want to play. I, that's one thing I like about this, these type of games, like gold rush throughout the years. You can play the game however you want, right? Does it mean I have to play that way? No. Does it mean you have to play like me? No. So when I say something, it doesn't mean I'm bagging on you or trying to put you down or anything. Some people may think that, on my voice and stuff like that, but no, not at all. Not at all. I think it's, I think what it is, is a lot of devs are getting sick and tired of trying to please people to sell copies of their game. I think that's kind of what it boils down to, right? I think that's what it boils down to is is devs are learning to tell people to, to shut up right like and i think that's a good thing right like if you're always trying to cater to people you'll make mistakes to your game that could be a detriment to everybody right i think i've seen a lot of dev teams just literally going you know what we don't need to cater to you we want to make our game first off we do want your input and feedback but we still need to make the game that we want to do it right and sometimes the viewers the customer doesn't always know what they want because first off they most of them don't know how to even build it so how in the hell can they tell tell you what they want right <laughs> that's that's the i think that's the major 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 problem with today's gaming and the way people try to do this cancel culture shit on on devs right they don't even know what they want in the first place and then when they do suggest something they don't even know what it takes to build it in the first place or what it'll affect down the road and everything else that's already been built right so yeah it's really weird man i don't know i don't i don't like the you know what i don't like i really don't like the discord stuff when devs do discord and they're always in there and they're always listening to people 100 percent constantly and it's like the word of, of everything i think it can be a bad time bad 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 thing sometimes i think it can be bad Unlike Gold Hunters, at least this guy is trying to work his butt off and make the game better. Well, I, I, I think like the skill level between Christian and the NMC team and those guys is Christian and those guys actually have a lot more behind them than just watching a YouTube tutorial and trying to build a game, right? Where I truly believe that Christian wants to build a good game you know what I mean? I truly believe that. Where those guys we've we've seen over the years, it seems like all they want to do is just try to make money. Right? So if you have a passion for something, sometimes you do it for free. And I don't see that out of those guys, and I never have. It's always been a money grab. Safety. Hit this wall with a shovel. So if you are also having performance issues with shadows on, this is one thing I talk about claim cleanup. Okay, so claim cleanup is this. Generally in these generally in these voxel worlds, the more you have all these shadows spawning, if you're having performance issues, turn the shadows completely off. 
And then every once in a while when you're digging, come around here and smooth your walls out. Right? Smooth them out a little bit. Get rid of all those freaking shadows and all the different vertices and stuff like that. Get rid of them. Clean up your claim. Make it look decent. You don't want all that janky ass bumps and stuff. Smooth is easier to render than jagged. Thank you for helping in with the game. Dude, I just, like I said, I just give my feedback. Try to make my, I feel like my job and what I do is I, I don't get much time to test because I'm trying to promote the game, right? So when I'm recording, most of my stuff is I'm going through every little aspect of the game to show you guys things. And then I report what I can find, right? While I'm recording. But the main thing that I think that I do for this game is I try to make sure that between all of you guys that watch and all of you guys that chat with me about the game, I, from patch to patch to patch, I try to make sure that the game in like an equality assurance to make sure that each part of the game, when every time it changes, it doesn't change for the worse. If, it, if, it, if it's changed to see how well it's going to flow because the, we all want the game to kind of feel a certain way. Right. And I try to make sure that we stick to that somewhat, unless it definitely needs to be changed or something new needs to be innovated. Right. I like try to keep that, that flow. I, 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 whenever I'm thinking about the game, I think about that. What do the players like? What have they not liked? What does the majority say? And then also still try to respect the people that want other things too, as well. And I try to stay really balanced and neutral when it comes to all of those things. But whenever I'm talking to Christian, I always have that in mind. That's why I like to ask you guys so many questions, right? Like, and that way I can be like, well, you know, so when I say something, it's not just me going, yeah, I think that this sucks ass. It's different because I have, you know, three, 400 people telling me that no, we like that or we like this, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much what I, uh, what I kind of bring to the table. You know, plus my background in, in, in GR and pretty much balancing and, and, uh, stuff like that for all the years. Right. Been doing it for a long time. Giant fire, fire pile here. Yep. That's what I do. I know, right? Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, what's the best OBS setting for sharp videos? High bit rate. <laughs> High bit rate. Drop a saber quick. Yeah. If you want, if you want better resolution and stuff like that, then you have to have higher bit rate and the higher the resolution to go, the more bit rate you need. Right, so I stream in 1440p. So I put out about 35,000 bit rate. Now people on Twitch, they're stuck at like 1080p and like 6k bit rate. They're capped, right? So, but with higher bit rate, higher resolution, like I play natively. So when I'm streaming, I don't downscale anything or, 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 or upscale anything. My computer's playing the game at 1440p. OBS is running at full 1440p, like 35k bit rate. And then my main screen is 1440p. So everything is, there's no downscaling or upscaling. You see exactly, you pretty much are seeing exactly what I see right now. That's what I'm saying. There's no artifacting. If you're watching full 14, your internet's good. You're probably seeing exactly what I see. You're excited about talking about the uh, about D the first DLC, the Deco Pack? Yeah, man, it's gonna be nice. I can't wait to uh, to pick that up. I don't. I mean, probably just probably gonna have it already. Probably, obviously, I need it. Obviously, I've already played with it, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So it's gonna be nice to it's gonna be nice for like I said, even if you're not gonna play with this stuff and you want to support the dev team, buy the DLC when it comes out. He says it's gonna be five to seven bucks. That's gonna have some really cool stuff that you probably will end up playing with because. Dude, you're eventually going to want to pimp your mind out and make it look nice, right? So, there's some cool little things in there I think you'll like. Encoder preset settings? Uh, dude, there, there's a million YouTube videos. I generally don't try to get into too much of that stuff when it comes to uh, 
chatting about it on stream, dude. There's there's so many. Uh, your computer is different than mine, so anything I tell you, it's not going to work, right? So the best thing for you to do would be go and just literally type up a YouTube video for, the, for that. Because like I said, everybody's computer is different. Everybody has different performance, so I can run different settings than you can run. Also, too, like I have a be probably, a, you know, I might have a better CPU than you. You might have a better video card. Like I don't render off of my graphics card. I render off of my uh, CPU. Because my CPU is a monster, so it just it gobbles it up. Like running a 1440p stream at uh, 35k bitrate, and this game, I'm only using like 35% of my my uh, CPU. Uh, how do I get my dirt in my bucket to look like this? All vehicles. If you press I on your keyboard, hit equipment or uh, hit a hit the equipment right here, you'll see a bulk dirt option. You can do this in every piece of equipment, pretty much. Rock trucks, excavators. Loaders. Yeah, definitely buy the pack to support Christian and the dev team, dudes. We'll see how many people we can get to buy that pack, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Give those guys some money, man. Give them some money and, and show them that, hey, it's worth making DLCs and we will support you. Right? That's super important, man. It's like, that's if I can say anything much, we, even if you're not going to play with it, buy it so you support him. Because he needs it. He does. Right? So. That way, if, if we support, if we, okay, if we support him and he's making money, that means he probably doesn't have to take a partner or a publisher or things like that. And the last thing that we want is for him to have to have a publisher. He has a publisher. They're going to dictate to him what the game's supposed to be. Then he doesn't have as much control. Right? So if we support him by buying those DLCs, and stuff like that, then he doesn't have to take those options, right? So, just saying, if you, I mean, if you can't, you can't afford it, we understand completely, but that's one way to make sure that the game stays in a developer's hand, especially as like an indie dev, right? anyone know how he did the underground tunneling like hoppers or like you mean how i did my underground uh mining i have a full video for that how i did the uh conveyor belts belt mining there's also a conveyor tutorial on how to lay conveyors out and like super complex like intricate dump box ways and things like that so pretty much every aspect of the game you can find i've done some type of video on if you just search in for my videos that's what you're referring to Take a 10k loan for them. Now they pretty much just need the support coming through the products that they create. It promotes a good, um, it promotes a good um, atmosphere of the devs do hard work. They get reimbursed by us buying their product, right? And I think I think that should go for most developers. You get paid by making a good product, right? That your that your fans love and adore. Yeah, so some of, when you watch some of those older videos, the uh, the models have changed for like some of the belts. You can make you buy you buy whatever you want, brother. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, if you had the cash, you know what I mean. If you got the cash. I enjoyed it. I I enjoy playing with the deco, but not everybody does. Like some of you guys were saying the other night, yeah, I don't I don't give I don't give a shit to decorate things. You know what I mean? And no, oh, oh, it's in my why is my break on, dude? Fat, fam fat finger, my break right there. I know one thing he did say, he did say was like, he's like, I don't really want to add DLC that people have to buy to have to play the game a certain way. So, and, and I, I respect that, honestly, I really do. I, I, do, I do respect that, especially early off right now. When the game is like in constant flux, he doesn't want to have to force people to buy things like equipment just to dig a certain way, right? So finding alternative ways to put DLC into the game for people to support you is, is kind of, you know, important, right? I, I agree with that, David. I agree. I think he should after, you know, he gets to a certain point where he can breathe, right? Like when it, because right now there's no breathing room, right? It's just go, 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 go. But I think that once he gets to that point, I would love to see 
a steam powered DLC. Everything, all the equipment is like the old steam mining shovels and stuff like that. Dude, I'd pay 30 to 40 dollars for that if we got like 20 pieces of equipment and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'd pay 30, 40 bucks for that. No problem. That'd be a really cool thing. You know what I mean? Like, old drag lines, old dozers, like just, you know what I mean? And just really take the time to make the models nice and sound good and like, and just all the stuff that we had back then way back when like through throughout the the time right you know things like that where it's not going to break the game and it's not forcing you to play a certain way you know what i mean One game I've actually been really looking forward to play is that Alaska Gold Fever game. The one where it's like the old time and you have like dog sleds apparently now and there's like, it's all pickaxe mining. I'm definitely going to be picking that up and playing that. Is coal needed for steel production? Yes. You mix iron bar with coal and you make steel. Portage Hunt, it's coming in. Because of you guys. I'm, <laughs> I'll leak it, dude. Yes. Christian, <laughs> you guys are, are effing trolls, dude. And Christian loves trolling me, dude. So, yeah. <laughs> There's some cool stuff, man. Like, well, you see, it's not really a leak. You guys saw the, uh, you guys can see the art art pack deco deco thing there, right? You can see the picture you put up, so it's not like it's leaking anything anymore. But you guys haven't really seen pictures other than the stuff I've shown you guys. Uh hard hats and stuff like that with different colors. Um By any chance do I have a video out for making open pit mines? Um, that is one video that I would like to do in a shorter form format other than obviously having to watch what i did in season three in entirety right so i would like i would like to do a mining tutorial like how to how to properly start out an open pit right and and the mining a mining theory video but those theory videos and mining videos are extremely in, intense um when it comes to actually getting the information and stuff like that correct because you don't want to be like you know this is how you do something then you have 40 nerds trying to rip you apart so you gotta be very factual those and those type of videos take a long time to build right so i want to make sure that if i did a video like that that it would be something that i don't have to keep repeating you know what i mean can you ask a couple questions uh sure Depends on what they are, dude. I'm just kidding. Shoot away, man. We don't know how to use the shovel excavators. You you want me to hurt myself? Like, is that what it is? Shovel excavators are pretty easy. Now, I'm, I'm going to ramp up the tutorials, but here's the problem with tutorials, guys, with this game right now. It changes constantly, right? So literally I built that, that production video and then not even a couple weeks later, Christian completely redid all the belts and everything like that. So now people think that video is out of date and it's worthless. So it's like, you know, spending a shitload of time on a game, making tutorials. Yeah, I can farm some views. Sure, why not? Right, but eh, I don't know. It's hard. It sucks. A shitty, it's a shitty, it's a shitty situation because I hate making content, and it's obsolete in like literally like a week after I post it. The front shovel literally just takes a little bit of time to uh, get familiar with. Uh, exactly what Yark just said uh, there. Walk about. He nailed it right on the head. Thank you very much, Yark, for answering that question. Or 
on. <sighs> yep. Yeah, when you're in a piece of equipment. So when you're in a piece of equipment, you press I. And then you go over to the little equipment button and then do it. So yeah, so boom. Boom. You'll see this right here. Just click this and when it's on white, that means it's activated. You do that with every piece of equipment. I will be making a YouTube short about that. Yes. So all these little questions and stuff like that, we're going to be able to refer you guys to these questions because, you know, while while these patches are out, it's it's pretty much just like a and a pretty much. <laughs> So, try to get as many of you guys squared out as possible. Yep, it's per vehicle basis as well, too. So, you can do it with your dozers. You can do it with your rock truck. You can do it with... Ooh, dropping it on the pad there. You can do it with all of them. Yeah, under underground is, is obviously a more crunched situation right that's why it's like i'd i for me personally i prefer open pit because i don't for well for one for recording purposes like you're always like crammed in super tight trying to like get good shots while you're streaming and uh just makes it difficult makes it super difficult export that's the second snap Good thing I bought eight more terabytes of MVME to Gen 2.0. <laughs> Dude. I'll be going now for almost two hours. Is there still a delete dirt mode? No. The dirt got changed to a pickaxe. So though those those tools that we had before, the only way to delete dirt is literally with a nuke now or um Draymite. What is this exporting? This is exporting all the frames from the drone. The drone that's been recording in the sky the whole time while we're playing is exporting in batches and it takes a little bit to export. And then that way tonight, I can, if you're a VIP member, before I go to bed, you will have time lapse of all the digging I did and some music. Uh, and then around five o'clock in the morning, around five o'clock in the morning, you guys will get uh, anybody who's not a VIP be able to see it. So. Oh no! No, don't tip over! I mean, Draymite's pretty much right there, right? It's... Draymite's still one of the nicest ways to, like, delete a small section of something. But, uh, with the game, pro with the game progressing, yeah, you know, some people are a little upset with the, some of the tools and how they changed them, and now they're like... Now they're actually gameplay. Um, that's that's one thing. That was one concern that I had as well, too. I was like, you know, I don't know how well when I was talking to Christian about it. I was like, you know, I don't really know how well these tools are going to go over. At first, I hated them. Like when I played with them, I was like, dude, they're way too slow. Because each swing of the hammer was like two to three seconds to delete one block. I was like, this sucks ass. And the pickaxe, I didn't mind it being slow, but so many people are now 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 gamers right and he did say that the the fast pickaxe is a temporary solution to players that needed needed faster pickaxe mining so that could possibly get changed to a different style of hand tool or something later on so it's only just a temporary band-aid all it is okay. i only like to do the time lapse when we're blasting and stuff so what i do is i stop it I thought you see how I said I stopped the time lapse. Stop that. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to. I'm not going to dig this out. Actually, you know what? I probably should. I don't want to blast it. 
yeah no problem man any questions any, you guys feel free man you guys have any questions if i don't if i don't see it in the chat somebody here will definitely be able to answer your question as well too so these guys are really badass the community is great i appreciate everybody who comes over from their streams or watching helping people out as long as we're helping people and it's a it's a lot of stuff to learn right it's a really a lot of stuff to learn and i'd rather you guys ask questions and stuff like that than get irritated some of the things I can't, we can't, you know, obviously help help you with if you just don't like something, right? So, the way it is, but that's why you can voice your opinion if you don't like something in the suggestions on the Out of War Discord, right? If you just don't like something and and you have a better solution, that's what the suggestion box is for. You put the Creed higher music. Honestly, I really wish YouTube had a better music policy and I would not mind paying a certain amount, but half of my, half of my income going to for playing one song is insane. That's insane. That's why we don't play music here on YouTube. Right. When it comes to like actual music, we want to listen to instead of just the same freaking song we've heard a million times, right? <laughs> like the same free song, you know? And I also don't try to play a lot of music because a lot of people said that it kind of distracts from what we're talking about and stuff too. So, you know, that's why I don't really play music. If nobody's chatting in chat, dude, I will be listening to like in my own headset. Like I'm listening to music right now. You guys can't hear it. So I'm rocking out to Pantera right now, dude. I literally just went through, um, I just, I just went through a Slipknot album well, this last like hour. So rip, get wrecked nerds. Yeah, but YouTube and their their whole music policy is a little janky. They need to readjust everything for streamers and come up with a different price bracket. I have no problem supporting music creators. None. But the amount that they gouge out of you on YouTube is insane. Kind of cleaned up this edge here. Pull the shovel out and give her a good smack. It's super satisfying. Yeah, I like I like my I've all even on Gold Rush, if you guys remember, I always made sure I cleaned my walls and stuff like that. Like I I like my claims to look like smooth and clean. Give a nice little, take a little bit of time here to prep. One thing I always did before my YouTube streams when I was doing um, Gold Rush is I always made sure my my claims look clean, right? So right before I'd get in and kind of do a little bit of work and uh, clean stuff up a little bit. I don't know. Aesthetically, it just makes it look nice. Uh, let's see here. You can play music in your headset, but not on stream. Yeah. In my audio mixer, it doesn't, it doesn't pick up on my desktop because the game right now is not running through my desktop audio. I have all these different channels set. So for my music and my different sounds and stuff. So that's how you do that. Okay. So we're at two frames. I think we're good because the drone is pointing. Drone go. Bro. Drone. How'd you get over there, dude? Dude. Bro. What's up, drone? Are you seriously just looking off into no man's land over here, dude? Come on, bro. We just was staring at a rock for how many pictures? Gosh damn it. Damn drifting drone. Uh, I use voice meter banana. That's what I use. Fs. <laughs> Stupid drone. They just wandered out all over the place. What the hell, dude? All right, let me let me check through the cache. Well, we know that's so we'll just clear that cache. This cache can be cleared. Boom. 
before I forget, since we're on the fly, when did that change? When did it drift off into no man's land here? It just started randomly going over there halfway through the pictures. Well, that, you know what, honestly, that might, was I digging in that area is the question. If I would have known it was drifting, I would have dug in that area. That way we would have had like a really cool panning shot, but no. Donkey butthole. All right, we'll keep it. It is what it is. Drifting drone. All right, well, it is what it is. Torch that. I need to use the restroom. Be right back. And we're back. Got like 14 freaking jingle things here next to my name. Nope, no poop. Poop in time? No. Jordan, you want to watch me? Nah, this grass is more interesting. <laughs> <You're> right? <laughs> like, like, there was like, I think there was 600 photos where the drones just literally like, I'm going for lunch, dude. Not happening. All right, but now, now we'll face the drone that way and we'll point it here. Uh, I'll talk. I'll talk. There's a few things I want to see. I would like that when hit the parking brake on the drone, it locks it right there. That'd be great. Right. That'd be a fantastic feature for the drone. No drifting. Put it somewhere and it's looking somewhere and I hit the parking brake. The damn thing is just locked there. We could hit it, bump into it, don't do nothing. Cause now we're now we have like this weird drifty drone thing going on and like the drone's like weird to control. Start hitting this uh wall face over here. Uh, my trees, my trees have been regrowing. Are you fully updated and everything? But some people have said that their trees don't regrow. Some people said that they do. So. All right, we need to stop the time. We need to check to see what our gold looks like here. Dude, we got to do an ore check. Because we would like to buy a dozer today, right? That would be that would be great. That would be fantastic, right? A dozer today would be that would be nice. How are you doing? Things these things take hours to fill, but we're gonna keep these filled. Keep these moving, then we're gonna work down with any extra. No, now we can actually start getting this one working too. And then all the next amount of pay dirt we do, we'll all just fill this one up. And then we'll uh 
So like I said, this is four hours, some four hours per, right? So this will all, once this one gets filled up, it'll be like four hours before this is all done. That means I'm going to need to do something with all the extra pay dirt we're getting for the day. So that means I'm going to need to add another one. Probably another, probably another four. Because there's no, I can fill these up easily in four hours, right? So I probably need another four, run eight in total. Since we're, since we're chomping this much pay dirt this quickly. Yeah, we need that dirt. A lock in place yeah we, we definitely need a lock in place button it doesn't a drone doesn't need a parking brake so a lock in place would make more sense for the drone right yeah you got seven going right now yeah yeah 100 percent all right we're chugging along here today we got a bunch of ore we're probably already halfway through the uh the ore that we need for the dozer anyways so just keep moving today we just got to keep this pit moving keep pushing, keep pushing. The underground stuff was going to slow me down. And, uh, it's no good. It's no good. The drone's facing this wall face here. So let's get this wall. Let's get this wall where we want it to be. Let's work here for the next three exports. And try to get this done within the next three exports. Where do you get the exports? Uh, the uh, the things, the sluice boxes. Uh, under, it's under the workbench. In the uh, in the store. Now the reason why I'm using these right now, is because I get a guaranteed amount of gold. I know what I'm gonna get. Like I was saying earlier, I know exactly what I'm gonna get per hour of filling these things up. I know, and it's not a luck thing. Okay, so you have to make them these these sluice boxes no the, you just buy them in the store under the workbench tab no they're not a quest reward no i have not done one quest honestly yeah like 7k in the store. Hey, we're at 140 likes. Damn, bros. You guys are insane, dudes. Thank you very, very much for the support, guys. And all you guys that have been joining the comment gang, bros. You guys have been you guys have been on it dude and honestly you know what that does like i was saying the other day what that does when you guys leave comments and hit that like button it puts it out to more people like yourself right and i've noticed a massive increase in uh in impressions so while you guys doing that it puts me out to more people like yourself so thank you guys thank you Actually, I I actually do not have as many hours as people think that I that I should probably have in out of war. Actually, do not. I'm at like thirteen hundred or something like that. But this year I'll probably shoot over three thousand, no problem. No problem, no problem at all. Like I said, I'm hitting out of war this year. Ridiculous. Last year was even ridiculous. But the hours that I spent was all like content hours of working on videos and stuff like that and when i was working on the videos i didn't have the game open when i was editing so i was constantly working on it and, and playing it and testing and doing things but i don't just leave my game open into log hours right so Yeah, we're trying to so we're trying to stay away from any type of like hardcore weird imbalance uh money on this save for the viewer challenge like hard survival right so we're trying to stay away from anything that's like oddly imbalanced at the moment to give you massive amounts of money we actually want to have to work for things so 
but that is the the like wood is insane. Wood is insanely in, un, in, in balanced right now. Yeah, one point almost one point three. Yeah. Really? Oh, Chris. Well, yeah, I mean, if you have, you know what I mean? It's a little hard to get a question in. Well, especially, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to answer questions about Power World. <laughs> like, obviously I'm not going to be answering questions about Power World when I'm playing, playing, you know what I mean? Flying. Well, open up your chat then. Or reading both chats. I actually don't have any more monitor space. Like, well, because on my one monitor, I run Dopey Stream and everything like that too, right? I run Dopey Stream and then and my stream on that. And then I have Discord open on that screen as well. And then on my other monitor that I have flipped up uh, on Edge is my chat and for like donations and stuff. And then my main screen is my monitor, so. So that's okay you're not missing much hey i i said i used to i like the chill i like the chill streams man some days it's just not easy entertaining you know what i mean is you just like you don't want to talk you just want to like chill sometimes it's like that man you're just like a whole week of like Eight hour days chatting, answering questions, man. Last thing you want is another question. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, oh, not today. Like tomorrow, I'm like, dude, I need a mental break tomorrow. I need a little bit of a break. You know? I'll still be working on videos and stuff, but yeah. Hanging out in Discord. But if I'm quiet, that's why. But come on, come on in tomorrow. Come on in tomorrow, and uh, if, if you're if you're a VIP, come on in, chill out, get to know some of the community, talk about the game, share some pictures and out of war, disc, out of the out of the out of war. Chat, you know, a lot of chill people here, a lot of cool peeps. Don't be offended if someone says your microphone sucks ass and to go to press to speak or something like that, because we don't want to blow anybody's eardrums and stuff like that out. So we'll try to help you guys the best we can. If you guys have a uh, Weird microphones and things like that. Unless you're Yark and we just can't understand what you're saying because you sound like the dude from freaking Clarkson's Farms. Can't help that, so. You know. When I first heard Yark talk, I swear I thought I was he was that guy. Damn it. Dick noob. And open a stream with us chat. Nah, tom tomorrow's like a tomorrow's just a chill type of day for me. Like I was saying, make a nice dinner tomorrow, and it's hard to stream and make a nice dinner for me and my wife. You know, and have like that. Like that's why we bought an air fryer, actually. So it's like when we're streaming, it's just real quick and easy. Adobe wants me to make a really nice dinner for her tomorrow and stuff like that. So, yep. And I want to be able to go. I've you know, obviously, I have to have days where I clean the house, or we we clean house, and 
you know, do laundry and, and shit like that, right? Seven days a week, bro. Got to find time to do something. Give it the great work, dude. Ian, dude, thank you much, brother. And how are you doing today? They have a tuna fish casserole. Actually, I might actually have that tonight. Maybe, possibly. No, no. Don't be don't be vetoed that already. Don't be vetoed tuna fish casserole. How about uh, um, she likes tuna melts though. Just veto tuna fish casserole just like that. It's not my fault you can't understand Yorkshire. <laughs> Dude. I, I actually can understand quite a bit of what you say. Then again, I talk to people from all around the world, right? So. It happens. Dopey just wants another McRib. How did that set in your stomach, Dopey? Was it okay? She said it was fine. Nice. She was... She, I... I knew she would like it because she likes that like hungry man barbecue taste. Right? I knew she would like it and that's exactly what it reminds me of. She said she's like as soon as you open the bag and it got her, she's like, it's oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells so good. And then when she was eating it, she was like, what the shit? <laughs> yeah, she likes that that cooked bullseye taste like the imitation bullseye right i don't blame her man i agree man that's actually what i used to do when i was younger like i used to just put like you know, get some bread and when you had those little old tv dinners right and uh make kind of make it make kind of make your own little mcrib oh now i'm hungry yo what's up john how's the new update going great man actually You, you're probably dopey. Okay, dopey stream is the first time we've ever had a stream get fully demonetized. And it's probably because when you were, you were eating the McRib and making like moaning sounds because you're like you, you were just making fun of me and my brother for eating dick burgers, dicks burgers, you know, like so. How in the hell did you get fully demonetized last night? We even said the poop story from last night and didn't get any type of ad anything. Don't be, don't be eating a McRib got her fully demonetized. Like the first, the first video in the history of this channel to ever be fully demonetized. Even the, the Sea of Thieves incident didn't get demonetized like that. It got ad reduction. It had to have been when you were eating the McRib with your microphone open, making, making like food eating noises. Like it had to have it had to have been what it was. Yeah, seriously, I'm not joking, dude. I looked this morning and it was like your video has been fully demonetized. You're you're it, you're not getting a uh, you're not getting a, a, a claim or anything like that or nothing like that. It's no community guideline warning or nothing. But the video was it literally said this video is not allowed to have any advertisement on it at all. And but YouTube did crack down on uh, ASMR in in that type of manner. Right, they did. And the algorithm the algorithm listens for that the, the machine learning actually listens for that sp specifically to find stuff like that. Dopey's like I'm eating dinner. I don't care. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal, I don't care. It's, it's, no. Oh my gosh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like dopey eating dopey eating a freaking McRib is gonna go viral and you know what I mean? Like break the internet. <laughs> Yeah, ASMR algo will do that for sure, hundred percent. I, I couldn't, I couldn't think about what it was. I was like, my stream didn't get anything, so it wasn't anything. I, you know what I mean? Like, everything we talked about, completely fine. No, there was no, there was no ad rev issues or anything on last night's stream. But Dopey's got hit hard, right? It had to have been the McRib when you were eating the McRib, dude, hundred percent. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I was like, I was like, 
Like I was, I was like, Dopey, what did you guys, what were you guys doing before? I was like, what were you guys doing before me and I joined the Discord with you guys? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, oh, it was. <laughs> that was super strange, dude. Now I'm worried about that drone, like, moving away, dude. Um, let me just let me play drone don't don't be doing that okay oh my god i think the drone moved again bro hitting me okay what, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something here yeah see the, the drone okay since we're recording cut that off okay you know what okay i'm gonna export crash into the ground I'm going to reset the drone and see if something's weird. It just wants to drive, fly around. I need this drone to stay in place. Stop being a butthole. You're, you're messing with the flow of things here, dude. stealing this for a commercial <laughs> oh good <laughs> yeah dopey reads my chat and her chat yeah dopey dopey's dopey streams on hers but she also mods for the chat so uh yeah, these drones are really pissing me off. Really pissing me off. I think that is hilarious because Dopey, Dopey was literally talking about how me and my brother were doing that, and then she gets demonetized for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drone. Stop moving around on your own there, buddy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the drone out of the world. Send it to garage. In the garage. And we're going to spawn it back in. See if that fixes its... Uh... It's like it doesn't want to float and stay floating in the same spot. It wants to, like, move slowly. See now it wants to stay. So I guess of the drone problem, I I need to I need to re respawn the drone probably every time I change. That's probably what the best op option would be, right? So then we also got to make sure I change this every time I do that. So one thousand uh, remote trigger, uh, etc. Okay. So we'll work we'll work that rim right there. That wall. We'll clean the wall up. Work the rim. actually give us a little bit more yeah. drop a save get that save rolling you are really close to 150 today. Okay. Alright, back to work. There we go. Stab and grab. Let's go.
Yeah, I'm not really worried about smelting right now or anything like that because we're not really building anything, so we can just dig. And build up that uh, war chest, right? Yeah, the, dr the drones are... So, I was asking Christian, because we always had like a time-lapse feature in the game. But what I asked him was, I said, you know what would be really cool for content creators? Is if you gave us a way to record actual video footage. Right? Like, beyond just a time-lapse. And since we're able to literally make the frame rate down to like 60 fps that many pictures it allowed it allowed someone like myself to like if i want to do a nice drive-by shot like this with the drone i drive by the drone um it would allow me to set the drones up at a rate where i'm getting so many frames per second it pretty much when i put them together it looks like a seamless video right and i did that with a lot of the shots especially if you if you watch the where I did a crazy amount of uh, drone work is watch the season three recap video. The power of the drones when they're working correctly, most of that stuff was drone work. It was not just me recording it like this. Most of that, most if not all of that footage is from a drone. But then again, it recorded at like, I would I would fill a 7,000 cap for 7,000 pictures to my, to my hard drive in like less than... 15 seconds yeah so it'd be like 15 seconds dude and it'd be like boom hey cam dude thank you much for uh, membering up dude appreciate that dude non-gifted member hell yeah dude much love brother thank you much for the support dude big here yeah so the drone the drone's a really powerful too and a tool and most people don't use it to its extent Right? Most people don't use it to its fullest extent. And the reason why is it's so performance heavy, right? But to get really good time lapses, you want to make sure you're at like a, a one setting or maybe three shots per, you know, three, three, anywhere between three. If you have a lower end computer, you can do that. But right now the drones are broken, right? So that's why I can't do like a three or a four shot drone. Um, and a thousand, a thousand, pretty much a thousand pictures is like three gigs so you're gonna need a lot of storage if you're recording for a whole long session so that's why i actually went out and got myself um i went out and got myself about i went i got i pretty much maxed out my motherboard with uh gen 4 mvme two terabyte drives so that way like each stream like one stream will fill like four terabytes if i'm doing like four or five drones at a time No doubt. Hype it up, brother. 18, 18 gifted members today and members joining today. Thank you guys very much, man. You guys are insane. You guys are, you guys are badass, dude. Thank you for that support, guys. And thank you to all the people that have been gifting and helping people out that may not be able to afford uh, memberships. That's kind of why I want to do the time lapses so you guys can uh, get some, see something a little bit before everybody else. And so like, not, like we had the conversation like how many people some people you guys were like now nah, we don't care about the time lapses i agree i agree i generally don't watch them either myself uh, on other people's but i do know that a lot of we work so long on here and one of the biggest complaints on the channel for people that watch and find my channel is that why are you making me suffer through an eight hour video i just want to see what you did i don't want to watch eight to ten hours no one your, your channel's never going to grow if you just only do eight hour videos well first off you're not watching a video, bro. Watching a live stream. It says this was streamed at this time, not uploaded. So, yeah, that's why I kind of put those videos on there for the people that uh, need that time, right? So, they have time crunch, but they they want to catch up, right? What did you do? What happened? What's up, Jesse? Hey, Zach Miller as well, dude. Thank you, dude. 
Hey, you don't gotta worry about it, man. There's no pressure. One of one of these guys in the chat will be going gray hunting at some point. They go they go hard. Just make sure you guys have your uh make sure you guys have your allow gifts turned on. That's all I have to say. Because when these guys go hard, you know that ding that just popped up? Sometimes it'll do that for like two hours straight, dude. And they'll break my shit. So make sure you have allowed gifts turned on. JSP, what's up, buddy? How you doing today, man? Uh, could you show real quick how to do the drone footage? Um, yeah. Take a look here. I'll help you guys out. I'll do. I'm gonna be. I'm actually gonna work on a video for this tomorrow, but I'll I'll show you guys a couple more times here today. So pretty much when you put the drone out, go into in world. You don't want to connect to the drone, right? Put it wherever you want to put it. You press I on your keyboard when you're in the drone. And then the little view window down here in the bottom left corner, you're going to set that up to where you shot you want to record at, right? And then you have the uh, these options here. Actually, let me turn off the recording. So the options that you have here are the time before frames, which is, you know, one second, one frame. This is how many frames it's going to do before it auto exports. It'll auto export into your um, save folder for the game under uh sequence. It'll say, it'll say like a sequence. Uh, you can add a remote trigger to turn this on uh, for both one key button. See how I turn it off and turn it on. That's because I, I bound my key to F4 in the options. And then if you want to clear, you clear it right here with the clack cache, but you need to export it or it'll d delete the video footage. Right, so that's pretty much how you use the drone in a nutshell. As well as Grumpy dropping the five banger, dude. You got Brendan, you got Jesse, you got Douglas, you got Blacks, you got John, Cam, Brendan. Much love, dude. I can't see it right now because it's all screwed up by the gifts. I'll be doing a video on this tomorrow. I'll make a nice little short video tomorrow, and um, and that way we can go over that. All right, so I'll because I I know I'm tr I'm trying to fill in the blanks. So there's not so many questions all the time for Christian and those guys to be answering or how things work. And I know a lot of you guys want to learn how to use these things and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll, I'll definitely be doing the tutorials, like informational tutorials on how to do the little things on the game. So we'll do the, I'll do the drone one. That, that'll be a really quick video for me tomorrow. Uh, I was going to do a, the Hornet wash plant, how I built that. Cause some people want to know how to build that, like build that style of looking plant. But I think tomorrow it'll be more important for me to do like the drone tutorial footage and uh, stuff like that. So there we go. Yeah, dude. Thank you much for that, dude. Yeah, I think it'd be I think it'd be more beneficial for me to, to do those things. If I had the time tomorrow, I might hit out the uh, like a wash plant build, like a little like a realistic looking wash plant and then explain it real quick. I just did spend on a damn bro. That's an expensive bottle. Actually, not now, not really nowadays, right? Like under two hundred dollars for a nice for nice nice stuff. Yeah, this is just expensive, dude. Extra more expensive stuff. Freaking guys out there just hunting those grays, dudes. Like a safari today. Yeah, as well as thank you to the guys who donated literally off stream yesterday because <laughs> freaking freaking <laughs> oh dude You dug yourself into a hole, dude. You, so pretty much you pulled the virus. We call that pulling a virus. You dig yourself 
So the, the story goes this. We were playing Valheim. Boris fell asleep while digging and then his pickaxe broke and he, then he couldn't get himself out of the hole that he dug. So we call it pulling a Vars. Yeah, so Dopey had to log on and come help him out in multiplayer. Help dig him out of his own hole. <laughs> Love watching streams and videos, dude. Thanks, man. Love having you guys in the ch chat. Just chatting with you guys. Keeps me, keeps me going, man. He fall in a hole. That's called pulling a split. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's all the only reason why people watch Gold Rush, dude, is because they were like, they were waiting for me to fall in the hole because I'm like reading chat trying to dig. And they're like, is he going to do it? Is he, is he going to fall in the hole right now? He's always getting pretty close. <laughs> you guys are taking bets. Like, <laughs> is he going to fall in the hole today? Yeah, we're getting the, we're getting the mine side opened up pretty good there now. Plans have changed, so we need to we need to hustle. We need money. We need dozers. We need equipment. Mega project is getting is going to happen. So, yep. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of hours to stream. We got a lot of time. I think so. So the only days I'm I'm going to be having off will be, I'm taking off tomorrow to work on a couple things, and then it'll be Tuesday because I'm taking Dopey out to dinner. So, and then Tuesday, so Tuesday, every, every, pretty much every day I'll be streaming. So, and then possibly it'll obviously, uh, the Tuesday after that will obviously be not on. So I might take two days off on that Tuesday and Wednesday of next week because Valentine's day. So yeah, other than that, digging, 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 digging that hole, man. The pick the pickaxe is OP as hell, dude. Like the pick the the fast pickaxe is is a gangster. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why we had to bring up a vote for it, right? To 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 put that thing away, or to only use it to clean up things, right? Like, because that thing is more overpowered than this, per or per hour. Like when you're digging, it's oh it's 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 way more overpowered than this thing. As long as the dopey's happy, yeah, exactly. It's if Dopey says I ain't streaming for the day, I ain't streaming for the day. You know what I mean? We used to not stream on the weekends and stuff like that, but because the weekends were just like us time and sometimes we do that, but Dopey started selling me out. And she's like, Dopey would be selling me out every weekend. Like, you know, a couple, a couple good fat donos you can buy the weekend. Dude, she put me on the internet street, bro, to dig a hole in a video game. Are you kidding me? Like, shit, damn, dude. She hoed me out to out of war, dude. Put me on the digital dirt digging street corner. True pimp right there. Yep. That's still on the table. <laughs> I think it, I think you get better XP and money if you use the sell point, not the store. I don't think the, the store is balanced very well selling ore the xp ratio i don't i don't know because i have not ran the numbers but wait where the okay there's the drone where'd a drone be 
where the drone at. Because the old system for leveling and gaining XP was selling to the, 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 um, was selling to the actual, anytime ore was sold. Now, a lot of us players, we used that because it was so brutal to level back when, when the open, when open pit came out. That green spot's bugging you. Yeah, it was so brutal back when. Like, I, I personally don't feel like you should get XP by selling things to the, to the store. I don't, I think it's a, it's kind of hokey. I think you should get the XP by crafting. Then you just get money by selling things. I think it's an easy, I think it's a better system that way. Makes more sense. Now that there's more ways and more things to do in the game right now. Right? Before, when there was nothing else to do, just selling ore made sense to make XP. It was an easy way to, um, to do it, right? So I think, I think making it yeah, I agree. Money. Yeah, exactly. It just, it just makes better sense that we get the XP from crafting. It promotes crafting, right? Versus pumping that store for currency, right? Or XP. Like those things right over there, I should be getting, I should be, I would be getting XP if that was that, if that was the case. So while those things are stuffed and running, I'd, they'd be like a nice passive XP coming in, right? Your XP would be slowly going up as those things are processing that gold, right? That's how that system would work. Same thing with all your other smelters and stuff too, right? So, and then you, then you sell the product just to get your cash, right? It'd be, it'd be much better. I think, it, I think it would feel better. It would kind of give us a way to like, while we're working to also gain extra XP. And we're exporting. And we're exporting. It's exporting. Time to get those chat messages in. Let's go. <laughs> get them on in there. I don't even know how many gold bars I roughly have right now. I'm just, I just know I need to dig. I just know that I need to slam Pater into my box. Welcome back, Keith. Unless you guys just want to uh, dig holes, then they are uh, forced to craft. Well, they're they're in the beginning when XP came to the game. When XP first came to the game, there was two options before it went live, and there was digging with a. So anytime you generated a voxel, it would give you a set kind of a little bit of an XP, kind of like how the kind of how the. Um, it's kind of pretty much how the the pickaxe works now. You generated something, it gave you XP. The, all the equipment used to work that way, but it felt really corny, kind of, because then you could glitch it out by just literally just sitting there pushing and creating voxels with a dozer, and it was an easy way to super cheese it, and it was kind of hard to control it, right, to make the game feel good. So I suggested, well, why don't you just make it to where every time we sell something, you get XP instead of on generation of voxel. And it was easier to control and it was easier to not exploit or feel exploity or stupid. Right. But now for all this new stuff, it doesn't make sense now. Right. So it seems, it just seems better to kind of convert that over to the crafting system instead. And, and that way when we're digging and stuff like that, where we're digging to work towards something, but then like you're trying, like you said, you know, it kind of, it, it, you, it really has to be thought about balance wise, where you get things versus what you get, when you get it. Um, like the OP pickaxe right now gaining that much experience is insanity. Right? That's insane. No, and there won't be the best solution yet because it just needs playtime. Right? There's th That's the thing. You, you really have to sit down and theorycraft the game, the gameplay loop, right? You, you really do. And it has to, you, you can't, nobody can, right, nobody right now can just sit down and go, this is exactly how it should be. It would work perfect this way. Right, like no, like even the solution for just crafting is not really an option. 
It, it is an option, but it's part of the, the solution, not the whole solution. Right, and nor, and nor can we really say that right now that would be the solution forever because one thing could come into play and it would change the whole value of everything, right? So it's kind of, um, it's difficult to say, right? It really is. That's why theory crafting games and we're just hypothetically talking about the game is, you know, it helps us kind of work our way, work it through our brain, right? Because some people just want to dig. They don't want to build, right? Some people don't want to craft at all right so you got to kind of have to take everybody into account when it comes to that so that's the most important thing like i was saying earlier is is making sure that everybody's play style is kind of you can't really do it to a point but you know what i mean like you kind of want to make sure you look out for everybody but the crafting getting crafting xp is definitely is needed right but I also do think now that we've got all this crafting and all this other stuff that's coming into the game, I think we do need a standalone survival mode. I think adding a standalone survival mode would be nice. Since I always seem to be doing the viewer challenges and stuff like that, maybe I can write up a whole set of guidelines and stuff like that and see if we can get Christian to do a, uh, do a uh, survival mode. A split in two survival mode. Yo, what's up, locksmith? What do you mean, Eric? What are you, what are you, what are you referring to? How do you give subs? Uh, there should be a button down there that says like uh, like a money symbol or something. I think it's in that option. I believe. You personally feel like crafting is one of the coolest things they could have added? Yeah, that's what we said last night, Darius. That's what we were. That's what I was talking about last night. As I said, um, taking the ability to buy anything from a store. We were we were all sitting here trying to come up with like crafting, you know, the crafting stuff, right? Like, what would be a good survival, and and pretty much that's what we came to the conclusion was that no options at all, no buying. But the, the problem with that is there's too many holes in the game right now. Right, so later on down the road, once that comes in, that would be an option because we'd have to be able to, first off, we'd have to be able to craft everything, right? And some of the things we can't craft, right? So that would have to happen first. Yeah, a lot of those once, yeah, later on down the road though, for sure, that'd be great. It's That's a great way. Yeah, we were just having the conversation. Yark dropping the five bomb, dude. And Locksmith dropping the one gift as well. Dude, you guys are badasses, man. It's boosts. Yeah, at this point, yeah, but but um, those things, I think that those those holes will be plugged. Those holes will definitely be plugged. Yeah, dude, big old big old hype, man. Hype in the chat, you guys are awesome, man. Split ten, <laughs> split X ten, hard mode. No, I think I think once the once, I mean, obviously we're not done with the leveling. He's not done with the leveling and progression, right? And there's there's probably going to be a ton of features. That are going to go into that whole system too like if i was to guess if i was to guess what we just had now added to the game and what we had before with the open pit mining if i was to guess because this is way i don't i only get to see like a little bit ahead not much i would assume that i would assume that this is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the leveling progression and crafting merge together right I, I would assume that this is only the tip right and, and you can see where he kind of went and what they've added if you like looked at it like a like a chart you can see that most of the stuff that he added was like for the repair system and the building system right now what about all the other systems that he said that are probably going to be in this game down the road right so that's the that's the the crazy thing too so no more grays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right right now this is this is only a small percentage of the game. And what he wants the game to, to be. Right? So and what we want to be. Right? So that's the that's the deal. So right now we're all just like sitting here going, dude, how's this all gonna play together? And things like that. And honestly, I've said it all along. 
That's the exciting thing about this game for me. That's what I like. Sitting there chatting with you guys, talking with you guys about it, theory crafting the game, you know, and then watching Christian take all of our information of all the stuff that we talk about and what we would like to see and actually make it happen. So it's it's fun, dudes. It's super fun. It's it's a fun thing to be a part of right now. Like honestly. Like it's a super fun thing to be a part of, especially as a content creator, you know? Yeah, so I mean, it's, you know, it's, we all want to dig holes. We all have that in common. We all want to dig holes. It's just what all the other things that we get to do, right? It's like 2% of the game. Yeah, but yeah, all he's doing is building different things to eventually pull it all together in one big, beautiful situation, right? For us. So people can, people, like I said, people get upset right now. They're just, they're, they're prematurely getting upset. Every patch breaks the game. It's like, yeah, but every patch also brings a massive amount of cool shit that we get to play with. And, and yeah, it may not be perfectly uh, made right off the bat, but at least it's in the game and we can all talk about it as a community. The last, uh, Q the last dev Q and a Christian really emphasized on that, that, that yes, every patch when it comes out is not going to be perfect. It's going to be broken. Some people may hate it. Some people may like it, but this game is being developed like the idea of let's throw a whole bunch of shit up against a wall and see what sticks. Well, yeah. Take that as you will, because that's pretty much what happens. Right? Found it. <laughs> dude, Cam. Much love, brother. You guys are insane, dude. 35 gifted subs a day? You guys are nuts, bros. Absolutely crazy, man. Like, not everything that we suggest is going to get put into the game, right? But it also does help Christian understand what the player base likes. Right? And not every player is going to be the same, so Christian does try to still cater to everybody, right? And, and uh, to an, to a point, right? It's and it's it's very obvious that he does. And they going they going hard, dude. Oh man, going hard today. I think they're doing it the right way too, 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 Wayne. I agree. I agree. It, it's. The game is playable after the patch. There is some hot fixing that needs to be done, but look at all the great data that we've all submitted that now they can use, maybe not on the next patch, but in like two or three patches down the road, right? So we got to think of it that way. What we suggest and what we talk about now will not be used on the next patch. It'll most likely be used on future patches so they can have time to develop, right? And, um, you know, I know, I know that they've been really hard at work on the uh the new equipment and stuff like that i've seen a lot of the renders and stuff and it's really good it's gonna it's gonna be really nice it'll be really nice just want to support you and dopey both deserve it dude thank you much man appreciate that dude really do we honestly really do appreciate all the support you guys give us think they're trying to break the stream it takes a lot more than that I'm just, I'm just saying, dude. I think it's impossible to cap. You guys, there's no way you guys do that. There's no way. It's impossible. That would that would require multiple you, multiple and multiple of you guys nowadays. They did be they could do it before, but not now. There's no way. It ain't happening. Up, Dylan. And Lex, dude, thank you much for the uh, sub, dude. If you're watching. Got five minutes before you can say something in the chat. You got your PC fully upgraded now? Yeah, we've came a long way. This last year, we man, we've came so far. Remember where we were like in this time last year? I I can tell you exactly where we were. Damn, bro. Like, don't worry, I got that bottle now. We're good to go. <laughs> no, not actually. Not one person can do it. It's impossible unless you did multiple YouTube accounts. YouTube has a daily and a weekly cap on how much you can spend on the channel. <laughs> yes, and Glenn has found that a few times and literally then found out that his bank account got locked because they were confused. Glenn. <laughs> 
You know how many times Glenn's had to get new, new, go to probably call his bank, dude? Jeez, dude. Freaking stupid. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Uh, cannot cut. We, we, there's nothing we can do with uh, diamonds or ruby or anything like that right now at this moment. Yeah, dude. Much love, Cam, dude. Appreciate that, brother. And I know these guys, too, that just got, uh, that just got VIPs, man. I know they appreciate that, too, as well. We're recording. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with them at this moment. That night was mental. Yeah, dude. That wasn't... You guys all... It wasn't just Glenn. Everybody was dropping like 50 bombs in the chat. Yeah, because sometimes they'll they'll pick a person for the month that, that they can't... Like a magical Pokemon. And they're trying to hunt a gray out of someone that doesn't have it. So like... You'll see someone in the chat and then they'll all fight to see if they can get that person to be green. And it's the, the most we've ever had in one month was 1,200 gifted memberships in 30 days. It was... I have BOA on speed dial now. <laughs> yeah, it was like 1,200 gifted something. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. I, You guys literally made Dopey cry. You guys are like, seriously? She's like, I don't understand. He's like, I don't get it. Like, holy shit, dude. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, before YouTube was confused, actually. I actually had to get a representative. We actually talked to a representative because these guys were breaking. They were breaking YouTube is what was happening. So YouTube and I think YouTube actually changed the policy after we talked to them. So, <laughs> or you guys all actually just turned on gifted members. But so what was happening is these guys were giving gifteds out, but they wouldn't get received by anybody because people didn't have allowed gifts turned on, right? So the cap we had, it was like 250 or something like that. And Shane and those guys were finding that cap really quick, right? And then nobody had allowed gift on. so. No, nobody knew that we were like what's going on it's broken right it's all broken we don't we know the, the gifteds aren't turning out right they, they're not they're not getting handed out that sucks and then you guys have then you guys get refunded and and, and shit like that right and so i got a hold of youtube and i actually got a person for once it was that was a long ordeal i had to i literally had to have to get an actual person to talk to at youtube i kept getting bots so what i did was i just had chat gpt talk to the bot and they 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 corresponded back and forth for like five minutes before chat gpt beat the shit out of that bot and then gave me an actual person so but that was the only way i could actually get to talk to an actual person was to have chat gpt beat the crap out of that bot <laughs> like like damn it i want to talk to someone that actually is not going to give me some stupid response that's not going to help me and the person that the, one of the guys said he goes well i i'm looking at your account there's nothing that says your, your account is in great standing with youtube actually really good for a small channel he goes he goes, your, he goes your fan base is is insane is insane and he's like he's like i don't understand why he goes the only he, he comes back and he's like the only way he's like the only thing i could think of is that your viewers are just not turning on allowed gifteds and so it can't hand it out to anybody right so if somebody gifts say 200 subs and oh you only have 200 people that can receive them it's not going to give him out. And I, pretty much I told him, I was like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I was like, and he's like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That needs to be changed. And I was like, yes, you guys need to change that. Because why do, why do we have to, why do we have to give permission to get something for free? You're gaining, nobody's gaining information. And what he told me was, is he goes, it's because if a kid gets it and a lot of YouTubers use membership as a way to keep kids out of their VIP section and stuff like that. And that makes sense. I can, I agree with that. I, you know what I mean? So, because I do that, I do a lot of adult drinking streams under VIP and stuff like that when, I, when we do them, right? If we know we're going to start getting closer to that TOS line, we'll do VIP stream. So that made, that made sense. That made sense. But these guys were trying to find that cap every time and it was getting quite insane. It, it, the cap went from 200 to 400 to we've never found the cap now. And we've been over, we were at that 1200 that one day. We were, we were at that 1200. Yeah, it was 1200. We still didn't find the cap. So I, I think they literally changed the thing. 
he said they he said that they've never really seen this before he said he goes i don't know what's going on i had then he had to get back to me right and that's what that's what he said he goes he goes you just need to literally advertise and tell people to turn their shit on like that's the only thing i can tell you right now which i find that to be insane like that many gifted subs you guys were doing it over on twitch like snippy and chain and a couple of you guys like yeah you guys went absolutely not i can't it's grounded i can't turn them on yeah if you youtube yep i remember that day we kept going and going and then we broke it yeah it, it's it was dude crazy no, I think it capped out at seven something. I think it was 700. Then you guys tried to break that and then you guys couldn't find it. It was. Yeah, nah. too many people, too many people turning gifteds on, right? It, it could be over 2000 or something like that. Now, who knows? We've gained a lot of subscribers last year. We've gained over 7000 subscribers and most of those people have been told to turn gifted on. So who knows what's happened? You know what I mean? In that period of time. Branded means that YouTube hates you and they take away most of your features. No, I don't. I don't. What, did, what the hell is even branded? It's pretty much like a grandfathered account or something like that. It's so stupid. They force some, they force some things in. So dumb, man. Was this on Twitch or was this YouTube when this happened? This is on Twitch. This is on YouTube. Uh, Twitch. Okay. So the reason why we don't stream on Twitch is because, okay. First off, this has always been the home of Splitting 2 Gaming. It's, a, it's been the main home of the channel, right? When I originally started and I actually, once I, once I realized, okay, people want to watch me stream and play gold rush and dig these holes, right? I popped up both channels cause I wasn't, I wasn't a partner with any platform, right? So there was no rules that said I couldn't stream on both platforms. So I was like, okay, we'll just see where, we'll just see where this goes. So I'll just do Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Right. And that went okay. We had about 15, 15 or so people watching on on Twitch, but we had like 150 on YouTube, right? And the chat on, on YouTube was active as hell and just going hard. So I'm, and then I made partner on YouTube in like less than 30, like 30 something days, right? We spazzing out over there. Yeah. So it was like 30 something days and I got my, I was monetized and all that stuff. Right. So then you, Twitch started to kind of like slump off and everybody wanted to come over and watch on YouTube. So then that way I was like, okay, well, nothing's really happening on Twitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it and we'll slowly just be on YouTube. And then YouTube went through some weird stuff and they started just randomly kicking people out of the stream. Right. They started just randomly kicking people out of the stream. Like, like a moderator timed somebody out for it. It, it was even happening to my wife. It was about 50% of the audience thought that we were timing people out and it would give no notification to us or my mods and this happened for a year it even happened on the final straw was when i did the developers from gold rush wanted me to promote leaderboards on console and they gave me all this promo package stuff and they're like split do your thing and even the developers were getting kicked out of my chat right they were even getting kicked out and I, it, it pissed me off so bad because everybody was DMing me going split. I thought we were, I don't understand. Why am I getting kicked out and timed out? And, and all my homies and stuff like FS club, they come over and they're like, dude, I was, you know, and all these other larger creators were trying to talk, talk they were trying to talk, talk in my chat. And they're like, dude, did you ban me? What, what did I do? I thought we were homies, bro. And I'm like, I didn't do anything. They actually had to donate to me to tell me that they thought they were banned. Right. And I was like, what? you're not banned so the one thing i did is i actually i told fs club i was like dude hold on let me try something i did it right on the stream i said i'm gonna ban you and then i'm gonna take you off the ban list and see if you can type in the chat and it worked so youtube was shadow banning large content creators from talking to me in my chat anybody that was over 50 to 75k viewer subscribers they were not allowed to type in my chat at all anymore like none so YouTube was not allowing me to collaborate with anybody pretty much, or those people to type in my chat. So something was fishy going on there. They said there was nothing going on, blah, 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 but that's kind of BS. And so I went to Twitch 
I went to Twitch for about a year. Twitch was doing great. Twitch was doing really, really good. Twitch was growing hard. We grew really fast on Twitch playing Farm Sim and Construction Simulator uh, with me and Dopey and, and, and the guys. Twitch was going great, man. Like we have a lot of... Everyone's like, oh, you should play Construction Sim. We have that. It's, we have tons of Construction Sim. All the VODs got brought over and we were spending VODs, but nobody cared. For, for years, people thought we weren't... For two years, people thought we, I wasn't making content at all. But no, I was just sending my VODs over, but YouTube was stupid. But I kept testing YouTube every so often to see if it was still doing that thing. And once we noticed that it stopped happening, it was also around the same exact time that Twitch screwed us of over $5,000. And they didn't pay us. They didn't pay us. They, one, one time it was $2,300 that we were supposed to get paid, and they literally just paid us 60 bucks. And we don't know why. They just they said that there was no error, there was no nothing. But that month we ended up getting like three level nine hype trains and we didn't see a dime of it. And then I went back and I looked at all of how many subs we got gifted and I just did the math. And I found out that they stole over $5,000 from us and they didn't even, they couldn't, they couldn't prove, they could not say that they didn't do it. But then they said pretty much they were just saying our system can't make errors like that. And that was the final straw for me because for one, for one, you guys work hard for your money. And the last thing I want to see you guys doing is supporting somebody or su supporting anybody, any content creator. That sucks. You support them. For one, they only get 50% of it. And then on top of it, they're, in my case, they were just taking 100% of it in most cases. All right. So it's like you're just donating for nothing. Right. And all your guys' hard money is just going to nothing. And that's why I left Twitch and came back to YouTube was because it's it was just bullshit right you guys were tossing all these gifteds and you trying to hype up the chat and the channel and we were just getting dicked so goodbye twitch you know see you later buddy that's pretty much the whole arc of the channel what we've done and where we've made content and stuff like that now I might, I have been dabbling with possibly streaming on every platform at the same time. But I will only prioritize YouTube and Twitch comments. However, I will be turning monetization off on Twitch. You guys are not going to be allowed to donate on Twitch. Because the last thing we want is, like I just said, you know, we don't want that, right? So I've been thinking about possibly doing that again and going to live to all all platforms. Why not, right? Got the computer for it. All that stuff. You guess the only time you haven't haven't uh, followed me is when I went to Twitch. That was a lot of people. I remember a lot of people were super sad when I went to Twitch and I stopped doing and I wasn't doing YouTube anymore. And and I I completely understand. Twitch is a different place. It's a different community. Um, I mean, the money thing wasn't the only reason why I stopped doing Twitch. The other reason why I stopped doing Twitch is because it was too many AFKers that wanted to support farm sim, not individual creators. And the sad thing is about, about that is, is that that actually hurts single creators because your chat is dead for one. The chat's dead. They're all AFK. They're not actually there. And you don't get the interaction because they're not they're not there. So when people look at your stream and they come in, they go, oh, you have 150 people watching you. There's one person chatting in the last 20 minutes. That's a big red flag. And it it's not good. You know, it's it's really not a good thing. Right? So that's that's the bummer. Hey, Snowy, Dixon, thank you much for that sub. Appreciate that. That's that's Twitch in NSL. We called it the Kumbaya factor. Everybody wants to help out. The farm sim community is great. I love the farm sim community. They, you guys were you guys were fantastic to us. However, as a solo creator that doesn't join groups and stuff like that, it was too much crap. It was too much crap, right? It was it was too much. Not enough people there. I have a much better active stream when you guys are chatting and we're all interacting off of each other than a dead chat just helping farm sim get views because the game is like, I don't know, it's in a weird state, right? <laughs> weird state, it's a weird state.
Uh, to answer your question, Wayne, I think that's a fear of most people that stream, dude. Is not having enough to say. And what I can say to that is, my best advice to that is, always, if you don't have anything to say or anybody to talk to, the best thing you can do is just commentate your game. You know? Like, I, I have to do that too when the chat's dead and stuff like that, right? And you... Just explain why you're doing things. You know what I mean? And then when someone comes in to interact with, interact with them. Don't brush them off. Don't stop your gameplay, but you have to learn the art of talking to people and um, and going with the flow, right? It is not easy, and it's not for everybody. Remember the stream of the day YouTube broke? Yeah. Yeah, always narrate your games, right? All right, we got to turn this camera off. Like, obviously, I can't, I can't respond to every comment you guys are doing. So you have to look at the flow of your chat, right? Like your chat's flowing. If you guys are all talking about the same thing, I'll skip like a bunch of a bunch of messages, right? Because you're all talking about the same thing. Sometimes you guys are talking amongst each other, and you're not talking to me. Those days, I love those days because then I could just jump inside of your conversations that you guys are having in the chat, and be like, sweet, right? Like, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Good old truffle pig incident. The old truffle pig problem or tapioca. Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't know that they use pigs to hunt truffles. I thought they used dogs and stuff, dude. Didn't know, and then everyone's like split, dude. They yeah. Those are those moments, man, you know? <laughs> I was trying to like mansplain something to Dopey, and you guys were like Split, shut up. Yeah, pig, they do use pigs. And I was like, nah. Don't believe me. Google it. <laughs> well, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, yeah, I'm wrong. It's all right. Yeah, uh, you know, it's okay. It's like a noob. Just <laughs> no, they use pigs. Yeah, I didn't know that, dude. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I did not know that. I was like, I had no clue, man. Okay, man. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> or tapioca i thought tapioca was a flavoring not the stupid little beads they have in them man it's like the tapioca flavoring you guys were like what what are you talking about split tapioca is the little pearls i was like what no it's not i thought it was a flavor nope wrong <laughs> oh man but you don't know, right? What's the difference between the explosives? The radius. The blast radius, pretty much, in a sense. Right, so I'll give you a little blasting tutorial here real quick. So, I won't do any, we don't need to do any explosives. So, Draymite is the one that deletes, right? Draymite will delete whatever you do in a, in a, in that radius, right? So, when you blast, if you put it on the wall face right here, you're only going to get that circle, but from that part of the radius. So it's the circumference, right? Because you can't place it directly all the way into a source and then delete it from the center, right? So you're going to be placing it and you're only going to get half of the blast radius. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a ring up here like this. One, two, kind of space them out a little bit. And once you get used to the explosives, you'll be able to see like thing started because we want to last blast right now anyways and the nuke also deletes as well too so the nuke is a deletion tool on a massive scale and the draymite is a mine, little kind of like a little mini nuke right it doesn't create voxels it just deletes now all the other explosives in the game let me uh let me buy one here all the other explosives in the game we'll just do an ampho ampho it goes boom okay i guess he took the tool tip out but they all have different radiuses, like 4 meter, 4.6, or something like that. You know what I mean? These ones all have it. The Draymite, Deleter, Plowshare, Deleter. Big Deleter. Right? <laughs> so we'll buy we'll buy an Ampho here. And we'll go inside the... Uh, oh, actually, I actually had a TNT already, so... Bring out the little Ampho. 
fee. Okay, so we're gonna put the info. We're gonna go inside the tunnel here. We're gonna do a little 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 pop here. Okay. So a lot of people think that you want to use the explosive like right here, like this. It's not gonna generate anything. Think of it this way: it's only gonna generate if it can fall. Right? So you don't want to really put it on the walls. You want to put it on the roof of something to bring it down. Right? So you mainly want to put them on the overhangs like this. I'll put them right here. Right. So then when you use your then when you use it, you'll go and it'll bring all those voxels down like that. Now, keep this in mind. The explosives are not like one to one to decay. What you see right now happening, that is called the decay. That's the remerge, right? It made a hole, those exploded down, and now they've decayed and remerged into the ground, right? So that decay is, is a dirt loss. That to what it did here is not the same. You will lose material, okay? So it's, and also too, the machine will get way more voxels out of it than the explosion will. So the explosives is a worse, it's always better to use the machine if you're say you're belt mining than blasting, right? So this is just one way to kind of get things to come down and uh, you can collect them, but you can also do belts. You can run belts all in here. I said, I have videos for the crap. Is he still streaming tomorrow? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna say no. I need, I, I do need a day to just kind of, kind of just kind of for me. So and I'm still working, but I'll be at my desk. I'll be in discord hanging out with you guys. So feel free to come on in. But uh, so that's pretty much how they work. Now, if you put them on the flat surface, if they're still the same, let me take a look. He might have changed this. So I definitely need to say check it before. But the T, they should not generate anything. Kind of go back here and test this. Should not generate anything like that. Now, however, it just makes a hole. See that? Yeah. So it doesn't generate anything. It just blasts a hole because I was laying it on not a ceiling and there's nothing can fall. And it just kind of pushed it away and made a hole. Okay, so, but however, if that was bedrock, it would convert it. Uh, RDX deletes too? RDX shouldn't be deleting things. RDX was never a deletion. And anything placed on a wall, a vertical, or a floor will delete, in a sense. But if you place it on the ceiling, it'll create. That was changed... This blasting was changed in uh, the, hold on, geology patch. So you're saying RDX deletes as well? That was never the case. Yeah, all, all of them work. It's just how you place them, what you place them on. Like I said, the rule of thumb is this. If it's, if it's a floor, it's going to convert or make a hole. If it's a wall, it's going to do the same thing. If not, if it's a ceiling and you place it correctly, it will create everything except for a Draymite and a plowshare. All right. So I'll just, we'll just buy one RDX here. I believe, I don't think the RDX does and it, it should still delete, not delete. Sorry. It still should create explosives. You probably, sometimes you'll place an explosive and it won't do anything. That's because it might be at an angle where it thinks it's on like a vertical wall or, a, you know what I mean? So, but if you're placing it directly on a ceiling, yeah, it's going to. Yeah, RDX, it should. Put it right up here. Should be a ceiling blast. Yeah, see? It's just a bigger hole. Yep. No problem. Now we got a big remerge. So if you if you do a blast and you have all that remerging, do they remerge? Yeah. See, if it creates a vox one that falls down, it's a uh, rem it's going to remerge. Yeah, it just takes its sweet ass time. And then it done. You can actually, all this is timeable. Like when we do our testing, so like we, yeah. 
So you probably placed an RDX. You probably placed an RDX on like a wall like this, like a, like a vertical. And it didn't have a lip to, to detonate anything on. RDX is explosive, right? Well, what do you, what are you laughing at defiant? Thanks for the info. Yeah, no problem. I do have a blasting. I have a blasting uh, video that plain explains like the blast radius, how many you should be doing to maximize your blasting to the lag performance. Cause there is a ratio there. That's important. Um, it also depends on your computer. So there is a, there is a big, I did do a, a pretty decent video on that. It'll show you like how much will make you lag and where it kind of slows you down. Hey, seven Smith, dude. Thank you much as well. You got two subs there. Sorry about that. Welcome. Welcome. If you're here, much love. Guys tried to prove me wrong a few weeks back. Hey, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Maybe you just didn't explain it good enough, bro. You ever think about that? Oh, we were exporting those all right now we need to clean this wall face up yep the uh, it, it you can yeah it's definitely a um it's definitely a great method for for that it's it's the it, it brings in a lot of material and stuff like that but and i got bored of using it real quick Yeah, it's not it's not really cost eff effective, really. If you're looking at it's it's not a, but like how I've showed in the other tutorial videos on how to make like perfect casings with explosives and using the grids and stuff like that, and I like make everything perfect with the explosives. Like, if you're trying to make something very aesthetically pleasing, it's really nice to use the explosives to kind of mold your stuff if you're not using the CTMs. I started watching you play this game. I thought it would, I thought it looked hard. It looks actually pretty. No, it's very it's very easy. It's it's not. Oh shit! I'm at the holy moment here. Come on. Okay. Whew. Okay. Stop the camera. I gotta do a little bit of uh, work in the files here. Quick Two seconds. I oh, still need to blast some more off the top of this. This side's okay. I'm gonna go into the top and kind of do a little, uh, little, little, little excavation here. And all the way around over here. Hey, thank you for that, man. Now we're just going to work on this wall face here real quick and make it look, make it look kind of nice, right? Well, hopefully I just laid your guys' argument to rest. We 
you got to make sure the mine inspector is not going to shut us down, man. We got to we gotta make sure there's no overhangs and stuff, dude. Mine inspector is going to come in here and shut us down if we do. Don't tell the mine inspector, dude. I did a desk pop that close. Okay. Don't let him know. No, no, I'm just saying, yeah. No, I got you. How dare you guys? No, shit. No, some people get pretty heated, dude. It's kind of funny. Like, dude, I promise. All right. Mine inspector's coming. That mine inspector showed up here. <laughs> I kept going to everybody's stream and being like, mine inspector, turn your equipment off and put your hands up. I want to see the mine. Damn it. Ooh, dangerous up there. Finish the rest of that up there. Because that side I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really work in on that side too much more anymore, so we'll just kinda like smooth it out and make it look good. Oh, ISP's being stupid. You should make it where you, when you make custom controls, it saves. You save it? They do. How about? What are you talking about? All my custom controls save. No, I'm talking to you. I need to make stairs, dude. Yeah, full team. Worst, damn it. You're so ready for me to get a dozer? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look at these stacks of gold in here. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Oh, sorry. Oops up. Done. Got in here. Do an ore check. We'll stuff these up. Got 5,000. Damn, we've been crushing some dirt. All right. Okay. Oh. Hit it. producing Ooh, we're rolling now boys all right well that's I think our dozer money is just sitting, literally sitting right there. That was once we're done with that, processing all that. It should be. Do you have any bars in here? Yeah, some bars in here. Getting closer. Let's get that moving. I think we came out of that pit today. 
I'll tell you that much. Good thing we came out of that pit today. That was a lifesaver today. Okay, I need to see if I have enough steel to make some steel stairs. Cause I need I need to I need to be able to have oof. Get all that bracing. Um I need Oh, I can't make steel plates yet. Ooh, that means I gotta buy the uh not to buy anything, was it? I only need like ten. Steel. I do. Money is it for the uh what's it how much is it? Oh two and three. It's three steel plate per ah in hell, dude. Producing gold now. I was using the controller cheating. Don't listen to Yark. First rule of this channel. Don't listen to Yark. Okay. Let's take a look at the channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, Yark's, Yark's just a troll, dude. See what you just did, Yark, dude. See what you did. Yark, Yark sitting there going, hey, 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 suckers. Just fell for it. Are you gonna behave today, drone? You gonna behave? You gonna behave? Yes, I wanna make some stairs so that way when I'm when I'm working I can just like pop some stairs over quick. Boom boom boom. Use the shovel, take them down, move them over, fix, fix, fix. Instead of running my ass around constantly. That's that's booty hole. Hey, what's up, Jim Van? Is anything known yet about the cloud saving for this game? I don't know. I don't think they've said anything about it. You lose all your save files? See, now for over here, I would want to use... Oh, bummer, bro. Over here, I'd want to use some explosives to bring this stuff down. Right? I could use it or I could just get up on top of the pickaxe and delete the roof out and take it. Right, but I don't I don't need iron right now, really. Really don't need iron. Yark, you get deducted 10 points. <laughs> trying to trying to craft this stuff up. We need we need stairs. Stairs are your best friend. Like they're they're your best friend. Don't even don't even play like you think you don't need them. Stairs are a lifesaver. Yeah, once I get that dozer, man, we'll be doing a we'll, you're, you're gonna see some dozer work, okay? 
Yeah, dozing. <laughs> You're going to get some dozing, okay? Let's just say on this project alone. So the goal of the day would literally be pretty much burn through as much pay dirt as I possibly can per day to make these gold bars and get them ripping and get these things filled up, right? So 2,500, 25, was it 25, 25? This is a 10K brick of pay dirt. Your Power World server is so laggy for you. Is it laggy for everybody else? Opie? You guys having problems with the server? Opie said it's fine on her end. No more laggy than usual. Yeah, they're they're all just trying to max level and get like end game and stuff like that. He said a swear world. A swear swear world. I honestly haven't been able to play in like days. I haven't been able to play. Yeah, there's no, I have not. Yeah, no, out of war, out of war on the brain. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these. Now well, we're gonna take the pickaxe and we're gonna put the pickaxe, uh, probably dirt, let's get the dirt out of here. Detonator out of here for now. Move these over here. Lock. So since I'll be using this a lot, what we're going to do is we're going to go this, that there. We're going to move the hammer for tearing them down. I'm going to use the pickaxe and the shovel. All right, so. Rotate. Rotato. Rebuild. If I want to work on that wall, I can just go. Ah. See, much easier. Stairs, great. Best friend in this game. Stairs. They're easy to snap. Helps you to get those tough areas that are a little hard for you to reach, especially on your building too, right? Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear this down here. We'll keep those in our one slot and our hammer so that way we have something to do. Every trucker man, thank you much for that sub, man. Not sub membership. I need a day off tomorrow and see look at the wall face much better now much much better so as we're gonna keep coming along this way here we're gonna start rip we're gonna keep ripping that way right and then we're gonna do the same thing with this wall over here we're gonna keep ripping that way your fps is like 12 hmm take a look at the drone shot here in the world act Interesting. Get the viewport for the. See if I can move the drone <clears throat> and park it over here. Uh, he's talk. He's talking about uh, the Power World server. He's having a. He's having some lagging issues in the Power World server. Okay, 
Let's take a, take a look at the drone port here. We're not digging on that wall anymore, so I can give you a nice angle right here. I think that'll work. That'll look good. Drop a save. Always good to save. Talking about a different game. You guys are nuts. Go a little bit more right with the drone. There we go. <laughs> he wants those good angles on those drones, man. Let's go get some, let's go get a top up of fuel. Get a top up. Little guy's gonna do a lot of work for us. Gonna do a lot. Loader man. Like you don't you don't need a rock truck right off the bat. You know if your if your pay site's right there, you know what I mean? Like your little bucket. Okay, so now we need to pull out the Draymond again. So we're down to we're down to forty two. Okay, we're down we're down to forty two of them. All right, so still nice to well we don't want to go right. Yeah, I'm not sure who did, but that is very kind of them, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's my detonator? And we got to turn on the camera. Oh, we need to let her fly. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go whoop, run that edge. Beautiful. Let's get rid of some of this overburden. Blow it up. Down here, we're going to put it on this ledge, right? In between here and here. We don't want to take away the, uh, we don't want to take away the pay dirt. We want to take away the useless material. Sometimes you take a little bit, it happens. All right, see this line here? All right, but we're mainly trying to get that top stuff. Okay, let's do F4 again. Well, the detonator. Go 
a weird blast pattern. Off again. I'm gonna put one on this little peak here. One on here. Here, 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 here. Okay. Thing. Go ham. This. And it gives us a huge giant blasted section to now mine. I want to have the. I guess we'll have a rock in our thing here. Why don't they do modders like farm sim? Uh, because modding would, um, modding would be very difficult for modders right now because the game is constantly being changed all the time. So the modders would literally, the mods would be broken like literally every week. And for the gamers and the modders, it's just not the right time. When the game gets more developed and it's more closer to its final state and all you see Christian and the team doing is adding little new features and the game's already pretty much 90% the way we all want it, that's when you let modders come in and mod. Not right now. That's too much. And, um... Christian and those guys are modders. They do mod farms in. Right? So they do all the, they do some really good logging mods and things like that, right? They've been around for a really long time. So you can pretty much trust that most of the stuff that they have is going to probably be in this game. And the stuff they put in farms in. More than likely. That's my guess, right? And a lot of those guys work with heavy equipment like Christian stuff like that with with like logging and things like that too so it's I can see that I can I can really see farm sim logging be I can really see farm sim logging be how the farm logging is going to eventually be in this game you know what I mean they're they're very well versed in in making mods for that stuff so I, I would just assume right like kind of makes sense right like they've already made mods and stuff for farm sim and done stuff like that now all they have to do is just have their own thing to do it on here Yeah. It's fun to be a part of like the growth of the game and and um stuff like that for me on my side of it. It's definitely fun. Like I said, it's one of the, it's one of the, it's this is what keeps me motivated as a content creator is when it comes to actually making and playing a game is the atmosphere that we have going right now in the community and in the streams and everybody's streams, right? It's the it's the cool people in the, in the community, right? And then on top of it, we all get to play and have fun and chat about a game that's being worked on and and uh, stuff like that. And I think that's for me, that's that's one of the funnest things that this game has to offer for someone like myself. Quick question. Will they be adding small equipment to the game? Um, I believe so. I think it's on the to-do list. I mean, it's mainly just building the models. I don't know if there's any new vehicles coming. He hasn't, I don't, he hasn't really said anything like that, but he said all the vehicles are getting reworked. So all the vehicles are going through like a, a massive improvement right now, pretty much every vehicle I think is getting reworked. So that means they're, that means they're pretty much taking the models. I, th I think what they're doing is they're taking all the models and they're completely rebuilding them. Right. But they're using them as like, I probably, they're probably using these ones like as a template. But then if you look at some of the pictures that he's teased, like all the intricate little details and stuff like that, that, you know what I mean? On the, on the models, right? All the intricate little details, they're going to have that type of stuff. And I think he's fixing all the hit boxes and stuff like that too. Yeah. You finally teased me enough, dude, to finally come back in and make a mine. Dude, start out with the shovel, bro. Make yourself a little mine and we're simulating gold. So just put some, put some stipulations to yourself and get some hours, dude. That's all I can say. If, if, you know, every patch is not going to be for everybody. You know, to bring everybody back to playing every every time, right? But, uh, you know, pick and choose your battles, right? This is a fun one for, like, the early game crafting with the production system. It's not perfect, but it's fun enough to get in and kind of, like, do some stuff for, like, maybe 30, 40 hours, right? And then, you know, maybe put some suggestions in, put some bug tests in, and if that's all you can do and that's all you want to do until you're waiting later on,
don't be a splits professional troll damn randy we haven't seen you in the chat for ages bro they let you they let you type in the retirement home yeah dude he bursted through that retirement home when door like the kool-aid man randy get back to work potato dude working hard brother we let this old fart in here this old fart's been here for ages he just got lost in the farm sim crowd <laughs> This is where you met Randy. Yep. Good old Randy. It was always Randy's fault until Randy abandoned us. Then it was still Randy's fault until Madre left that sex message in the chat that one day. And it was all Madre's fault for about a year. Your two years. Still still one of the most awkward moments in stream ever. Madre's Madre's accidental accidental. I, I didn't mean to send that to chat. It was supposed to go to my wife. Like sure, bro. I I thought you had we had feelings, bro. Where's Varus? Probably in a bathroom somewhere. He's, oh yeah, he's at work today, dude. He said Mardi Gras and stuff like that down like that. So he said he probably wasn't gonna get a break today, man. He's just working all day. He needs to let one rip no dude it's stinking up in here Yep, Darius and a couple of the guys over there playing over on Twitch. Good to see somebody playing it on Twitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was pretty much only YouTubers and maybe like two dudes playing it for the longest time. Good thing you guys finally freaking decided to get the game. Holy crap, dude. About time, dude. Slacking. You guys got off that farm crack. Good to see. Get into a game that's going places. Oh, you, Brandy, you're playing this game now? Let's uninstall it now, noob. Do yourself a favor. Your arthritis can't handle these. Uh, I don't I don't do any links in the channel. I block it. I block that out because people post different things. A, a good way to find uh, content creators is in the out of war discord content creator section. I have, I have all things turned off links, odd stuff like that. Like you, I think you most, I think most of the creators post their videos and stuff like that in the discord on out of war, I believe. Assuming. That they do. Yeah.
Yeah, that's what we were discussing yesterday. It was is like the the future of like farm sim. Dude, if they if they ain't innovating anything new or gameplay wise, done with that shit. I'm done with that. You know what I mean? Is the greater worth it? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's worth it right now. Nope. Yeah, roll, roller and dozer is your best friend. Roller and dozer if you're trying to get things relatively, relatively flat. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a, in a weird spot. Like even Christian said he hates it. <laughs> Christian's like, I hate this thing. This thing, this thing is, I want to burn this thing to the ground. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense really, to be honest, how he tried to have it set up when you could just buy the roller. Like the roller makes the, the greater like just a pile of dookie. Yeah. It is a no point having it right now. Yep, keep working on those mines, dudes. I'll be working on my video showcase for uh community showcase here again. We'll be doing another one of those. So if you're a content creator, get them out there, start working, and uh if I come a knocking, send me your save file when that time comes. And we're gonna do uh we're gonna do some video showcases again. Uh Christian and I. in one of the upcoming Q&A's. So, yeah, dudes. Look forward to showcasing your guys' minds. Like last time we did Eyes and Bears and Tim's. Really cool mines. You have to bring in some PC mechanics like that. Plus stuff. Maybe 4X maps. Console? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, about farm sim. No, I'm from for me and farm sim. I'm just tired. I'm tired that like, okay They do the plowing seeding, you know farm work like that. That's fine. I'm not talking about that Right what I'm talking about is is all the other stuff like the productions are just not in depth enough for me Like all that stuff. is just not there for me. It's just not and I can only plow a field in like and Re, pretty much repaint the textures so many times before I just want to throw the game in the fire and the dumpster, you know? Where a game like this, it's like, well, aren't you kind of doing the same monotonous thing here? Yeah, but the ground is dynamic and everything changes constantly as you're digging every scoop, right? So it's, it feels different to me. You know, I have, I have, I, I can only do the same routine when it comes to like the groundwork because nothing really changes because the plots are the plots. So the, for me as a player, as a player, that's how I, I'm kind of like, I just kind of get bored with it. 
I always just end up doing grass on every field of farm sim. Yeah, same here. That's what we end up doing as well, too. Like we're running soybean or we're running freaking grass. And it's like eventually, because everything else is like butthole and eventually you're just trying to make like $20 million a day and it's like, ugh. It's the same thing over and over again and nothing really changes. There's no, nothing dynamic at all. It's all the same thing. Every time, over and over and over. And then when productions came, it was kind of like, oh, cool. It was a reason to play, but then that got old fast too. And it was like, it just wasn't enough, right? Then same thing with the seasons too. The seasons was kind of like, I thought the seasons mod was way better than seasons that they put in. Nineteen. I don't honestly. I'm gonna be honest. Nineteen to twenty-two. Honestly, no difference for me as a player. I, I didn't really the only thing I think the only thing my, my statement was I think the only reason why they did it was the crossplay the better back end crossplay stuff but they could have just patched that in but they money grabbed it I don't think 22 even needed to exist it's just a money grab putting out a new version when they don't need to put out a new version they can just patch their game all it is You thought Terraform would be better? Well, Terraform was just a mod, right? I'd, isn't even not even supported anymore? The guy like just disappear or something? What I heard. But Terraform, the problem with that is, is like people people try to say that that, that farm sim mining is better than Out of War or Gold Rush. The hell are you smoking? All you're doing is bending the texture, and it doesn't. Even, you can't even get defined walls or anything like that, dude. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, you are on crack if you think yeah. that. Farm sim mining with Terraform is so generic, but still it's better than Gold Hunters, so screw those guys. That's why when I rate the games now, it's Out of Wars moved up into first place with the digging and how the digging feels with the equipment. And I would say then Gold Rush and them were close, close and close right there with the digging, but then it goes. Then it def, then it goes. Farm sim. I would say farm sim is is in that third place for mine simulation. So in kind of like in that order, right? They are literally just farming your money. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, out of force a thousand times better mining than farm sim mining. Like. Thousand percent better. It is ridiculous. What I have to say about that is, is farm sim was a good alternative to like having a map and stuff like that to play on and kind of move some material around and kind of simulate it but it's not in depth enough in the ground texture and digging and digging actual straight lines or digging anything legit you have to you have to rp way too much you know what i mean when you're when you're playing terra farm Gold Hunters is below. I don't even, like I said, man, it's it's a meme. It's a meme on the channel now, guys. I know some people get really butt hurt when I when I bag on Gold Hunter, but I'm only stating facts. You know what I mean? Like that's all it is. I can only sit and watch somebody try to add some hokey asset like a horse horse riding when he refuses to work on the heavy equipment which is what the game actually is I didn't know I was doing like Barbie Dreamhouse Adventure horseback riding now all of a sudden when everything else doesn't work it makes no sense that'd be like if Christian all of a sudden stopped doing anything that had to do with mining and just started doing like 
oh hey guys we're gonna do horseback riding and like breeding of horses and stuff and like everything that's broken in this game right now we're just not gonna touch and we're gonna oh by the way next week i'm gonna be live streaming building a putting a dog into the game four years later nothing's changed game's still a pile of shit of course everyone's gonna go bro wtf right get out of here with that shit We're gonna do some horseback riding, guys? <laughs> what? Oh, Unreal Unreal Five is gonna make the game so much better. What do you mean? No, it's not. It's not gonna fix your shitty coding. I believe it when Christian says he's gonna do it, hundred percent. But not, not, not Gold Hunter. So like Ark for the last eight years. <laughs> Hey, I guess he's just modeling it because that's what he used to do. He was an arc modder. But I guess he knows no better. I guess it just taught him the way, right? This is the way. <laughs> I really don't know what to say, dude. I mean, I, I guess the only thing Unreal 5 is going to do for gold hunters is make it look better so he can scam more people. Right? Like, it's still not going to play any better. You ever really did mining? Only gold they hunted. That's why we call it PayPal Hunter, dude. It's it's PayPal Hunter. <laughs> Hunting for PayPal's, dude. That's all that happened. new arc version is called power world dude, isn't it crazy how isn't that crazy how much power world's just taking over over right now like it just it just came in like hard dude they came in and just threw down but it will be it's it's it'll be the flavor of whatever right it might just be do dopey's new game I don't think I don't think she'll be bored of it for a while. I think Dopey's I, if I was to guess, I would say Dopey's probably got it easy to the five, six hundred, maybe thousand hours. She'll just sit there. She seems she seems to be super loving it. She's dreaming of Power World in her sleep, dude. She's throwing punches like like she's trying to throw po pokeballs, dude. Yeah, everybody, that's what everybody was saying, too. I think uh, we'll probably try it out here uh, at some point. Crowded. Our world's a grind. Yeah, dude. I'm, I, I woke up and I saw it and I was like, you know, I just think she'll like it. Right. I, I just looked at it. and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this for you. And, <laughs> you know. I was like, she did. She needed a new game. She needed something else, right? And when MP comes out for this, if she's still playing Power World, she'll probably be playing Power World and Out of War at the same time. Waiting for us to fill the trucks up, dude. Shroud's, it's out and Shroud's pretty good. I just I just don't have any time. This is what I'm in. This is what I'm in right now. I got all guns blazing on this, so. It's Out of War, Out of War, Out of War, Out of War, Out of War. favorite video game is well, being a youtuber all right so i guess me playing uh digging game is just the bonus and you guys are badasses right so that's my favorite that's my favorite game playing youtube youtube game i'm playing i have barbecue chicken oh i don't know what i'm cooking later i have no clue i've yet to decide
Yeah, it's a weird niche for a game. It's fun. But rinse and repeat over and again. Yeah, it, exactly. It's a it's a rinse and repeat type of game. I'm just glad Dopey's having fun with it, man. Nothing makes me happier than buying Dopey a game and she's just like super, super hooked to it. You know, that's what I was telling everyone. Everyone's like, how did you get your wife to be a gamer? By not pushing her to play games she doesn't want to play. Right? Trying to find what genre she likes the best. And not giving a shit if she plays the same game as I do. That's the best way you can do it with anybody, right? What time is it for me? It is 6.11. Everybody over the years of on the channel has tried to get Dopey, like, to, like, make her play the games I play. And it's like, dude, stop. Like, she's she doesn't want to play that game. You know? Like, like Shane buys her a shitload of games just because he doesn't know if she wants to play them or not. That's different than some people, like, try to make her play every game I play. And it's like, dude, she's she's her own person. If she doesn't want to play that, she doesn't want to play it. Like, don't waste your money. Ask her first. Like, DM her and be like, hey, I'm thinking about buying you a game. Is this something you'd play? And if she says no, don't be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she likes... So, Dopey's taste in games, from what I've kind of noticed, is she really likes the... Um, turn your brain off and play. Right? And... She likes games like House Builder, House Flipper, Power Washing Sim, and uh, things like that, right? And she really does like to play, like, survival games. So, obviously, she, how she's always been into every game we play that's a survival. So, she likes being, like, a resource asset, a, a farmer, and stuff like that. So, just anything you can just turn your brain off and grind. Dopey's a grinder. Like, that's what it is. Dopey grinds hard. She'll just put her, you'll, you guys, every game we've played, you see, she grinds hard, right? Like, she's not into combat. She's not really into the combat or, or like, the deep, like, oh, we got to do this rotation constantly and, you know, managing resources and stuff like that. It's not her thing. Everybody, everybody does different things in video games, right? There's always, there's always a role for somebody somewhere. You know what I mean? In multiplayer and things like that. You played House Builder because you were watching her play? No, I knew. Dude, Dopey had some good streams, man. Proud of her, dude. She had, she, you guys had some, uh, she had some good viewership. Actually, people, getting people into playing the game. The developers even said, too. They're like, she did a really good job playing that for not, you know. They thought it was going to be me playing it. They're like, you kind of bamboozled us. And I was like, what do you mean? Wouldn't you want to have the person that actually wants to play your game, play your game? What does it matter if it's me? I never signed it saying that I was the one that had to play it. <laughs> they were like, well, actually, yeah, she did a really good job, dude. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Shut the fuck up. Like, somebody played your game, bro. That was a stipulation. It was on my channel. Somebody played it. Deal with it. <laughs> like, and she got good views, so. So anytime those type of games come along for the channel, that's who does it. Dopey's the one that does those games, those sponsorships for us. I turn down a lot of games. I don't just play everything, man. If it doesn't fit us and what we do and what we like, I just turn it down. There's no point in playing. A, um, there's no point in playing a game and taking time, making a video, and like a handful of people want to watch, and the rest are just pity views. There's no point. What a waste of time. I don't want to sit there all day and record a game I don't really want to play. <laughs> what is that? You know what I mean? No way. Huh. That I feel like that's such old YouTube. You know what I mean? Content creators that just sign up to these programs like Keymailer and stuff like that. And they and they just do that grind. The grind, right? They play for like six hours and they try to get as many videos as they possibly can out of it. That grind sucks. The grind sucks, dude. That grind is ass. That's a, that's a butthole grind. Don't fall into that trap, dude. That's a butthole grind. That's another piece of advice I would give anybody who's trying to make be a content creator is find a game that you love and you can be passionate about it. And when you talk to people with it, you, they feel it when you talk about it. Don't play a game because you think you're going to get views, right? Play a game that you know you put you can put your whole heart into.
Yeah, the raft. She, yeah, she did really good in the raft, too. She likes the raft. It's pretty much, yeah, any survival game. Sons of the Forest. Any of that type of stuff, right? Like, she does really good with those. It's not easy getting on and all of a sudden, you know, oh, you're, you're streaming on a main channel like this, right? Uh, you know, that gives people anxiety, bro. Not everybody can just sit in front of, like, 100, 200 people and just answer questions all day and, like, and try to have a conversation with 150 some odd people every day right that's not an easy thing and i think she does a really good job and and like i said thank you guys for supporting her not we're not saying you guys have to watch her you know what i mean we're not saying you guys have to watch her we're forcing her to and stuff like that right it's not a we're not trying to shove it down your throat you know what i mean it's just it's, 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 it gives her something to do right i told her she doesn't have to go to work and if she wants to you know at, you know do this avenue she can she can and she's already said she doesn't want to make her own channel. She doesn't want to make her own channel. Everyone keeps trying to get her to make her own channel. She said she does not want to. Um, you know, she's like, I don't want to make you have to do all the work because I don't want to do all that stuff. And she said, I don't want, if I do that, then I'll be taking away time that you're going to be doing things for like Out of War and Gold Rush and stuff. And she doesn't want to do that. Ooh, which one will be more laggy? Ooh. On a low-end system? It's, that's a tough one. That's pretty close. Good. I can't really answer that to you. Because... Yeah, I think they're both about equal performance-wise. Somebody with a low-end PC might be able to help you out a little bit better than that. Because mine just mine's pegged the whole time. It doesn't really have an issue so somebody with low end some might be able to tell you that right now first time live i've watched the whole time like and a good game right, thank you much man and welcome to the chat dude welcome to the chat chris you think randy says he thinks gold rush would be less laggy on a, on a low-end pc yeah, this game's pretty this game's pretty massive in in what it does so it can be a little bit of a performance hog uh, but that's that's getting better and better and better and better and better i mean i guess you could do one thing you could buy gold rush and test it and then don't play it for more than two hours though get in and just like put a bunch of stuff in the world and run around for like an hour and if it lags to haul hell refund it and you could do the same thing with this game i guess too i mean and that's one way to test it out if you only have a little bit of money to buy and i know it's kind of cringe but it's better than playing nothing if you want to play this type of genre. Right? You just can't play something. You just can't play something. You got to refund it, right? Gold Rush is more optimized for low-end systems now after they did the optimization patch. But however, the game still has a memory leak. And no matter what your system is, after 30 to 40 minutes, your frame rates drop regardless. So you have to save and load every 45 minutes. So... Yeah, chat can help you out that question better than I can, so. I mean, I guess Dopey's computer handles... Dopey's computer is a 8700K i7. And it handles... And it's got... She's got a 1080 Ti. Honestly, they handle about the same on her computer. From all the testing I've done on both her computer handles them roughly the same i use dopey's computer as a second testing rig so to get uh data for these games like what's working and not No, Gold, Gold Rush had horrible optimization. That game was like someone took a whole bunch of coding from another game and just shit ripped it out of a wall. Then they were like, hold on, let's pick out some good pieces. And then the game's there. And it's just kind of like... like 
It wasn't it, it wasn't even till like what three months ago that they just fixed all the RTX issues and stuff like that. <laughs> is exporting right now so export complete oh yeah 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 it 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 had an issue it had some issues it's it's not uh it still does but um yeah I mean they're both pretty cheap and gold rush goes on sale like all the time so I would say take a poke out of war and then wait for gold rush to go on sale. If you're if you're having cash issues with that, you know. So that'd be that'd be my advice. JJ slash, JJ says uh that gold gold rush has a harder and easier time than out of war right now for the low end PC. Yeah, I I've heard that too. Some people are like, I can play gold rush, but I can't play out of war. I've actually seen that quite a bit in my comments. I don't understand why I I, I, I can run around, but as soon as I jump in a piece of equipment, I lag. Oh so yeah, maybe maybe it might be yeah. Yeah. I get what you I get your feeling here. Got your new setup on Monday. Hmm. Yeah. Are there any other good gold? Uh, no, not really. Your best, your best bet for mining simulation right now is out of war, gold rush, and farm sim, terra farm modding. Is, is that's your that's your best bet if you're trying to simulate any type of mining in a video game that's that's your best uh but sadly it, it really would be nice if construction simulator would do something because they could put their hat into the ring very easily you know what i mean the hand there they could they could they could throw it in there very quickly it'd be nice if they did some type of like free dig mode with like maybe like a a wash plant or something you know what i mean they could really easily jump into the arena Yeah, the mi the mining games are a really niche market. It is. One of my one of my YouTuber friends has got like three million, four million subscribers. He said he's like, dude, he was like, the games you're you get, the gold rush is so niche. The only thing it has going for it, as far as like that could get you views and subscribers, is the fact that it's a world famous TV show. That's that's what he told me. He was like, bro, you're gonna it's gonna be. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> he even told me too you could be the best at that game and you're still probably going to struggle to get like 20 to 30 thousand subscribers but he was right 100 percent. it's so niche it don't matter <laughs> like like that's what i was telling people like dudes gotta find games that have player base these games are too small it really it's you really gotta love what you do man because <laughs> I was I was kind of shocked to be honest. I was kind of shocked at how um how well Out of War actually did on the channel. Like it kind of took me back there for a second because I was like, wait a minute. So I popped off on Gold Rush as a nobody when I when when that came out, right? And then it kind of like nothing happened. The channel kind of just 
right? And then out of war hit this last year, and you guys just murdered it, dude. We doubled in size in one year. You know what I mean? So it's interesting. It's very interesting. That's another. It's a very interesting dynamic. Gold rush is a very niche thing within a niche. Is what it is. That's the thing, right? That's that's the issue with gold rush. Is gold rush is so niche to one thing specific. That's why it has an issue. But what they do, they do do very well. Like I say, the best part of it is the wash plants and stuff, right? Now Christian has a different is is going to have a different avenue because everybody, most people classify this game as well. What is out of war? It's kind of like gold rush. And then people were like, oh, it's kind of like Gold Rush, but it's also kind of like Satisfactory. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's like Satisfactory, but you get to dig your own dirt instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, kind of a, it's kind of an interesting one. Y'all, what's up, Damon? How you doing, buddy? Oh, multiplayer's coming, brothers. Multiplayer's coming, dudes. Yeah, Gold Rush is their 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 power is the attention to details and setting up the wash plants and managing the wash plants. That's where that game shines. That's where that game That's where that game puts in the puts in the work. Right? That gameplay loop is strong AF, dude. <laughs> like I say, Gold Rush is a legend. It does it just because the graphics are out of date and things like that. I, I really dislike when people do that. Well, the graphics suck. So the game must suck. No. If that's the case. Why are some of the most legendary games of all time older games? They're not newer games. Right? <laughs> just trying to watch your eight-hour vids, dude. I know. Yeah, we've been back to the grind, bro. Yeah, that's one thing I was talking to Christian about. I was like, you know, if you do, if you do end up going with some type of thing like Gold Rush did with the mats and stuff like that, please, for the love of God, don't make them have percentages on them. Hours of runtime, not like five rock trucks. We want, I want to clean out when I need money, like in real life. All right, I got 70 hours on the box. I need some money. It's time to do a clean out and see what I got. Or I spent all that money in this cut and I got bamboozled. Now I'm going to cry because I have no money and I got to go dig with my shovel again. Right? That's the feeling I want from Out of War. You know what I mean? That's what I want. That's the feeling I want. Like, well, I put this gamble and I've been running all this cut and all of a sudden I just get pwned. Right? I'm like, just absolutely. Imagine, could you imagine that? You dig this cut, right? And it's like, all of a sudden you're just like, oh, the gold was good over here. And then you do this cut and you put in like 30 hours and you go do a clean out and you just get bamboozled. Like, you're just like broke. You barely made fuel money. Right? <laughs> I can't, I know people would hate that, but dude, that's the part of that's real life, right? That's how it works. It's, mining's not always a guarantee. Yep, that's exactly what I sent to uh, Christian as a model there, uh, Darius. I sent him a uh, a breakdown of how Slucifer, how we could add Slucifer to the game and the gameplay loop and stuff like that. And maybe like a super stacker. Right? So I mean, that would be a pretty cool DLC. Like a super stacker with like something like uh, Slucifer and uh, so we could simulate running and have it just give Monster a way better goal re uh, recovery, right? We need specific mining equipment for specific things, especially in the wash plant department. 
Uh, it wouldn't be nice to have more realistic wash plants than these fantasy wash plants. Uh, I guess that's just my just my view on it. Yeah, exactly. I like that fact too, Grumpy, that you don't just have to do gold. But I think I think it would help Christian a lot, uh, sellability wise, to have very good gold aspect because people love gold, right? Like just making the gold stronger not saying only focus on that forever but i'm saying like really nailing down the uh the gold aspect of the game because pay dirt is one of the so okay pay dirt is the biggest chunk of what makes up the world it'd be nice to have equipment to run that said pay dirt you know what i mean that that really fits the world really good and and stuff like that right Yeah, it's exactly the model I said. I was like this with mats that we can pull out and clean and some type of pr production system and then be able to like put pumps and hoses and stuff like that to connect power and water and things like that is, you know, would be really nice. Yeah, that's another thing too, uh, Zach as well is I sent him a picture of the current shaker not the shaker but trommel the current sorter conveyor sorter and i was like to be more like real life it would be nice if we had like say three ports on the side of it that we could plug in three wash plants out the bottom and then if you gave us just sluice boxes pretty much in a sense you could just make it to where we only capture gold but at a higher rate that's kind of what i suggested to it to make it look more like a real wash plant how it is to real life Yeah, retaining ponds. The only problem, the only problem with with uh, fluid water, is the performance. Right, that technology has still not really been ma mainstreamable. Right, it takes up so much performance to have that fluid water like that. But um, there is something that he. There's a couple things he could do to to fake that looking like that. Right. There's a few things you could do, but it's, it's, that's a, uh, he had to build very specific areas and very specific maps. Like for me to dig a hole and then fill it with water. For you to do that in a video game right now is very demanding. All right. So that's the, and then like, if you cut a trench, the water would just flow into that. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. I can see maps where pay dirt just wouldn't pay as well. Yeah, but well, that's what we were talking about. Like a couple of like the very first stream of this, we we're talking about that. Like eventually, eventually, I think the game, if I was to kind of like think about it, like where it's going to go, eventually I could see the map being sectioned off like farm sim in certain areas are better for certain things. Because he did say that the game's going to be brutally hard compared to the way it is now. Because we were making that joke during the Q&A and he just laughed at us. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's going to be worse. And what you guys are saying right now he was like nah dude you guys gonna get wrecked <laughs> apparently eventually we're gonna not be able to see where the nodes are so we're gonna have to prospect and like literally you know what i mean go hunting for this stuff so that's gonna be interesting right like The drill is going to be real important then now, isn't it, boys? <laughs> right? That drill is going to get real important. That's why I think claim specific areas, like sectioning off the map, like I was talking about the other day, and kind of what I was showing you guys in the, uh, in those photos and stuff from last night, is when you first when you first get the game. That's why we're we we're saying like, how do you guys actually like this like pickaxe mining and things like that, right? 
and it seemed like a majority of you guys really like this early game gold farming like stuff like that i don't think it would be a bad idea or in the beginning of the game say if like when the story mode stuff like that starts to get fleshed out a little bit more that uh, it isn't in the beginning of the game that it's not it wouldn't hurt to be at a little bit more gold orientated in the beginning right so no nodes will be on the surface from what he kind of hinted at it seemed like some uh sometimes you'll see an outcropping but eventually you're just gonna have to you're gonna have to search for it it seemed like you know he's very vague sometimes because they don't really know exactly how they're gonna do it right so he's very vague about a lot of things that that are to come in the future and i'm only repeating what he said live on the q a's by the way so all this is public information it's all in the it's all in the q a's you do have to read between the lines because like i said he's very vague sometimes with about things and comments that he's made in discord or in the chat here right so Uh, well, it also gives him wiggle room too when he's vague about things because you know It's easy to go. Yeah, we would like to have this and he's like, well, I'm, I'm kind of working on something like that Okay, well, how do how do you mean right like but there's no point for him to really go into detail Because it can literally change every day Like he'll show me one thing and then like a week later, it'll be nothing like how he described it <laughs> Like completely opposite of like so and that and that's okay. That's a, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this, stop the recording, drop a save. Do an ore check. Or do a cam check. Good happy stuff. For me personally, right now, from playing through this and doing what I'm doing right here, I would have to say this might be one of the funnest times I've played the game. Honestly. This little playthrough here and what I've been kind of doing here, it's been actually kind of simulating some some gold mining here. I, for me personally, I'd say this is probably one of the more funner playthroughs I've had of the game. I'm playing it all these times, 1,000, 1,300 hours. I think this is probably my, one of my favorite uh, play sessions, actually. We're at uh, 21. We're not too far. Doing well. Found some gold. Do some questions here. Get back for a second. We just did it. That was a pretty good mining session. <clears throat> that was a pretty good mining session. Give my fingers a rest for a second. What kind of music do I like? You know, honestly, I listen to all kinds of genres. I don't really just listen to one type anymore. I used to pretty much just be into metal and like rock and stuff like that, but if it sounds good and it catches my ear, I'll listen to it. I really don't have any genre anymore. Yeah, I really don't, I really don't have a um, reference. And my files are a mess. I look through here and see which ones are which. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't saving it every time. That's the problem with doing these small batches. That's why I like to do big batches. Because the big batches, big batches, I could easily, could, but these thousands. Now I, now I have, okay, let's see here. Let me add them up here. I 
have 60 gigs of pictures. <laughs> 60 gigs, dudes. 60 gigs. The stream alone, 60 gigs in pictures. Hmm. How do you get rid of a floating rock or a boulder? Best way to do it is take your shovel, look at it, and give it a... And we got a bunch of pay dirt again. This pit is... Way faster than that other one. We are ramping the gold. Can't get it done fast enough. I can make, I can generate way more ore than I can produce with these four now at this point. With them all being filled, I'm still left 3,000 right here. All right, so that means I need to buy two more of these things. Because we're that close, we're that far away, we still got a lot of pay dirt material. So, what I think I'm going to do. And look how much progress we've already made so far today here. All right, with deli dallying around and stuff like that, that's nothing, especially with this small little loader. Now, we are blasting the the the, the pater overburden off, right? But I went I get a dozer to slow that process down a little bit because honestly, the fastest stripping method, if you're just doing like Draymite on the top, was exactly like I'm doing. You do that rim, place it halfway in between, like right there. So you go all the way around your rim. And you do your blast, do a double, maybe in a triple, and then you clean up all the stuff like you see me see doing around the, around the edge of the pit. And you just delete us. Yeah, so that is the one way that you're going to get fast stripping if you want to simulate like that. But if you want to go even one step further towards realism, since I don't have the dozer, it's kind of that's why we voted on it. You guys, you know, and so it's uh to get this stuff moving and get this stuff rolling, right? So... But once we get the dozer, we'll do a mix, right? Most of my dozing is going to be with, uh, most of it's going to, most of my stripping is going to be when I was dozing, but that still takes a long time. But that's why we, some of these days, like once I get the dozer, the next stream might just be me stripping the cut completely of my cut. So if I look at it from an aerial view, like, all right, now we got to, we got to mark the cut out and then we're going to, we're going to strip and get that done and then get it down to pay. And then we're going to run the pay. So with this one, with this one, we're going to be, we'll be marking it out, right? We'll probably go probably from here and we'll go all the way, probably section it out here, run all the way down this way. We got a long way to go all the way through here. We're going to draw a straight line here, but then right here. Right when we get to about here, we don't want to blast or doze to get rid of it. We want to push it this way. We want to start pushing that material. I want to get up on top of here, start pushing this material this way. Right? We want to make sure that we get as much material. I need material to be, I'm seeing this in my brain. I know you guys hate it. You guys are like, split. we don't see what's in your brain. Just kind of explain it. I need to push this stuff and I need to make a retaining wall. I need to make it like, I need to make it like a retaining wall, like right here. And then all of this material needs to be pushed into it and then needs to be flattened. All right, so we need to make this big giant area. And then and then what I gotta do is we gotta do the same thing up here. So all these hills gotta be pushed down into this little valley here to fill this all in. This is all gotta be pushed over, and that's all gotta be pushed down into here. Then we'll strip it, then we'll strip it down to that level over there, push the, all that material in. And we cut, we're cut, we got to kind of square it off, right? So we're, well, that's what we're looking at. We got to kind of square it off, so then I can build the dam, start to build the dam. Same thing on the other side too. So it's gonna be very important that I mark these things out, so it's not like 15 blocks elevation difference on the other side, right? Because when we come driving through here, and we see the we see the dam, we're gonna be able to drive over the dam, right? And then you're gonna be able to look down and be like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, bro, <laughs> right? So then on the other side, on the over there, we're gonna have inside that mountain, we're gonna to to strip the whole side of that mountain. 
move all the trees. And then I have to mark out on the other side too. I have to mark out and I have to, I have to get a CTM miner. And I have to start back there and I have to make a tunnel down, like down here. And then I have to dig all the way through here and have like an exit port over here. And I have to do the same thing on this side. That's how they build dams, right? They divert, they divert the water while they're building. So we have to kind of simulate that with there's, there's no water, right? There's no water. So we have to kind of, we're going to simulate that first. So if you're building the dam first, you got to build those things that go into the side of the mountain on the side so that you can divert the river. And then, then you can build your dam. And then once it's all built, then they turn it on. They start, you know, do all the things, shit, right? So that's how we're going to get your job applications out now. <laughs> yeah, right. So we're going to, that's our, that's the plan here. So we got to do some flattening, got to do some prep work. We got to do a lot of infrastructure work just to get the work done. So we're going to, we're going to build it in stages, how you'd see them prep the land and stuff like that when they go to put a dam in, right? Then we'll be doing some benching on the side of the hills to make sure we can build the tunnel shafts and we need water on the maps for flooding. Yeah. Um, hopefully in the future they can they get that done. I've submitted all the stuff to, to kind of help them out. Hopefully they can take some of what I said and maybe run with it. But right now we will have, we'll have some water blocks and stuff like that, but that's not coming until the deco pack. So um, even just the deco pack alone. So just the, even the decoration pack alone, if you kind of like put the blocks out from behind this dam where this dam's going to be, even to fill in this Canyon, we're looking at like 20,000 blocks to make it look like a lake. Right. And I even have, then I have to come in here, strip all these trees out because we don't want them poking through. Right. So I have to take all the trees out that I have to build all the thing that I have to fill this whole layer with a uh, water. I go play with your puppy, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Stuff puppy in the corner. Dopey said. So down in this area, we're probably going to be dropping some nukes to make the river. And then I'm going to core it out and smooth it out and make it look like you would if you so there will be some nukes used on this map, right? There will there will be some nukes used on this map, but most of the work is going to be done with the dozer and stuff like that. So I have to be I have to be very smart about where this dirt's coming from and how I'm moving it around because if I mess that up, that could cost me a hundred to two hundred hours, dude. If I don't think smart about where these where this is all going, right? So we want to avoid an unnecessary amount of dirt moving for no reason and where it's acceptable but that's where we're going to bring you guys but into vote and kind of like make up the stuff so just kind of do a little recap i know i did it i did it last night we were kind of i was kind of going over what i was going to do in the season but i was going to do it on the other map that i already had to work and i then talked about it so i talked about it last night and i talked about it a little bit in the beginning of the stream but that's what we're doing so now we have you know because people come into different sections in the stream and they're like what are you even talking about now i don't understand that's what i'm talking about that's the project that everyone's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Little look as radiation never hurt. We'll just pretend they're not. I just need some, I need some Moabs, you know? But yeah, so we're going to do, we're going to cut through here. I mean, it really depends. I really haven't scouted out down here. I don't know. I might not even need to use nukes. Might not even need to drop a nuke or two. Might be able to do it just with the dozer. Because this ravine will work perfect for the water down here. Yeah, this ravine will be will be perfect for the for it down here. Yeah, perfect. When I looked, when I saw the spot on the map, I was like, oh, that'll be beautiful for my dam project. Because on the other map, I searched forever some for somewhere near my base to like do this project and it was just like way up in the mountains on like a reservoir and like <laughs> I think this is the area to do it it looks good it's got a nice ravine down there I guess if you're looking at the geology of this place if there was a big body of water over there this would be a perfect place to build a dam like in real life right so I'm thinking also too, if you look at this ridge line, how it's all crazy and it kind of like swirls down and goes over there. I'm thinking I'm going to build like a bridge and a roadway that goes on top of this, this little curly thing down here. Yep. 
But that's the plan. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to have that dozer. I mean, we have we we have the gold. We have the pay dirt being processed. It's just uh and we have some being smelted. We have the dozer money. So that dozer's going to come in key. Gonna, it's gonna it's gonna rock that shit out real quick so i'll probably end up blasting excuse me probably end up blasting a little bit making myself a bench and then just start ripping now uh, first i'll probably flatten that out on the top over there with those two little trees on that side get rid of that overburden because it, it when we obviously we're simulating running pay right so generally you strip your cuts first which means you're pushing off all the overburden and getting rid of it. A lot of places will dig it and truck it somewhere else, which is something that I might do in certain certain places where I need a lot of material. But that is a that is a pain in the butt. Oh, you saw the pad from season three, right? Uh, the pads in this one are going to be way bigger. They're going to be way bigger. It's going to make season three look like stupid. So I got to make sure I do that right. And there is an issue with the game in that department because the belts, the if you're if you're too far away from your pay and it, it's trying to drop stuff on the ground, it actually won't accumulate like it should. And we did notice that problem. It's about 17 belt lakes away. Actually, no, it's less than that. Sorry, it was like it was like 12. It doesn't quite build up like it should. So yeah, that's an issue as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to really uh really put our noodle on that one. That's a lot of what ifs, but we're way far from that. The project right now is money. We need money. <laughs> we need money in a big way. The pad in season two is a good start. Yeah, the the season two, man, I put I moved a lot of material in season two. It didn't seem like it, but I moved a lot of material. Especially underground. I moved a lot of material too. So this mountain's gotta go. Right? This has got to go. This has got to get pooched. So I think in the order of things that I would like to do, because I need money and money's coming in from gold, right? I do have, I do have coal and stuff like that around. Get iron from here if we need it. And yeah, we really need to get that money for those equipment. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. I would like, to, I would like to get myself a, um, uh, the F8, the, the 8,000, the excavator. It would be nice to get one of those bad boys. Then again, I need I need a I need a all truck, right? Because I can make quick work of these mountains with a uh, with an eight thousand and a dozer, right? Just get up there with a dozer, clear a pad, and just start spiral benching down the top of the mountain um, with the with a haul truck. But for right now, I think the best way to do it would be to core it and blast it and drop blast until it's toast, and then get all the good pay out of it, and then detonate the top of it down and, and then just then end the pit and then scrape it out of there because when you don't have equipment you got to do something right and that's how the old timers did it right they would dig down they build a cavern and then they would dig up until it was to the junk pay pretty much right and they'd build that cavern and open it up and that's kind of how they did that excavation work back then because they what they do is they go down past permafrost right so they're digging down through the mucky shit that's on top of permafrost they dig through the permafrost and then they then they mine on they they keep digging down straight down straight down so that way they're down under permafrost by like 20 30 feet and they hit that bedrock and then they start caverning out underneath that um underneath that stuff right that permafrost was a pain in the ass I, that's one thing i wish we had i wish i wish that um he would come out with like an Alaska. If, if like say say you made the all end all be all map, I think it should be in Alaska right now. I think it should be in like a northern. I think Alaska would be the if he was to make a map that like what we're about like we want. I think it should be in Alaska because a great addition to the game would be permafrost. Could you imagine if you looked at the layer like this dirt layer and it went like dirt and then there was a frozen layer, right? So say you have your pay dirt layer, right? It'd go overburden and then there'd be a layer like this about about that deep so about two meters thick where we had to rip that right 
And when you rip it, it takes X amount of days to thaw out and melt. And then you have access to your permafrost or your, uh, to your, uh, pay dirt. That would be sick, man. Like you're thinking basically an ultra. No, no, not at all. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't take very long in days, you know, or you could just rip it up and dig it out. Right. For, uh, for permafrost. Nah. Uh, no ways to refine diamonds or rubies or anything like that. I just think it'd be a cool feature to use the dozers for something more than just bedrock ripping or something like that, right? I think I think it would be a really nice touch to um, that ripping and stuff like that. To be fair, I'm not really... No, so perma, permafrost is generally so underneath the ground in certain elevations in the world, like where it's cold for part of the year, most of the year, and it's really cool, deep cold. The ground stays frozen permanently, right? So if we were in Alaska right now and you're up, up, you're up in it, uh, you know, you would, it would pretty much be just normal overburden. And then you have a frozen layer once you get so deep, right? Now, if you're near a riverbed or something like that, it's not like that because the running water and stuff like that, it thaws it out. Certain areas, certain pockets aren't permafrost layers, but in general, you're going to see a permafrost layer. Right. In most places, especially in like deep, cold uh, canyons and stuff like that, where it's like cold thumps and stuff like that. But uh, you have that you have that thick frozen layer and what how they simulate that. You see that in Gold Rush a lot, too. Right. In the TV show, they talk about it quite a bit. Oh, we're hitting a permafrost. It's it's literally just a sheet of ice in the ground. Permafrost is effing hard. Yeah. So they, you have to rip it and then you have to let it thaw. And then once it thaws, then you can then go in and dig. Right, so it would be nice to have that simulated somehow in the game. Nobody's done it yet. Um, that was one of my biggest disappointments back in the day with Gold Rush was since Permafrost has always talked about on almost every damn episode that's ever been in Gold Rush, that they didn't try to figure that out somehow. They didn't try to figure out a layer where we could use the dozer to like rip the ground and make it easier. They just did. It was kind of just a generic. Oh, it's winter time ground's frozen now you got to use the ripper to unthought for a second and then dig it wasn't enough for me i i immediately outvoiced my opinion on that i was like come on bro it's it's underneath the layer dude you know what i mean like it's underneath the muck like come on dude what, what, what do you get you got a, bunch of, got a bunch of nerds coding a video game that have no clue about mining right that's what you get like they're not going to be able to have that attention to detail and stuff like that right all right, let's see here. Where are we at here? That's that's literally what happens. They they don't they don't they don't know they're they're, they're coders and gamers. They don't leave the house. Even if, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, Grumpy. Like, if there was seasons mode, if there was this is how it would work. If, if this is how it, if if I was to theory craft out how it would work exactly. So say you start the game right. And you go on this little claim. It's kind of like your introduction claim. You're kind of doing what we're doing here right now. There would be a part of the part of your claim would be frozen. All right. So you come in here and do this. This would be like, okay, now we're almost into fall. Fall time's coming. Winter's coming. Mine's going to get shut down. It's going to, the mine's going to get shut down. They don't, you're not going to be mining in the winter. Right. And then you come back the next season and you're like, okay, I need to prepare my land. Right. So I got to, I got to rip all this crappy shit off. Right. Get down to permafrost, hit it with the ripper. And you have to plan ahead with seasons. Right. So you're like, okay, say every, say every, say every season's only like 30 or 40 hours in game. Right. It would be, it would, it would give you a thought pattern of, I have to prepare for next season. So you're, while you're doing your own little projects, you're, you're already working on where you're mine, you're trying to scrape up and get material. The permafrost, once you rip it, it would take, you wouldn't be able to mine it until the next season, right? So you just have to think ahead. Okay. I need to, I want to, this is what I want on my next season. So I have to prepare it this season as well as keep my mind going and stuff like that. Right. So it'd give you, it'd give you a, it would give you a thing. And that's how they, that's how it's done in real life and in places where you're, where you're plaster mining. Right. So, and most people that start up, don't just go jump into being a coal miner. Right, that's million dollar investments, and like, you know what I mean. Like, 
so that's what i was saying i think i think the game should be more gold orientated in the beginning and you work up to um and you work up to having an empire where you can open up gigantic coal mines and things like that right or just play in a different mode that you know different modes could be for everybody not everyone's going to want to mine for gold not everyone's going to want to mine for coal you know like we were talking earlier not everyone's going to want to do those things you know not everyone's going to want to play the same so but where do, where do you actually make the game and what do you actually try to make it about right if the game's always just going to be just a sandbox where you can do whatever you want wherever you want then there's going to be no like detail in any department that's fine too okay yeah not that you have to require the forethought to like set everything up and stuff yeah exactly you have to mining's all about thinking ahead that's what that's what it is right you really have to plan well yeah back in the day yeah for sure yeah back in the day everybody could just go out and do anything right now it's like you got to have like permits and and everything, right? Yeah, precisely modern minds to many their their plans. You they're so insane, right? That's where we get into kind of like the lore of what the game's going to be, right? The game's lore. Like, you know? Who knows? Who knows, right? That canyon you want to build in is approximately 120 blocks wide, lol. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It is correct. Okay, let me take a look here. Let's see what I got. Let's see what we're working with. That's gonna be a it's it's gonna be a stupid project, dude. The the big big mines? Yeah, Bob. They are. The big big monster mines? Dude, you need government approval. Like, man, dude, it's insane. You'll just go in there and start you know what I mean? Like doing that. It's you you need some ridiculous approval. Even even gold rush and stuff like that. Those guys mining. It's too small. It's too small, bro. It's too small of a, a thing. Act. All right, let's take a look at this drone. Let's see. We're stripping. We're doing good. We're doing good where I want to go for the day. That works. Yeah, the water rights, just water rights and stuff like that can shut you down, dude. <laughs> dude. Yep. Yeah. You need to I do need to run some more here we need we need more money coming in because we need we are going to need to hit this hard on monday so when i when i jump in i'm going to just start smashing the cut on the top definitely going to be having the dozer so i need to prepare for mayhem um Five hundred forty K for the dope. E. That's not even that's the small little fella. <laughs> that's the small little buddy. That's all right though. It'll it'll do. It will do. Um 
fucking tunnel or would almost be better, but we're not going to use that. That's that thing's cheese as shit, dude. We're going to use that. We're going to use this for a very specific job and that's to make those divert, um, diverter tunnels, right? That's what we're going to use that for the diverter tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We'll use that for that. So we get a little CTM action in. I know the, I know the viewer challenge says no CTM, but that'll do the best job. And I think for simulating those tunnels. Yeah. Doesn't mean we have to belt mine. I'll still, I sh eh, we'll see. We'll, we'll leave it up to you guys. We'll put it up. FYI, the uh, cutting edge wears out. Not a way to repair. Yeah, expensive dozer does. Yeah, small little dozer would be nice too. Like I said, we do need some in between smaller equipment. I agree. Especially if anything that we're talking about, like what we've been kind of like hypothetically talking about or theory crafting, it would be we do need that smaller equipment. Right. That little smaller equipment, the, the gap, the gap between the 200 style equipment size and the gap. Yeah. We need, we need something a little smaller. It'd be nice. Yeah. A little mini excavator, little bobcat like that. Work benches. Yeah, just, just enough to fill the gaps in, right? And, and you can kind of see that's what Christian's doing as well too, right? He's kind of like, let's put all the stuff in to fill in all the gaps, but the game is still not like, like I said, it's kind of like links of a chain. We have all the links, right? But none of them are linked together right now. Kind of where the game is sitting at right now. And what we're all talking about would be like kind of what we're discussing is, is like, how are those links of the chain going to fit together to make an actual like, make sense progression story arc type thing right that's what we're talking about so we have a bunch of little links right now and he's planning on adding a whole bunch of more links but none of them are put together right so but right now like i said this is probably my favorite this is this is my uh, yes this i would have to say this i will i will say this is my favorite this is my favorite so far starting into the, the game the production this the the crafting I don't know the, the crafting and the starting with the pickaxe. I do wish there was a little bit more of the smaller equipment as well. I 100% agree. I feel I feel like the hand tool with the extreme pick should have just been an equipment in some way. Now, admittedly, if you put everything little thing we asked for, and it would just be random. Exactly. It, it eventually needs to be blocked together to make it make sense. Keeps throwing shit at the wall just to make people happy. Uh, the I think uh, one of the discussions I had with him was, yes, we all love the game. We love the game. All the people that are watching right now and other people that, you know what I mean? We're all like, yeah, 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 cool, 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 cool. But the mainstream, to get out of that little tiny niche market that this, these type of games are, right? The niche little market that this is, to break out of that scale, kind of like Farm Sim did in a sense, you need to have a very X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? Order of things for normal people to play that aren't into these type of games, right? And they, it, because people need it. The, one of the biggest complaints of this game is people go, I just don't know what to do when I get the game. So why would I buy it? And why would I keep playing it? And I, I don't disagree with them. I don't, they're they're They have a very valid point, right? So story arc towns, map that really makes sense on what you're doing and where you're going and why you're doing it 
a sense of accomplishment on buying land, progressing that land the way you want to do it, being able to build anywhere, all those things are key. They're all key building blocks, right? So yeah, that's, it's just, I mean, it sucks because we're all sitting there like, we, we know it's going to get there. Like everybody in chat right now, right? Like, you know what I mean? We all, it's getting, it's going to get somewhere close to that, I believe. I believe it. I think he's going to, I think he's going to get somewhere close to that. You know what I mean? I think that's why we all love this game and, and we're, we're, we want to support him because we all believe that it's going to get there. Right. Are getting pretty close to a dozer. Oh, snap. No, we're not getting close to a dozer. We need ore. I, I think so too, Grumpy. I think, I think, I think the best way to go about it to help people out would be almost the first map is almost just a tutorial, almost in a sense, where it's like, hey, dude, go to this mine site. We you inherited it from your grandpa or something. You know what I mean? Like, and you come over here and there's like a little, there's like a broken down piece of shit backo or something. You know what I mean? Or or, or even the shovel or something, you know, it breaks down and it's like, and then it forces you to dig with the shovel and like do something, something like that. You know what I mean? S something, you know, who knows? It could be anything, right? Any little storyline or whatever, but getting yourself to where you're really familiar with the whole game, but you feel like you're not playing a tutorial is a very, very, very hard thing to do. It is a hard thing to do. It's not making it feel corny or stupid, make you feel like you're playing a tut tutorial, but your first starting little parcel is super important. Yeah, who knows, man? It's gonna be good. It's good to see. It's good to see everybody having like ideas and and enthusiasm and stuff. And and honestly, that's I used to love that about Gold Rush. Oh, crazy! Yeah, you still that, bro? Yeah, man. And bowling, having a few beers. The grind is real. Yeah, dude. We're just chilling, chat, man. You guys make it easy. You guys make it easy. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a tough one. It's a tough one, right? Because some people are, some people look at what I say like that. You know, even though we're just chit chatting about it, so like that, it's probably not going to be. Some people just want the satisfactory style gameplay, right? That's where that's why I've, I've even said you know publicly a lot. Like I just don't know where. If the game goes way more towards satisfactory and way less away from realism. It just might not be my game anymore after a few years. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know. I, I, how are we supposed to know? Right? We don't really know. And that's, 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 it's kind of like, uh, like the game could take off way. And that's what, you know, what, what kind of scared me a little bit and how I kind of realized that is when I came up with the blast mining, the belt mining and stuff like that. Almost everybody went to playing like that. It was kind of like, oh, Almost nobody was playing realistically anymore. And then everybody was arguing about making the game like that instead of actually like mining and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so it was kind of like the satisfactory side of the game was taking over. And it was like, I love satisfactory and all, but I kind of want a mining game, not a fantasy digging thing like that. You know, for me, for me personally, right? That's what I was kind of like. That's where my head kind of went. I was like, oh, man. Shit. Shit. Adding NPCs to interact with in towns, I don't think he can do. Um, If not, I can show him. <laughs> if not, I can show him. NPCs are, NPCs are stupid easy, dude. NPCs are, 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 are easy as hell. I mean, literally, you just have your character, right? Character models are literally just standing behind a desk. Shopkeeper. Walk up to them and interact with them. 
Activates the voice command. Hey, how's it going today, Bill? Just want to see some nudes of my wife? You're like, no, dude, I want to buy a tractor. You sure you don't want to buy a hoe? I got one. <laughs> it's, it's relatively simple. It's not, it's not too complicated. There's so many cool things that you can do. He's in Unreal and stuff like that. And it's really not that difficult. He's got the skill to do it. Like I said, he's got the skill. That's without a doubt. No, I know he can. I know he can pull it. I think what will make the game unbeatable would be when he gets stuff like what we're talking about right now ironed out with multiplayer. I think mainstream right now, it's not enough just to add multiplayer. You know what I mean? It'll help. It'll be nice for some people, but it's not going to smash this game out into the, to the next universe. You know what I mean? That super in detailed world and story arc and like progression path and everything fits and feels good is what's going to push that game to the mainstream masses and players. NPCs and towns and things like that. That's that's what's going to push it more than multiplayer. Because like I say, I'll say it all the time. A shitty game is still shitty. Doesn't matter. You can add multiplayer, it's still shitty. It just means you're playing a shitty game with a friend. All right? So no, multiplayer doesn't make a game. It just makes it better with your friend. That you you just play a game with your friend doesn't mean the game is better just because it has multiplayer there's so many amazing games that don't need multiplayer that are still some of the best world selling titles that you don't need multiplayer multiplayer would ruin the experience so it just it just proves the game is still a, a game is still a game it just means you can play with your friend that's it and most people don't have friends to play with right so it, no i don't think it's going to do as well as people think it is it's going to bring it up to a whole different elevation level, but it's not going to go into like the stratosphere like people think it's going to be, right? It's just not going to. It, the game for the masses still needs to have a more polished game. I think it'll do well. It's definitely going to do well. It's 100% going to do well multiplayer, but it could be. it's going to be even better once the game gets fully polished and rounded out and stuff like that. That's why Gold Rush died. It hasn't had no MP. Gold Rush just Gold Rush didn't die because it didn't have MP. Gold Rush died because it didn't have any new content added for four year five years. As a matter of fact, the player base voted when the game was being developed to not put multiplayer into the game to do console instead. The only reason why people dislike it is because it never got anything new. It never got new wash plants. It never got new equipment. It never got anything new. Nothing. That's why the game quote unquote died. But it never died. It still has more people than any other mining game out times a thousand. You count all the people playing it on console. You count all the people doing it all those things. It's never died. It's never been dead. It's still just as active. It's even it's even blooming back up even more now. Right? Because there's new developers and they're, they're going to be putting out content here soon. So not everybody wants to play multiplayer. So the notion that a game has to have multiplayer to be successful is complete bullshit. Stop playing Gold Rush because it got boring. Yeah, but if they were constantly giving you new shit to play with, you probably wouldn't have got bored, right? Like if they would, if so, the original plan of GR, the original plan of Gold Rush was, and you kind of saw it in the early days, it was like. Tier three wash plant is almost the exact replica of the Hoffman's wash plant in the first season, right? It was almost the exact replica. Season two, what happened? They showed like all they showed Dakota, Fred, and those guys, or, or the or the or season two, season three. Dakota, Fred came in. What did they bring to the show? They brought in the D Rocker. Tier four, right? So they were going in a story arc and building the game and they were, going, they were going to be releasing DLCs for every season that the TV show had and giving us all those things. That was the original plan. And at some point, they just got derailed completely and went away from that model. If they would have followed that model, I think the game would have just 
murdered regardless of multiplayer. Right, I think I think it would have. I think it, it would have completely been a different story. I stand by the scale of Gold Rush is too small for me. Yeah, I 100%. The Gold Rush is too small. If, imagine if you put four of me on a Gold Rush claim. That would be boring game. That would be a 100% boring game. I, I would be I'd be bored because I'd dig the claims out. If there was five of me, I would we would dig the claim out so fast, it would be pointless. It would be absolutely pointless. So the game can't support it because it's too small, right? Way too small. Too small. All right. I'm just kind of showing taking a break. Just reading chat, so. I spend more time setting up the equipment than you do with digging. Exactly. You would spend more time setting up the claim than digging. And and also people too were like, we need a bigger excavator. Once again, could you imagine players getting bigger excavators and more people? You dig the claims up in, in like five hours, 10 hours. You dig the whole claim up. And you'd be on to the next claim. You'd have to dig that one up too. Then you have to do the next claim. You dig that one up. You get like 30 hours of gameplay. And then all your friends would be like, I don't want to do that again. Why? It's going to be the same thing. GG game's still just as dead as their people are describing it. There's no real winner there. there. There's not a winner there. That's why multiplayer got downvoted in the beginning. That's why it got downvoted. That's why people would rather play it on console than have multiplayer. Yeah, it's it simple facts. You know, people can complain all that they want and you know and stuff like that, but it is what it is. That's not exactly what it is sucks it does suck that's i hated it man think about me i based my whole channel around it no content that was ass <laughs> no that hurt that hurt bad <laughs> like you know what i mean that hurt real bad no new content <laughs> let's see heroes price leak new content or challenge keep me engaged yeah yeah, 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 exactly. Um, yep, they did just say that. Odd support multiplayer is way better than all this uh, single player BS. Look at Farming Simulator. Um, farming Simulator is. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll agree but disagree with that about Farming Simulator being better because of mod support. Because, I don't know. It's it's a tough one. I shouldn't have to download a mod to make the game better. Right? The game should just be a decent standard to begin with. And then on top of it, there's way too many subpar mods on Farm Sim. And all the good ones kind of lag. That was my experience with farm sim. Um, or most of the mods are like cracked out tractors and like everything has like unlimited haul and stuff like that and things like that. And I'll agree the game, the game, I don't think farm sim is better because it has multiplayer. Like I said, my standing is if, if, if a game is lacking everything, then it's just lacking. Multiplayer just means it's lacking with friends. I'll stick to that statement with any game. Uh, new dev team said they are adding, they won't be adding MP. Yeah, they did say that. They did say that in the, the thing and that they are planning to do DLC this year. They did. That's all I can say on that matter. If I was there from the start, gave the wash plant, bed tested. Um, you weren't there from the start then, dude. If you came during Kickstarter to beta, you weren't there from the start. I I was playing Gold Rush a year and a half before it even came to Kickstarter. So you were not there from the start. I know all the original people that were there from the start. There was only, there was a handful of us. And then they put the poll out before Kickstarter. And it was like 21,000 something votes. And it was like 80% said console over MP. And that was pre Kickstarter. But then they launched a Kickstarter and uh console was pretty much on that list versus MP. That's how that went down. Uh 
I enjoy modding FS. But a lot of broken mods. Yeah, it's a lot of broken mods. Arguing that mod support and, and MP make up for bad game based game is how we got Bethesda. Yeah, like I said, I, I do I do appreciate mods. There are some great modders, right? There are some great modders. But I prefer the devs to put in what we want because so that way it continually gets supported forever. And not have to rely on a modder to fix something when it's broken. I think that I think that farming simulator relies too much on modders and they don't innovate anything themselves anymore. And that's why I got bored with farm sim, right? So that's why I just got bored with it. You know? They're not, they're not doing anything new. They're not probably going to do anything new and innovative and it's just going to stay the same thing. So, eh. still, still like playing it when, when we want to do some farming, it's still the best farming game, right? And I think it's still the best logging game. Like I said, I'm not saying it's complete ass and trash and it's bleh, right? But um, yeah, it's still the best farming game around. And I, I think it's pound for pound the best logging game. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. I, would say that. I, could, I could confidently say that and be, stand behind that comment. <laughs> but it definitely does. All right, let's get back to digging here. Yep. <laughs> Screw that shit, dude. I won't talk about that no more. Save the game? Yeah, we gotta save anyways here, and then we'll get the drone set up. I'm looking at my files right now, and I'm like, dude, why didn't I be naming these the whole time? For stream, I gotta figure out what order they're in. Eat. Okay. I'll just do it. I'll just do it by the save thing. Save the game. Now, I prefer I prefer games to be as vanilla as possible, man. I like to see devs putting in hard work. You know what I mean? I like it. I like seeing that. Um, we can dig and talk. Let me give my fingers a rest there for a little bit. How many files do I have? About I have about, f I think about 40, 50 gigs roughly. I think that's what I said. For the for the files so far. I think you were dead on the other day about the wash plant and GR. It felt good placing everything and setting everything up. Yeah, no, hundred percent, dude. It was. I th it said that's what makes that game. That's that's what makes that game. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's set up the way we wanted it. Oh yeah, the five hundred one is a beast. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that modding and farm sim or farms or multiplayer and modding is like, it should never be added. I'm just saying that there's other things right now in this game's development that need to be, need to be, that needed to be, I guess I should say that, that needed to be, right? So that's not saying that it should never, right? I'm just saying that since we're getting to the point. We're to the point now where, well, I mean, fucking, I have multiplayer for this game right now. <laughs> like, we're getting to that point, right? So multiplayer is already here and we've already gotten to that point. So I'm kind of back talking about it a little bit, right? So it's, it's, it's not, it, but modding support, no. Modding support right now, no, would be ass. The game, it, the mods would be broken every week. No. But multiplayer, like Christian was even in the channel and said, Christian was even in the channel and said, he goes, no, we need to get multiplayer out now because it's a, it's a hassle for me. And I agree. He needs to get the multiplayer out now as the game's going to have multiplayer. He's made that decision. He's already worked on it. We've, I've already seen early versions of it and it needs to be out now. So that way the framework that's going forward is even better. Mod modding support. He even said it's not coming in anytime soon. He said it's, it's just because it, it would just be too much of a hassle for the player base and the modders and he's a modder so he would know right like nmc is huge yeah yeah they yeah exactly 
Exactly, Hub. Exactly, man. No, yeah, no, this, there's no point in, yeah, modding support right now would be ass for this game. I would, I would hate to be a modder and have to, like, fix my mod literally every week. Like, ugh, could you imagine? And then imagine being the player when you have to wait for your, your modder to fix the mod every week just for you to play your save. That would just be tragic. <laughs> They'd be like, nah, no thanks. No thanks. I would never play with mods. I would never play with mods right now if you put that in. I'm guessing the biggest issue around voxels per person? No, actually, you know what? I'll disagree with Hybrid Steel when he said, like, did a video today, and he said, like, the reason why they had to go with the Steam client was because the voxels and stuff like that. No, because, and, I, and here's how I can debunk that very quickly. They all use the same voxel plugin engine or a plugin for Unreal. They all do, right? Here's where he's wrong. And this is where the guy that makes that other game is wrong. Gold Hunters was able to link it up and play multiplayer and dig. Okay. That's all I need to say. So if they can do it, Christian can do it. And if they can do it, the other, um, Hydrogenair should have been able to do it too. Okay? Very simply, there's no other thing to say about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? And if I can do it, and Dopey can play on my world when I develop and do things and when I make a concept, if Dopey and I can do it, and I'm a dumbass when it comes to coding, why? You know what I mean? Why? I can, I can use the same plugin that they're doing. I made a multiplayer world where people can run around and dig and you can see them digging. So what's what was Hydraineer's excuse? They just didn't want to do it a certain way or they were having some other issue that was not, you know what I mean? So it's been shown that it's been done multiple times. But like I said, if GH could do it, then why? What was the excuse? They all use the same plugin, right? They all use the same plugin. Adding modding support too early is how you get the modding community burnt out. Exactly. And here's the other thing too, is this is like, look how many games have came out that are like quote unquote farm sim killers, right? They're, they're farm sim killers. And did any of the modders go over and support that game? Even though they had modding support? Nope. Nope. How's the development of that game going? Yeah, dude, it's it's torched. The game, that game's torched, dude. The guy's too worried about making money to live in his mom's basement or whatever the hell's going on, dude. That game's torched, dude. The game's chalked up. It's a disappointment. It's disappointing, right? 100%. 100% disappointing. No, yeah, it would it would just be a shit show for modding. Uh, Christian Christian did talk about it. We talked about it on the, uh, the Q&A. Like you said about the modding, 100%. Like the argue, and there's no argument about multiplayer coming into Out of War. It's it's 100% coming, right? It's just it's just how long is it gonna take him and how many things he's gonna do before that, right? That's all. That's all the multiplayer issue is. The multiplayer is already coming, so we don't have to even really discuss that. But modding just doesn't make sense right now, and I and I will take the approach and agree with him on that. That it would just be a hassle for the modding team until the game is more stable on the back end. He's, I mean, look at this patch. He completely redid everything. I'm going to move into his mom's house's basement. Just to yell at him all the time. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Farm, I, I feel bad for the farm sim fans. But then I don't because they drink the Kool-Aid and that's their fault. But I do think there's some very skilled, skilled people that could be better used doing other things in other games than just running the farm sim grind, you know? Like, what is his name? David from 82 Studios? Dude, guy's a beast, man. Guy's a beast when it comes to like modeling stuff and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Guy's a monster, dude. And then there's like, you know, all those other guys too, man. Like Oxy David and all those dudes that make the maps, they do a really good job with what the shitty tools that they're put that are put in front of them for their maps and stuff, right? 
they, they build some beautiful maps with a shit ass engine they do a really good job could you imagine what these guys could do if they actually built a map on like unreal and they knew you know what i mean instead of the giants engine you know what i mean so they're very limited the modders and i feel bad for them dude because that engine sucks ass Yeah, that, that's the only, I think that's the only, yeah, make the modding from course play. Yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying is that they wanted to, uh, they asked, they, they, we, they asked that and the people asked that in the Q&A was actually one of the questions. Um, if it'd be easy for him to kind of like rip off course play and add it to the game, you know, but he didn't say no, so. Because like we're saying, not everybody has has people that they want to play with. And some people just, you know, I'm going to be honest, man. I really don't like playing multiplayer games. Every experience I've had playing multiplayer games, for the most part, has always ended poorly. Like, and it's always me just sitting there watching people get into arguments and fights and shit and just being stupid and petty. And it's like, bro, it's that that to me is annoying. That ruins the game for me. <laughs> like. How many of you guys have had a multiplayer game ruined for you because some petty ass bullshit that somebody else was doing to somebody else and then it bled over to your shit? Christian should have hired David from 82 Studios. Dude, T-Bone and those guys are amazing modelers, man. I don't think he needs to really hire anybody. With randoms? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Yep. I mean, T-Bone and all those guys, man, they've been doing a, they would do a really good job, right? But that would be a good addition to the team if, if uh, Christian had enough money, man, to uh, to hire somebody like David, right? But would he, would Christian be able to pay him enough money to make him get away from the farm sim crowd, right? That's the thing. And how much money he, David might make, don't know, right? So it might be not as lucrative for David to do something like that. And you have to think about that, right? Now, he's very known for doing farm sim mods, and he probably makes a decent amount of money being a farm sim modder and having his YouTube channel and things like that, right? So could Christian pay him enough money for him to leave that and then potentially give it up? That's a huge risk for somebody uh, like David, right? And for anybody in that situation. David seems like a good dude, man. He does, he does really good work. Everything I've seen, all of his mods... And he's only getting, he's only gotten better, right? Like, he's only gotten better. Oh, playing, dude, I'm looking forward to that well as well too, man. I cannot wait to uh, play this with, with Amanda, right? Like... She's not really into this type of game, but she just wants to hang out some days and just kind of turn the brain off and listen to music and shit. And, you know, being a rock truck driver and stuff like that and hanging out or going logging or something like that. I'm sure she would really like the logging if Christian got it to be like farm sim. I'm sure she really, she would. She probably would slay out the logs. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Multiplayer is going to be fun, dude. Multiplayer is going to be fun. Because Out of War is already fun. Like I was saying, Out of War is already fun. But um, I played a lot of games where they rushed multiplayer and there was not enough content to make the game legitimately fun. And multiplayer just made it a horrible experience because then we were all just bored. So, like I said, that's why I have that statement where it's like, you know, multiplayer is just a game. Multiplayer just makes it to where you can play a game with, with your friends. It doesn't mean the game's actually better. It just means that, fun like, fundamentally, a bad game is still a bad game, right? Adding multiplayer just means you're playing a bad game with friends. But I think at this point right now, yeah, it does make perfect sense to put it in. Right? Like for Dopey right now, if, multi if we had multiplayer right now, and Dopey didn't want to dig or do anything else, she could be in there pickaxing or cutting trees down or managing the little plants over here and stuff like that. Watch her throw bombs and stuff at you, dude. Yeah. 
Uh, so Christian did release some information about that on the on in the stream here the other day. He said that no, it's all gonna be peer to peer. Right now, he said the servers and stuff like that is just a giant hassle and it's an asshole factor. And I would hundred percent agree. We actually had this we had this conversation about on Power World actually. Um, the other day on stream during Power World, and the biggest irritation with these devs these devs lately is they pair up with these server hosting companies and they limit their game to like four to three players when the game can actually support like 10 to 20 players. And then they force you to go out and buy servers so these game companies can make extra money, right? Like they can make extra money off of their player base because everybody wants to play with more than two to three players. That's it's a that's horrible, man. So Christian was, Christian when Christian said that, I was like, yeah, boy. Cause I, like I've seen the thing and I've seen the client and it's just, you know, I was like, yep, that's nice. So you don't need servers. So speed, speed time, harvest, repeat. Yep. It's good to just turn the brain off and relax together. Yeah. Then, yeah, but then I game with Dopey and she's like, the game with Dopey and I come on after she's been gaming. I No, this is what happened. This is how bad it got in Farm Sim. I'd wake up and Dopey wouldn't be in bed. i come into the office and Dopey's grinding out freaking silage bales all night for like 15 hours all day. All and all night. <laughs> Dopey's... And this is a normal thing, dude. It's, sometimes it's... Sometimes... Or I'm sitting there working we're playing a hardcore survival mode and I turn around Dopey's cut down 400 trees and she's making the damn world lag and then she tells me to clean it all up sometimes it can be not relaxing so <laughs> I turn around and I'm just like oh my god where'd the forest go and she's just sitting there going <laughs> what forest noob <laughs> get to work scrub hey chameleon dude look at this brother have a good night sleep dude no, yeah, so there's not going to be public servers. It's going to be, um, it's going to be, it's going to be private, peer-to-peer. -peer. And we still don't have any information about how many players it's going to be. So, if I was to guess, it's probably going to be, I'm just going to throw a wild guess out there, because I don't even know that information. I, I would say it's probably going to be less than 10 players. But I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I'm just my guess. I'm just going to say less than 10. Hey, take it easy, Darius. <laughs> yeah, Dopey with her plowshare in the truck. Yeah, boy. What? You, what's your guys' guess? How many players do you think it's going to be peer to peer? I see, uh, I see a four. I see an eight. Eight to ten. You think six gonna be six? See it eight to five, eight to twelve. Hope at least <laughs> it's gonna be multiplayer is gonna come out, guys, and it's gonna be one person. We're gonna have to RP play into, with each other. He's, he's gonna he's gonna enable shave share uh, sh timeshare. That's the multiplayer. That's how it's gonna work. So, um, when I'm done with my shift, it automatically transfers over to your Steam account through the cloud. I'm not allowed to play on it from this hour to this hour, so multiplayer. Or P2P to 48, yeah. It's more than one, I bet. <laughs> Christina, dude. Thank you much for the uh, sub. Appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Please. Why am I getting out of the vehicle? <laughs> you guys at least one <laughs> oh man hey Bob take it easy brother yeah it's getting late for a lot of people it's getting late for me too I'm ready to take a day off I need a day you know what I mean like I said, tomorrow's going to be a coffee talk. We're just going to be sitting in Discord, chilling, hanging out, chatting with you guys. Feel free to come on in. Uh, I'm going to be working on the video for uh, the how-to for the drones. 
It won't be too crazy of a video. Whoa, doing donuts, dude. It won't be too crazy of a video, but other than that, I'm just going to be relaxing and I'm gonna cook a nice dinner for Dopey and and uh, we're just going to be chilling, hanging out in Discord, chatting. Yeah, 8-16-32. Yeah. It's gen yeah, network. Yeah. That's why I was thinking it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be 8 to 12 because the voxel side of the voxel plugin is yeah it's gonna be the factor i mean do we really need 32 people running around i mean maybe i could have a whole bunch of rock truck drivers that'd be nice i am not play with split i'm not beta rock truck driver we're going to have the most degenerate rock truck drivers ever. Like half of you guys, we're going to be calling you up and hitting the horn. We try to fill you guys up. You guys are going to be all drunk and shit. Half of our loads are going to get tipped over a hill. I thought I was hitting the hopper, bro. You are, you are not even in the right county right now. Where did you just dump that load? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where, I don't know where it went. Where, where did you just dump that dirt? I don't, I don't know, but my rock truck's flipped over here in this canyon. <laughs> right. <laughs> now nah, well, we're gonna we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some fun things with multiplayer, with the players. But uh, it really depends on a lot of factors, like I was saying, lots of factors. Right. So there's a lot of things I don't want to say because you know what I mean. I gotta make sure when I'm doing it, I can have recording time and I have people jumping up my dick trying to like recreate me instantly. I want to get that content out. Right. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of opportunities I've always wanted to be able to do with a mining game. Like I said, I, I'm super thankful to Christian for giving me that opportunity uh, and adding things into the game that benefit content creators and making content for all of you guys. And like, I was, I'm super thankful for it, man. Never get it twisted. I always, I am. Even though we, we we talk about it, sometimes it might seem like we're being negative, but we're not. We all love the game. We all want it to be better. Just flipping the roller down into the ravine. Yep. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're all we're all on the same page. Some people get it wrong, like they may think we're being bad or whatever. But no, we all love the game. We all love supporting Christian. We just like to have fun, man. We're all grown. Most of us are grown ass adults. We get the, we get satire. We understand it. Some people don't. You know what I mean? They don't get it. I'll be me waiting for Rodney. I'm flipped over, bro. Give me a job, boss. <laughs> Recreate the excavator clip. Yeah, we're like, we're like, where are these two people? They were supposed to go get the excavators from the yard, and we look over, and they're just like, like the like the like when someone subscribes to the channel. <laughs> that is not what they're supposed to do. Oh, we just hit the 60 gig limit. Just hit 60 gigs in this file. Nah, oh, man, I'm excited, dude. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun year, dude. This is going to be a great year. If MP hits soon, like within the next like three to five months or whatever, even if it's like six, it's still going to be a banger of a year. Cool. Oh, what the F, dude? Ooh, the drones never acted like that. He really changed that stuff, dude. He really did some change. Cause I, I'm saying I used to have four or five drones out recording. Never had an issue like that. Ooh, we. Something with the exporting that he changed on the back end. It's 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 in the cache. It's messed up. Something in the cache. Because we showed it doesn't do that when you go when once you get to that thousand, it's like 
You're just rolling the dice. Yeah, what people don't, people don't understand is, is like... People don't understand about our community is that pound for pound, we have some of the best battle-tested competition monsters in our community. Why? Because y'all mother effers are out there destroying Gold Wars leaderboards, dude. That's why I can confidently say our community has pound for pound some of the best sim miners in the world. Because there's no other way to judge it, right? Unless you played leaderboards and you busted your ass and you beast moded it, right? We have some gangsters in our community. You put all the best people in our community together, dominate. Like, you know what I mean? Insanity. You guys, you guys threw down, man. Thanks for uh, upholding the WL, man. All you guys, all those years, dude. I know a lot of you guys had to change your tags and stuff like that because you had joined other guilds and other games and stuff like that, but dudes, you guys, you guys putting uh, those WL tags up on the leaderboards, man. Vileborg and all those guys, right? Like everybody that was like just monstering out the leaderboards, dude. Hell freaking yeah, bros. You guys threw down, dudes. Every time I saw some, every time I saw one of our community members win and and just destroy the leaderboards, man, put a smile on my face. And it was pretty much almost every leaderboard too, by the way. <laughs> like most of the most of the top ten players, or most of the people always played every season, are, are WL members. We filled we had every everybody on everybody in the first season was a WL member at one point. Everybody on the season first season. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Yep, yep. Even the guy that exploited the leaderboards we used to be one of our mods uh, before he got kicked out of our uh, community. But Paul says he got kicked out and got the boot. Yeah, man. Like, gr look at Grinder, dude. Grinder's always hustling, man. Just playing for fun, full time jobs, still winning and putting himself up on the top 10. You know? I don't think I've watched GR in years. I am actually not current. I need to, I need to actually, now that I'm into mining again, and I'm not like, I need to actually finish the watch. Is the, Okay, hold on. Somebody might be able to answer this. Think you need a bigger loader? I need a dozer. What I need. I mean, I could do a loader, bigger loader, but uh, I kind of want the dozer. I mean, that is an option. A lot of guys like watching me doze, so I don't know if I said I was going to go with a bigger loader and sell this thing and get the bigger loader, they might be mad. They might be mad. I mean, what are our options here? I mean, let's be honest, right? Like, yep, <laughs> everyone's, yep. <laughs> Dude, those dozer time lapses are sexy, not gonna lie. <laughs> those are my favorite time lapses to do is the dozer because you see so much crazy change. It's like the, the dozer time lapses are the best. Mine inspector. So what the? Did you translate that for me? Okay.
Well, no, I know it's not about the leaderboards, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying everybody that's in the community that played leaderboards and stuff like that that did extremely crazy. You know what I mean? Was like very supportive of each other. And a lot of you guys played against each other and made it fun for yourselves and made little competitions. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of uh, players that do that. All trucks needed. Uh, haul truck would come, not right now. A bigger loader would be nice. That's just one aspect of the the community, Jim. You know what I mean? It's just one aspect of the community that people did and and really loved. It's a good good times, man. Like I said, I I, mean, I can't complain. Do I do I wish Goldverse would have turned out a little different? Do I wish they would have developed it? Do I I wish they would put multiplayer in? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like I said, I'm not trying to be like an MP hater or a modder hater or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I would have rather seen them put in a shit ton of content versus adding MP and then add MP, right? Like, that's all I'm trying to say, right? Like, I would have rather seen a whole bunch of content and then add MP. That's all I'm trying to say, really. You know what I mean? I guess I should clarify that a little bit more. I do want MP. It's just I would rather the game have other content first. You know what I mean? Same thing with this game, but the game's already gotten some of the content that we're looking for. Now adding the MP framework makes sense. I'll leave for a few hours. This is all you got done? Dude, I'm just talking too much, man. Okay, sorry, dude. Shut up and just dig my hole. I know. I know. Oh, yeah, exactly, Jim. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, we try to keep all that bullshit out of, out of, um, yeah, politics and everything like that. And just everything in general. We try to keep that out of Discord. Right. We don't, uh, you know what I mean? Discord, like people that understand, they're like, "Split, why don't you? Why don't you? Let, I, I have a YouTube channel. I have a Twitch channel. Why, why can't I post my videos in your thing? Because it gums up the Discords, and you know what I mean? Things like that, right? Like people like to have conversations and chat and open, and people join in, and people get to know each other. We have too many content creators; they would just be spamming the shit out of that thing, dude. So it's like that's one of the reason why I don't do certain things, and it's mainly just to escape from the the content spam and things like that, and and uh, people just hang out and having a good time. That's why I got rid of that stupid little welcoming system thing where you guys were spamming the the stupid emojis and shit, because it was like it was taken away from the conversations in Discord, right? Is what it was doing, and it was like then all of a sudden general channel died because everybody was more worried about welcoming everybody with those stupid little stickers. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, it was just stupid. And the same thing with the gifts too, guys, keep them the F out of general channel. You're ruining conversations, right? Like stop. That's why Dopey made that channel. Like a couple gifts here and there that are funny and relevant to the conversation are okay. But spamming gifts is annoying. Like that's why there's a gift wars channel. Right? If you want to gift for, do it in there. Because we value our channels. We like to keep them for conversations, right? And we don't want to make a million channels because that's how your Discord looks stupid. And then nobody types in any of the channels. So then there's no point in having the channels in the first place. Right? So we have a screenshots folder for any game that you want to put screenshots in. And then we have like the out of war specific channel. And we have like the gift wars and the general channels just for just generally talking to each other and getting to know each other. Right. So same thing as the VIP chat that is for VIP members. I have either a Twitch subscribe or YouTube. You have access to that channel or unless you've been like an amazing outstanding community member and you help people and shit like that. Then I hand out the gold digger rank. Can you dig out the, the grass patches that permanent? 
Uh, I can dig it out and then drop some dirt in it. <laughs> you guys, dude, that's that is the bane of you guys. This this uh, I can already see it. That's the one that I fall on my sword. Split. You never dig that out. Nope. I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build a monument around it, dude. You guys know how I trigger people. Split, you gonna you gonna destroy that block over there? It doesn't really make any sense. Just because you said something? Absolutely not. Hundred percent no. When will I get my VIP rank in Discord? Um, you gotta link. You gotta link your. Um, you have to link it. You have to sync it up your YouTube with um, Discord. The holy grass patch. How long will it make it before I accidentally dump something there? My little grass spot was covered by a mistake. Almighty grass spot. Hey, if we were playing with the voxel balls, that would be covered up in a heartbeat. It should be in instantly, Zach, if, as long as you're synced up. Also, two guys, keep in mind, we have to keep general channel uh, without the hardcore swearing and stuff like that, right? You got to keep it somewhat PG in that channel. So uh, please, you know, watch out the swearing and, and the hardcore, like anything like hardcore sexual and things like that, right? So in uh, in VIP chat, it's okay to swear. Because it's gated behind, well, money. So. YouTube YouTube does not care. Uh, depending as long as you're not breaking terms of service in those type of channels. Right? So. Because Discord and YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that are partnered. Right? So I still have to make sure that terms of service is followed in those channels. So. Other than that, have fun. But uh, safe for work content, obviously. In all channels. Not overrated. Thank you much for that uh, subscribe, man. Uh, the link, the how you sync them up is you got to go into um, you got to go into Discord in your settings. You got to go to the connections, right? And then you have to um, sync your YouTube with Discord in the uh, the options. Yeah, but you guys, you guys are pretty chill. You guys pretty much understand that, you know, about like the whole terms of service stuff. And I'd appreciate it. We haven't, we've, you know, we've never had anybody really come on stream and be stupid, uh, which is really honestly nice. The worst thing I have to do is ban someone because they, they come in and they start, they start acting racist and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like super hardcore sexist and, and stuff like that. Right. Like, damn, dude. That's the last thing I had to do is, is ban somebody after like years of them being in the channel and they just go stupid. So I thank you guys for, for being not, you know what I mean? Like, damn, dude. Because then, like, if I don't execute you publicly on the channel live, then I can get held accountable for it. So it's like, I got to put you down like an old yeller. You know what I mean? Challenge accepted. It worked, thanks. No problem, man. You can dig up anything in this game, Glenn. We're stupid, but just not in chat. Oh man, dude. We be dumb split, just not chat, dude. <laughs> we have morals, dude. We're good people around here.
You don't act like that at home, do you? Yes. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Of course we do. You don't talk like that at home. That's where you talk like that. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about, Jim? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I can't remember. Everyone in chat's like, what? You wouldn't talk like that in front of your grandma, would you? My grandma's worse than I was. I am, dude. Damn, bro. Yes, yes, I think... <laughs> uh-huh. You mean be respectful to each other? Man, if Grandma got out of line at the dinner table... Dentures would be flying. No, I'm just kidding, dude. 100% a joke. <laughs> Seen a smart ass. Where do you think I learned it from? But you know what I mean? I know what you mean, dude. I'm just bus just busting your balls, dude. Not busting your balls. I just came from dinner with my siblings. <laughs> yeah, same. My family too as well. Yeah. My mom in political correctness was the... She just didn't know any better. I mean, she never hated anybody or anything like that. Just, she just didn't know any better, you know? Hey, you guys bust my balls all the time. I gotta bust yours. Just the way it works around. It's just the, it's just, it's just the uh, you know, the order of things. Damn, dude, I ran out of money. You're brown. <laughs> hey, at home, it is what it is, right? They go into public and they're angels, but at home, they're belt holes. And then, hey, I guess you did something right, right? You did something good. Left a pick of joy in my ah doggo, bro. Oh, I had to look at that picture real close, dude. I thought it was carrying around a dilly in its mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Randy. I thought your dog ran out with your sex toy, dude. Oh, shit, dude. don't really get the whole idea about talking nice and attacking others not doing burying bit my book i hate when people say talk nice is a one word i try to respect subject gets no word up oh talk with this yeah it's it really depends. My family was crazy when we were growing up, dude. Being the youngest, yeah, kind of weird being the youngest. 
I mean, I don't, I don't mind swearing. I don't, obviously. I really don't. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard in Discord. Like, I wish I could spend more time in Discord and chat with you guys and hang out. But you know what I mean. Try my best to answer all your guys' stuff and chat with you guys. Like lately, yeah, I I wish I'd be able to spend as much time as I used to be able to. Hey, take it easy, FS. It's for swear words. No, yeah, it's just, it's mainly for, for like the Discord purposes and stuff like that. It's like, it's mainly just for, for YouTube and stuff like that. If it was a private server and it wasn't ran through Discord, I'd be like, I don't care. Right? <laughs> for, for that type of stuff. How goes the mine site? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. I'll shut it off here in a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Stop the recording while I'm doing things. I keep, I'm getting sloppy in the recording because I'm getting tired. And in my chat and everything like that. Just being a noob. I think I've been doing a pretty good job at answering questions and stuff like that today in the last couple days. There's a lot of you guys. I used to it. There's a lot of you guys trying to get attention. Want to be talking about different things. Missing any other stream? I was at my uh, sister's birthday party. Rip. Well, because well, you're here now. Friend has always been the lottery as a. Uh, Okay to swear around. Yeah, true, true, true. It's different. It, it really depends. It really, it really depends on who you're around. Exactly. I, I think so. I agree. I agree with that. Hundred percent. If I'm around people that swear, I'm gonna swear more. I think that's that. That's a fair assumption, right? I'm just trying to catch up in Discord real quick, too. Got information coming from literally everywhere. Three times. Don't be streamed it. You having fun with the game, Dobby? Yes and no at the current moment. <laughs> right, let me open back Discord back up again. Make sure I'm not missing anything in Discord. I saw up on the mind grumpy. Mark falling in the hole. That's why I'm looking at all your guys' look at all of you guys' blunders, bro. My right, sights are looking good, dudes. The mine sites are looking good, guys. Okay. It's 
Quit knows I don't care. Hey, you've told me I swear too much. I don't know what you're talking about. You do get a little too high split and you curse too much. I remember that coming right out of your mouth, Randy. Okay, dad. Jeez, bro. <laughs> oh, man. How many bars did I need? Like 4,000? Jeez. A mouth of a sailor, Mex Navy. Yeah, well, that would do it. Hmm. What have I been working on? So I kind of went outside the mine today. Kind of moved into this open pit outside here. That's where it's proper English. <laughs> English. I can't even talk right now, dude. My brain's like trying to shut off today. So I came, I didn't do any work in here today, right? I didn't, I didn't do any work in here today. I mainly came out here today and started doing this out here, All right? So since we're going to be doing the big giant open project and all that good, happy stiff. So mainly just been working out here. We have more pay dirt to throw in dirt stacked out one. These things should be full, right? What are these things in it? Yeah, they're pretty good. We still got a lot of gold in here. 200, let's see, three. There's like 1300 bars there roughly that are still stacked up in there that's going to take hours to process right so there's still quite a bit freaking park damn i chat here's a question for you guys if you could have one one thing added to the game one thing you could have one thing added to the game. What would it be? Just one. Just one thing. One thing. I got some other things I gotta do. Dredges, a pet dog. Dredge, let's see. Road lane, pet dog. <laughs> Eat. Dredging. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Actual running plant you have to build. Asphalt pavers, water dredging. What? What the hell, Jim? It's about wishing disease on somebody? Where the hell did that come from? 
realistic production parts like IE hoses and generators. Road paving. Or repairs like Gold Rush. Gold Rush type repairs. Let's see here. Vegetable gardens. Road lane tools. Surveying tools. Guys, you can paint your roads in now. Yep, that's true. That is true. Surveying tools. Better dirt transfer physics. Front loader. Front end loader. Drains. Yeah, dredges is a pretty big one. I think you guys, I think I've seen quite a few times too when I've asked this question. Water pumps and hoses. Multiplayer. Odd support. I was looking at some guys. Cool. Something there. Oh, thought I missed something. Water monitoring? Yeah, water monitoring would be interesting. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah, a road paving machine would be nice. We kind of talked a little bit about that and how it could possibly be done, like theoretically, but, you know, everybody has a different way of building things and stuff like that, creating assets. They know you've been playing a long time when, you, when you're on 1x and the day goes like you're down here. Hmm. Yeah, checking on my gold here. Water monitor for overburden. Safe? Yeah, I'll drop a safe. I'm trying to look at these files here to make sure, like, I can get them done. All right. Let's see here. Save select. Yeah, like, as far as the logging goes, I agree. I think it's nice what we have now, and it works for now. But I would like to see it go, go a little bit more towards the trees falling down and be able to, like, pick them up with machinery and uh, stuff like that, right? I think though it's the world we're at once a new world comes in that he's been talking about once once he goes over to Unreal 5. Once he goes over to Unreal 5, I think that's when we're going to... So I was a guess. Once he goes to UE5, I think that's when all the trees and stuff like that are going to start acting like farms where they fall down their physical objects in the world. Because... Do you, am I thinking about this wrong? You guys let me know. Am I wrong to think of this way? Because I feel like... I feel like he's waiting for Unreal 5 before he puts logging equipment into the game. Like they already have. They already have all those models and stuff like that, right? Like from Farm Sim. I'm thinking he's just waiting to do all the re world rework and trees and logging like that. Right? That's what I'm thinking. That's where my brain goes. Is that Does that make sense? The only reason why I say that is because they do such a good job on the NMC Farm Sim mods, right? That's where my brain goes when I think about logging. That's like my brain automatically goes to like farm sim style logging, right? Because they do such they do such a good job on it. T Bone and those guys do such a great job. Proper water, even groundwater, and rain 
uh, could do pumps and dredges. Yes, we we actually had a really big discussion about that uh, yesterday, about um, the dredges and stuff like that, and the water tables and and stuff like that on stream. And I showed a bunch of pictures of some some concept stuff that I've done in the past, and and uh, I've I've actually sold concepts of a dredging game and an underwater dredging game to companies. I've actually sold them about six months ago. Um, I've kind of like showed pictures of stuff like that over over like to my VIP members and stuff like that over the last like couple years of me sticking around with that type of stuff but um not a coder so coding the full video game not my thing not my thing i'm a complete noob but uh, i've actually been talking to dark and christian about ways to go around giving us a water table possibly but it might have to be sectioned to certain zones because right now it would be very so the problem with water right now in the game is if they were to add a water plane that could be move up and down with a pump so so how i had it how i guess I, I have to just show the picture how i had it was pretty much a hose and a pump i had a water plane right in my maps and how i ended up doing it was when you use the pump when you use the pump the water would slowly go down the water plane would slowly go down right until it couldn't go down anymore like below the plane but this world has such vast territory that it would be hard to have a water plane because in one place everything would just be flooded right and then in certain low areas right so the map would really have to be gone over with a fine tooth right but then having that gigantic a water plane on this size of a map is very difficult because the scale of it and the amount that it's going to take right so like for instance um that was that's i did the concept on this map right here right here on this so I could drain that pond if I wanted to find that. Right. So it was, you know, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's very difficult to say how they're, he, he's going to want to pull that off, right? but it can be done. You can hundred percent be done. So, and, you know, having things like a dredge can be done. Loading. Obviously, you guys know what this would be, uh, you know, built out with the model built out. It's a concept model, right? So this is, it, it can't be done. It's it's not that it can't be done. It's just how he wants to theoretically just trick the players into believing something that is, you know what I mean? That's all gaming really is, right? That's all devving really is, is, is tricking the players into believing something, right? When you're playing give you that uh, that appeal of something that's actually happening that's not there and you know in a sense in a sense here i'll show you a, a prime example of a picture here how these worlds are actually built right so this is how i actually built the voxel terrain with my water planes floating buoyancy underground limitations to where you can only suck out so much of the voxel between you hit the actual like bedrock itself and things like that, right? But this is how it actually looks when you're looking at it from the standpoint of a developer, right? But then when you see the game, when you see the game, what you see is you see something that looks like this. You see something that looks like that, right? You don't see all that extra stuff. You don't see what it is. You just think it is because it looks like what it looks like. But if you go back to this image right here, you actually don't see that. But when you're under the water, you see something like this right that's how it looks like under the water from that but see there's nothing actually there so it's all camera effects and coding and things like that right so that's you're really just tricking the player is all you're doing you're just tricking the player to, to them you know what i mean it's feeling like that so it's all about how you stack up your your stuff to make it feel engaging to the player right but that's the stuff i developed i've was slowly doing that over a period of time and working on a dredging game and, and things like that and kind of, but I never, I'm not a coder and my, my brain does not like coding. So, so I just ended up packing it all up and selling it. So, and it worked, it worked really pretty well. They could dredge underwater, suck with things like that. I, I had other pictures of like that, but when I, uh, when I lost my computer, uh, when I, when actually, when I reformatted, I forgot to bring over certain files. So I kind of lost some, a bunch of pictures and a bunch of stuff there. So. That's just some of the stuff I have from sending other people that I've actually showed. Some of it, there's there's so much more. 
Like if I was to go back through all my conversation to show the VIP members and stuff like that, I would have I have so many photos. I just haven't gone through them all to try to find more of it. Because people keep asking me, like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up, dude. Just, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. It's like, well, I kind of actually do, but here, I'll show you what I mean. But that's, that's what I mean. The dredging can happen. The dredging can happen and, and it's not like it's a thing that cannot. That's the same. So much work gone. No, it's not that the work's gone. I sold the projects, right? I sold them. I don't. I, I don't own them anymore, right? I sold the projects. They're off. Some other development team's probably going to be building them. Who knows if they're when? But um, or who they're going to get sold to? I sold them to a publishing company, and they're going to have somebody else build them. Maybe. Who knows? Publishing companies buy game copies and, and they buy things all the time. Concepts all the time. And then they have, they have development teams that bid to build those games, right? So obviously, so obviously if you looked at those things I just showed you, that one harbor would be kind of like Gnome Harbor, right? It was, I was pretty much building like Bering Sea Gold in a sense. But I broke it up into two sections. I broke, broke it up into like barge style dredges and I broke it up into underwater suction hose dredges just so I could ob obviously package it as two different games so that way obviously I could sell two and make more money <laughs> so, sell one and get the same amount of money or break it up into two separate games and literally get more money so that's what I did it, it, it was it was interesting the whole process of ch chatting with the publishers and and things like that and yes I do have royalty rights still I st if, if the games do get produced if if the games do get produced, I still have license. I still have a licensing deal, so I do. I still I get a percentage of sales. Uh, but I did take a I did take payout as well, so not like I'm getting a massive massive copy. But it was fair. It was it was a fair. I talked to my lawyer and stuff like that, and he recommended that I take a licensing deal and some cash. He goes because he when he was he had another client and he said the same thing. He goes. He goes, most of the time, these games never get built, so you definitely want to take a cash payout. And you also just take a low, low like a 1% is not a bad thing. If they sell millions of copies, that's not bad. He goes, since you have two, he's like, just take take a low percent and take some cash. What he advised me to do, and... So, and it's 100% smart, so... Yep. I wish I was smart enough, dude, to, in my brain, could handle coding, but I just, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? And the reason why I didn't try to do crowdfunding or something like that or hire coders is because I didn't want to turn into a gold hunter situation. You know what I mean? If it went bad and something went sideways, I didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I figured, I figured it was better for me just to wash my hand of it and, and at least get something out of the work. The main thing I got out of it is I was able to learn. That was the main thing I got. I was able to learn, right? I learned a lot about the engine. I learned a lot about it. I had a lot of fun building things. And then in return, I was able to pass it on to some other developers too. Yeah, exactly. It's that fear of you don't know. Exactly. Exactly, Dragon. It's, it's 100%. So, I mean, however Christian's going to adapt water into the world and what we can do with it i've been on it i've been on that because i know you guys want dredges i know you guys want dredges and i know you guys want dredges in out of war and honestly he does too he, he knows you guys do right so at some point i could see him doing a dredge something you know i mean i'll try my best to to help out in concept with him and make it fun and exciting and engaging and stuff like that right I'm, I, I wish I was a coder, man. I wish I wish I was, because I would have just developed those games myself and uh, put them out. They've probably been. I probably would have had one of them out now, because the under the underwater one was actually really easy. It's the above one which was a pain in the ass. It was the. <laughs> I I can't even recall how many computer monitor uh, not monitors but uh, how many uh, keyboards I broke, um, trying with the buoyancy, with the dredge and buoyancy. Oh my gosh. Dude, 
distribution of weight and everything like that was stupid. Like it was, it made me rage, dude. I had to stop working on it for like six months because I just would rage so hard trying to learn how to deal with buoyancy. Because <laughs> here's the thing, if you had a dredge and you're on the open ocean, the chances of it like capsizing something like that would be really high in bad weather. So I, I, my, my brain was like, dude, you got to make sure this thing can sink, right? Or, or, or tip over. But I didn't realize at the time how much complexity that added to the actual thing. And it wasn't until I was talking to one of my dev friends and he was like, dude, you're literally trying to do one of the hardest concept, one of the hardest things that people have been trying to do in a law for a long time. And I was like, he's like, you don't have the skill and ability for that. And I was like, I take your word 100% and I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> he's like, you don't have it. So he kind of gave me an idea of how I could fake buoyancy and still but not obviously the dredges wouldn't sink and stuff like that so it was kind of a bummer because that's just one thing you kind of have to learn your limitations of what you can do when you're in your projects and things like that right so christian's going through that massive on a massive scale and everyone's watching everybody's watching everyone's watching what he's doing everybody wants to see what he's doing he's doing that for everybody straight out I think underwater dredging would be a would be great game. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna chat with them heavily about it, about the dredging. Uh like I said, I'm about the dredging and stuff like that, and underwater dredging. I really do feel like see this pit here that I've made? I really do feel that we should be able to flood this and it fill up with water, and then I can put a dredge on top of here and start dredging or go with like a little suction dredge. And start being able to dredge down here and being like, and start being able to dredge up against this wall. Like you start deteriorating the thing. What's the difference between, okay, coding wise, if you think about it, what's the difference between this pickaxe in my hand and me holding in a nozzle, sucking away this thing like this, but in a smaller scale, right? What's the difference? It's what you're holding. It's an asset and all these things like that, right? That's all it is. No difference. And, oh, and your character's swimming <laughs> instead of walking around. That's about the only difference. Right. And other than that, there's that water plane, like that thing I showed you. Seems like you're floating and swimming. Right. That's all. That's the only difference. So adding what I just showed you guys in those pictures to this is very, very, very easy, actually. Like, I've already sent him all the information that he needs, right? It's just when is it going to fit into his time frame of building it, right? And taking the time to build it is, is the main thing. So why are you mainly waiting for this? This gold to be processed here, guys. Uh, how much longer are we going for? Uh, depending on how long these bars take uh but not too much longer i'm getting kind of exhausted just chatting for so many days in a row and uh kind of need like a day off but or I lose my voice probably like probably like 30 minutes or so we're just chit-chatting at the end of the streams we're kind of just chatting and my gameplay goes out the window Hundred eighty likes today damn you guys thank you guys Honestly, thank you, dudes. You said that, bros? He's processing out the booty. I really want to see that shiny dozer sitting there. You would like to see him finish the game, then add uh, dredging? Uh, dredging would have to be one of those things that would probably, it'd be a, it'd be a massive feature. Um, it would be a massive feature to the game because it would almost be like its own game within a game, if you think about it, but just set in the world. So I think that like, it would be something that he would want to do. Uh, he would definitely have to wait. Wait until you buy a thing that doesn't. I'll, I'm not gonna buy the dozer now. Much. I'm gonna I'm test it off stream. I'm gonna test it on one of my other saves to see if the dozer I'm gonna get to even even works. I'm 
I'm thinking dredging would be better. I'm thinking dredging would be better added once he does the new world. Once he builds the new world in Unreal 5, it would be better to do it after that world has been created and partitioned and things like that. I think it'd be better. It'd just be overall better. Yeah, I'll be buying it after. I just want to make sure I have enough money for it. And then I'm going to jump on the other save and take a look and see what's going on. You guys are saying that you can't repair the blades? Is that what you guys are trying to say? I was playing uh, more on Gold Rush. Did you just buy this game? How'd you, how'd you feel about this game, Rick? If you said it sucks, we're going to ban you. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding, dude. If you say it sucks, dude, we're banning you. We're going to make you play Gold Hunter for like a week. Could be as DLC, but basic water should be part. I agree. I think that I've, I've, I've been poking at him about the water in the game. Like people want to see rivers and things like that. But now here's a question. Here's a question, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to go on a limb and say this. I think they might be a little afraid to add water because and things like that, because they're worried. We're just going to go try to dig it all up and be stupid and dig underneath of them and things like that. Right. So my question to them what the other day was, was maybe they should make the map how Call of Duty makers make their map. They use world partition, right? So when you partition your world out, certain areas cannot be, can't do anything to them, right? So you take the element of how they build Call of Duty and they build it in grids and the grids render differently at different distances and the certain things don't render like perfectly until you get into that grid. And then what happens is all those other zones that are diggable within those grid areas, you make them all nice and you make them beautiful. So there'd be a static part of the map and then there'd be diggable parts of the map, right? That's the only way I could think where certain zones would be more like a marshy area where the water table takes effect. Would kind of do it like that. Chris, dude, thank you much for the, uh, what's up, man? Appreciate that, bud. If you're watching. I'm not quitting Gold Rush yet. Why, why do you have to quit another game just because you're playing another game? I don't get that. Can't quit this game until. Play both. Enjoy both. Yeah, like I said, I I want to see rivers. I want to see like, you know, like I want to see more static map and then huge areas within the map that you buy that are diggable. Like so so to speak. Like if you took Gold Rush and you made the Gold Rush map as big as this map, right? make an English channel tunnel you know what I mean that's that's where I'm thinking I would like I would like to see it but obviously beautiful like Unreal 5 can make right like if, if they if he could copy the essence of what Gold Rush did but the claims are like a thousand times bigger right? like obviously the first starter claim that you buy like the little map it's on the road and there's like a you know what I mean and it's like you know be like it would be the first claim would only be like the size of maybe like maybe like all the claims of Gold Rush put together and then the next claim is like 10 times bigger than that. And then the next claim is like 100 times bigger than that. Right? So on and so forth, right? Or maybe certain starts of the zone are richer in other areas and we have to go prospect those things and, you know, things like that. But kind of like farm sim mixed with gold rush map style building, but uh, have the vastness of this world. We have to have static. I think static map would be good because here, here's my argument with that is that not everybody wants to build a road. Not everybody wants to build a road. Yeah, it's... Yeah, so no, not everybody wants to build a road for, for a thousand hours. You know, to get from one part of the map to the other. Right? With, and drive a semi-truck over that. You know, not everybody wants to do that. So, having infrastructure on the map that's static, that doesn't get changed or can't be deformed or can't be... You know what I mean? I think that's a key. I think that's key. That's, I think that's my big... I want to... That's what I want to see. I want to, that's what I want to see. I like these big maps that we can go anywhere and build anything, but I think it's too big for no reason. We don't even use like 1% of the map. 
That's that's my biggest complaint about the map. Do you even get XP outside of pickaxe? The XP system is kind of broken in certain 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 areas, right? You like the airdrop method? Airdrop method. I thought it just poofed out of nowhere. Harry Potter summoned it. It drops it still? Wait, it's, I didn't even notice. Does it does it still drop from a helicopter? What version do you have, Randy? Oh, Buzz, what's up, man? Damn it up. <laughs> You're not getting anything while digging with a loader <clears throat> and selling? No, the, the the XP you mean hold on, how are you how are you selling your ore? First off, how are you selling your ore? Are you selling it through the sell point? Like the actual sell thing that you that you build? Yes, but uh, do you have the part? There isn't one to replace. Um, selling to the store gives shit XP. Try running dirt into... Hold on. Try running dirt into... If you want to make XP from digging, you're going to want to sell probably... I would assume... I assume it is the... Hold on. It's this sell point. This should theoretically give you more XP unless the, he completely messed up the coding for the XP. Cause right now the XP system is kind of botched. It needs, it needs a lot of love. The XP system is kind of, it's, it's broken. Everything's broken for the XP. The inventory menu, a lot of these things need to be, it needs more work, right? So. It needs more work. This patch theoretically needed probably another two to three weeks, but he wanted to get it out to everybody. Right. So then we could, we could get more eyeballs on it and stuff. So he wanted to get it out. So I got to buy a sell point. Yes. Sell point gives OP XP. Yeah, there you go. That's your answer. So you're just needing to, if you need XP, then you need to sell it like we used to, but you're a new player. So, um, yeah, so you're going to want to place down a sellable sell point. And the sell point gives XP. The stores don't give shit for XP. That's why I was talking to Christian in the, the bug report. People are saying the sell point doesn't give XP. Um, the sell point doesn't give XP. That's why I made the suggestion to him to not, don't make XP from selling, make XP from crafting and then keep the original sell point and dumping ore in there to make a different thing. So the whole the whole thing needs to be theory crafted and gone over again. So I'm probably gonna have to take some time next week to really write and, and write out a comprehensive like flowchart for for level and XP that makes kind of sense and might be fun. So I'm gonna be asking you guys a lot of questions, and then I'm gonna write that chart up in flowchart and I'm gonna submit it to him to see what he thinks about it and and rip it apart, ideas from it, or you might have some other ideas. But uh, right now it's all it's all over the place at the moment. So. It's all over the place and it doesn't really flow quite right. Yeah, it's changed a lot, Cola, dude. It has changed a crap load. Let's go away. Well, when my brain when I come back on Monday, we'll we'll try to uh work that out a little bit more. Today my brain's getting shot, so I've been going non I've been going nonstop since like a week and a half ago. Like with this game, so I only got it a couple days. I only got a finish or more all I would say a somewhat finished patch. And it was mainly like hair split. You're you're good to record now and good to go, go ham. And it's like, well okay. Like most of these production parts, you go to place them, they'd be like ten feet in the air. Like so lots of things had to be changed. I couldn't even do the recordings and stuff. That's the name of the game, though. Always fun, shine, sunshine, and rainbows. But for how much he changed, though, dudes, like bros, for how much he changed, ooh, there was a lot. For how much he changed, right? So. 
So much work was put into this this and getting ready for the next few patches. Like the next few patches are next few updates are gonna be big. They're gonna be real big. The next bit I guess thought this one was big. Just wait till next gen vehicles. Stuff like that. Those patches coming up are gonna be monstrous, dude. I think placing the cell plane in the back. Uh, a lot of people talk to uh, Dark about that because I know what he can do with it is my guess is so so you know the cell point when you can't snap anything to it I'm gonna see if dark can add uh, snapping points to it so we can add hopper extension onto the top very easily I'll chat I'll, I'll send him a message about it and see if he can if he can add that like you see how we snap to this hopper down here right see how you uh, snap to this we need to be able to snap to that cell point like this to be able to build our hopper extensions, right? So, yeah, that's what it needs. Honestly, it needs a, uh, it needs to be able to snap to this, to it. So we can snap onto it and things like that. Yeah, you can make a hopper around it with free building like this. Like if you take your block, say this is the hopper, you can get close to it like this and just kind of eyeball it and then snap it in and then put the hopper around. But ease of use. You see, you see a lot of players that play this game, they really need everything to work exactly right or else they have such a hard time with it versus some other players. I think that he... I think the, it wouldn't be too hard for him to add that to that, the snapping to that, right? Line everything up, make it look good. I'll ask him, like I said, I'll shoot it at him because I know I've seen a lot of people struggling with trying to build a hopper around that thing and just getting pissed off and irritated, so... I'll shoot him a DM and ask him. See what's going on. And dudes, I'm like going cross-eyed over here, dudes. We're almost there. You would like the days to be longer? I mean, in real life? From the game. <laughs> you want real life days to be longer or you want game? You make the days longer. Do this. Just drag this bar all the way over here. Yeah. Hit M on your keyboard. Okay. Go to weather. Take the day length and drag it all the way over to 1x. Take your night length. And you can actually like literally just go. I just do one and one on each because it. And then when I want to slide the day back, I just go like this. Slide the day back. Oh, get some sleep then yeah i just want to process these bars real quick and we'll have our little ending chat here get your guys' questions in. burn town on me by now just split always rant about that fucking no damn multiplayer what you call a glory hole all we have to do is get down and dig it because that's where our money's gonna be right there doritos chip <laughs> doritos chip dude cola bud thank you much for that fiver dude it's like the hell The first time well, I was actually talking with this after stream and chat with, with, with Dopey and Varus and a couple guys. Dude, thank you much for that, Dono, bro. So, <laughs> Varus was laughing because he's like, dude, I remember the first time you played Out of War, you were so just like. You, you were so just wanting to rip it apart, but you were just trying to be nice at the same time, too. <laughs> like. <laughs> But, you know, like I say, Christian's, Christian's a good guy, dude. And, I, and I've always known Christian's a good guy. So, it's, yeah. It's, there was, there's a lot of things he could have done. But, he's getting there. 
And I know, and I know he means well, and I know he wants to do well for everybody. So, hola, dude, coming to VIP as well, man. Holy shit, dude! Forty-seven new members today. Forty freaking seven new. Members. Gotta be quiet because our neighbors are gonna get pissed. And yeah, 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 yeah. We live in a downstairs suite, so. Yep, we got some elderly ass neighbors. And apparently, after seven o'clock or five o'clock in the afternoon, we have to be quiet. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, she forgot about the time of day. See a wealth of growth. I'm gonna be doing Dragon. I'm gonna be doing a video on on the then to now, but I want to wait until the open. I want to wait until the next generation vehicles come in. I was gonna do it at the end of the new year, where where Out of War has came in one year's time, but I'm I think I'm gonna wait until the next gen equipment hits. And then that's a video that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be making. So, yeah, that's that's what we're that's what I'm thinking of doing. So once that comes out, I want I want it to really look different. You know what I mean? I was hoping that the world update. Maybe I was even thinking about waiting till the world update, and then doing a where the game is there and then where it is now. Well, it's Rick remembering up, brother. Much love, dude. Welcome back to the VIP. You reclaimed your gold bars, dude. Love, man. Much love, dude. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I kind of want to wait until that something's like super crazy. And then I'm going to go back and go through all my old footage. And I'm going to go back and, and I'm going to look through all my old footage of the game. And and um, I'm going to make a really nice, you know, to then to now. But right now, right now it's kind of hard. You don't really see much, right? So it's kind of like visually, it's not that much different. But stuff-wise, it is. So I, I want the visual package to go along with the stuff package. You know, I think that'd be a more impactful video. So I think it'd be more better for me to wait. Then that way, you guys can add that video at all the other content creators that are gigantic and be like, "You should play it again, noob." Help out Christian even more. Right? Dude, we get those big boys playing this game again. Christian will get a lot of support, dude. That's a lot of eyeballs, you know what I mean? That's what we need. I'm a, I'm a small fish. I'm a small fish. Come on. Those big guys playing the game was insane, dude. Hey, take it easy, John. Yeah, here's here's a little kind of something for you guys. Like when Dre played the game, it took me to equal Dre's views, it took me like 130 videos to equal one of Dre's videos. Right? <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> So, him playing this game would put a lot of eyeballs on it again. Same thing with like Civil Engineer and Let's Game It Out and those big guys, right? The big, big boys. We need the big, big boys to play it. That's the plan, man. Help Christian out the best we can. Exactly, man. That's that's all I'm trying to do, man. Dre's the reason why you have the game? Hell yeah, dude. Good on Dre for playing it, man. I know I know a lot of my subscribers are Dre subscribers. I know that. I 100% know. I, I can see where most of my subscribers come from. Dre, Civil Engineer, all those dudes. The big guys. Do you think the next-gen equipment will utilize the GPS part of the vehicles? Yes. The GPS is, uh, something like that. Yeah. The, the, the GPS should be just, it, the GPS is probably going to get reworked over again a few times over the next probably year or so. I don't think it's exactly where he wants it, but it was a temporary fix because so many people were like asking for it. Yeah. He make meme game of other games, but, uh, I also bought a few EA of watch Dre play. Yeah. I mean, I said Dre's a great content creator. He puts eyeballs on games. People buy it. Helps the devs. I just wish I had that much swinging power. You know what I mean? To be able to help Christian out more. Like I, like I was telling him the other day. I was like, I said, dude, I wish, I wish I could do more for you, but I'm only so big. You know what I mean? So I wish I had a million or two million subs to uh, promote this game with. You know what I mean? I really do. Like, honestly.
Got your magical little Pokemon. Nice. And Dre led me to Brito and then Brito to you. Yeah, we have a nice little circle of content content creators like, you know, that have that have played that I know, like Brito and uh Kerbo. It was nice to see him actually make some content on the game. Um he said he waited like he said he didn't even he said even in his video, he's like he's like I I've been following Split for like a year and then I finally it finally looked decent enough for me to pick up and want to play, and I'm glad that he did. Right? So it was nice to see Brito play some a little bit. You heard him get that two million subs. Dude, I'm fine. We grow big. It is what it is. I'm happy just chilling and hanging out with people that have the same passion that I do with the game that I play. I'm okay with that. And you guys have been super supportive, so I can't ask for any more. I am super content and stuff like that. And I kind of like being able to chat with you guys the way I do. And I think it would kind of suck if I had a chat that was spamming so fast that I couldn't read any of your edges shit. You know, so. I don't know. It's a, it's a double-edged sword. You know what I mean? It's a double-edged sword. Yeah, let's see him out. He does put a lot of content in. I, well, I know him and his community do a lot of gaming hours, and he uses that footage and stuff like that, right? So I know, I know they both, I know, I know his, and most of the big content creators do that. Most, almost all. It's not just one dude playing all those games because you can't theoretically play 80 hours in one day. Right? So how does, you know what I mean? You can't. So most of those people that do those crazy, stupid projects, it's not just one person doing it. It's like literally five or six people doing it. And you know what I mean? You don't have that much time in the day as a content creator to play one game for 24 hours for like weeks straight. How does that get done? It's done because you have other people helping you and doing stuff, right? That'd be like if I was making this mega project and I do it all myself, it's not going to get done until a thousand hours gets played. The math doesn't add up. You know what I mean? So that's how con content creators buy footage and they also have their mods and their team help them make that footage, right? So that's generally the way the industry works. Content creators buy Big content. I've sold content to big content creators before, so, so I know it works like that. Actually, a way for people to make money is selling content to content creators. And content creators will actually pay if they make a lot of money on their channel. They actually pay people to do that. Like I was offered to somebody, I, a big channel, a big channel, a big boy channel wanted me to be the one that did all of their gold rush content and they just did the voiceover but the amount of hours i would have put in would have been like to get like 200 bucks was pathetic which is why a lot of really big youtubers don't stream live exactly my my you dude you know the, you know the funniest thing is is every content creator that i watched play ksp over like the last like seven years plus some of the big boys i watched them try to stream it live they are horrible at the video game they're absolutely horrible it's a they're so horrible the amount of times they had to save and revert save and revert save and revert save and revert it makes this it made the stream like unenjoyable to watch and i was kind of like damn dude so how many how much editing do you have to do to make your videos look as good as they are like Dude, how many takes did that take you? Like, holy shit, bro. You know what I mean? I don't, know why. I don't even know why I'm running dirt. A damn addict. <clears throat> no, that's just the name of the game. That's the name of the game. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, most, most of them don't live stream. The big YouTubers, most of them don't. And so that's the thing. Like, pe people were trying to say, like, oh, Dre does all he makes all the footage for his games all the footage for his games it's like dude Dre streams he was streaming on twitch for a long time if he's streaming for eight hours a day and it's not anywhere close to the game and he just recorded that footage th this this time yeah he got the game early and he has a recording schedule but you know what i mean like 
there's still not that many hours in the day to make that many episodes and all that stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then have it all edited and everything like that. You gotta buy footage. That's just like I said, there's nothing wrong with it, man. Sometimes people just want to hear your voice and your humor on doesn't matter whose gameplay footage it is. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Does it really matter? Do you really care that they use that footage? You know what I mean? Do you, would you would you guys give a shit? You guys give a shit that they use other people's footage, but they just use their they're just memeing anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? It don't matter. You can obviously tell when they played it. You can obviously tell when they played it because it's it's not as in depth. Like, uh, let's game it out, right? Some of that stuff, there's no way he did all of it that himself and did all the other videos and all the other projects. You're, there's not enough hours in the day and there's not enough hours in the month to do that, right? Those type of big pro projects, right? There's just not. That'd be that'd be like if somebody tried to tell me like, oh hey, split this guy's coming out with a video and he just started yesterday on this map. And there's already a video of this mega project that's like we know either it was either a cheesed there's, there's a big difference if you cheese everything it's easy for instance if i was to say f this challenge i could cheese this map out and have that build that damn built in a week okay and then make a crazy crazy cool video about it no problem at all i could cheese this out within a heartbeat also too i have developer tools so i could easily just cheese everything Right. If it's good content, it's, if it's still good content, no. If it's still good, if content's content, man, no matter how you're digesting it, no matter how they got it, it doesn't matter. And I'd never knock anybody for that. It's a value. It's valuable in this business, right? And this is a business. It's about making money. They do. They do make money. You do make money doing this, so they're gonna make that opportunity to make as much money as possible. Yeah, like if I, I mean, I could do a cheese build in a heartbeat, <laughs> like. That's what this that's what the other map is for, season three. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something on that and I'm gonna do a bunch of recording on that. But it's kinda hard because I stream this for eight hours, eight to ten hours, and then I have to go to work. Right? So it's gonna be hard for me to really do any extra on top of the streaming. So trying to find time to do that stuff is gonna be very difficult. So I gotta get it done during streaming, I gotta do it live. And that can be very monotonous for a lot of people and very boring and it's hard to string together content when you're trying to like record plus talk to people, chat, hang out. You know, that's what it is. It's mainly what it is. So it's, it's, it's just, I'm more of a live streamer than a video creator. So these goat feet, dude, are really bothering me when you're walking on the side of these things. Look at that, dude. Isn't that trippy? You don't stare at my feet, bro. Look. Stop staring at my feet. It's creepy. Weird. Feet are bent sideways. I got broken ankles. For watching live streams like yours, where there's uh, no BS, yeah, it's that's it's not for everybody. It's not for everyone. For me, I for me, I just knew I needed to start learning how to edit videos and start learning things like that because being a YouTuber and not having videos and not be able to do videos is kind of like a death blow almost. It's almost like a death blow. Grows a mountain goat. It's something I really wanted to do to uh, broaden my horizons a little bit. You know what I mean? Just like a normal, just like normal working for the for the man. Yeah. Hey, take it easy, Rick, man. And thank you much for that uh, membership, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be rolling here soon, dude. So let's get these gold bars. I'm gonna have to wait to buy the dozer because I need to do a little bit of stuff here real quick. So. We'll take a look at the uh, dozer. We're over the 4,000 bars. Let's go ahead and get the money for them. Okay, let me take a look here. E. Go to sell. 600,000 dollars in gold bars. What we made today. Ooh. Well, not all of today. A little bit was yesterday. Because the game's evolving, bro. Game's evolving and morphing into something great, Ethan. You know? And sometimes you're going to have to eat a little bit of change, and some people may not like that change and things like that, but for change to happen, you got to gotta innovate, and you got to change things, and you got to add things, and not everybody's going to be happy with those decisions, but 
I think for me personally, I think it's better for the welfare of the game, and I think it's do well. What's up, Bailey? Six hundred fifty-two thousand. What's our up? Look at some toys. Look at some toys. If the dozers are broken, no. Shit, dude. put the pickaxe away. Put the pickaxe away, dude. loaders well I sold the current wheel loader we could jump all the way up to a Arvik uh, 510 which is one of my favorite front end loaders if the dozers end up being broken that's probably going to be the move or mm, or or and this will all be a vote. We're not going to do any. I'm not doing anything without you guys. I ain't going to do anything without you. This will be. This will be on Monday. We'll be back on Monday to stream. Or I go for a hardcore mega grind, and we just buy the beast mode. <laughs> we go. We go from a, a two hundred to a twenty three fifty. Man, I'm at 600,000, 650K now. And we got the whole thing a rolling. Right? We got the whole Mamma Jamma rolling already. Right? All we have to do is buy some more Draymite, blast out this lip, and keep blasting it out and keep running. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Then pile drive this thing into oblivion, just keep running gold. Smack up these things all day. Make sure they're running. Maybe even buy some more. Keep smacking. Keep smacking. Buy that big boy. Five thousand something more pay dirt, right? But that big boy loader is going to be more powerful than that dozer is going to be. If the dozers are broken, like you're saying. If you need if you need some type of repair, I don't know. I do not know. I have not looked into what you're saying. From the uh, case I twenty one G. Yeah, we'll make we'll make that we'll make all those decisions on on Monday, guys. Make all those decisions on Monday. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I'll be hanging out in Discord, dudes. I'll be in Discord. You guys want to come in chat? I'll be in the VIP section. Come on and say hello. I'll be off and on. So if I come in, I might be doing something around the house or something like that or working on a video. If you see my things muted or something, don't be free. Come on and say hi. Everyone's pretty chill. We normally just sit and chat and talk about farts and being stupid and everything we're trying to talk about right now, pretty much in a sense. Um, yeah, I'll be doing that. I'm going to I'm gonna try to do the drone video. I think I'm going to do the drone video for tomorrow because everyone seems to be asking that question a lot. And I might make a few... I might make a few shorts. So if I was to make a short about how to do something, what do you guys think I should do? I'm gonna turn on uh, bulk mode. All the main questions I get asked every day. <laughs> Is that what I should do? Is that what I should spend my time doing tomorrow? So then that way you guys can just like spam. Like, check out the legs. You know? I think, I, yeah, I, like I said, I just want to help people, man comes to this i don't want i don't want to see anybody irritated over something that's so simple you know what i mean and i really don't i i think that that's i mean if i spend my if i take my time doing that tomorrow i think that that might be the best thing bulk mode short would be good i think i agree i think a bulk mode short how to use the drones would be a good one um yeah I think that'd be a good, I think if I'm not streaming, because tomorrow, like I said, I just want to be able to get away from my computer and not be sitting here constantly, right? Then start the week over, and then Tuesday, I take, I'm take taking Tuesday off too, so. How to attach the buckets? All right, I can, I can do a couple things. Uh, I'll do a couple. The shorts don't take very long. Real quick. That's an often one that gets asked in Discord. Okay, so maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. If we're sitting in, if I'm sitting in Discord... I'm working because these videos shouldn't take me too long. They're just real quick. So we'll do, we'll do some little teeny micro how to's. So those don't take very long at all. Yeah, that'd probably be the, probably the best way to do it. 
get some help out, get some information out there. Don't need to do no long drawn out videos of being like, here's my wash paint. Go in there. <laughs> we do enough of that in stream, dude. We don't need any more of those. We don't need any videos like that. Doesn't need to happen. All right, chat. 191 likes. You guys are beasts. We are literally gained 200 subscribers in two days. The two and a half days. So many new people. So many new faces. So many new conversations. Gross. All the comments you guys in the comment gang after these videos and all the other videos and stuff like that. Leaving comments, even if it's just thumbs up stuff. You guys have been smashing it, dudes. Trying to get through you guys' uh, comments and stuff like that too. But uh, thank you guys very much with the algorithm, dude. That helps out a lot. I noticed a, I already noticed an increase with just a few, few of you guys that have left comments and all the videos. I noticed that YouTube started pushing me out to more people and more impressions and stuff like that. Right. So it helps out, man. It helps. We want those, the impressions means YouTube is sending me out to more people to potentially click on these videos. So keep up the good work dudes. And I appreciate it, man. Honestly, guys, like everyone who's been gifting, joining up much love. I'm going to, I'm going to cook dinner. And I'm going to start working on the time lapse video, and then members, I'll, I will have that up for the members uh, before I go to sleep. And then in the morning, if you're not a member, it'll be live around six o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, that's what's going down, bros. Other than that, dudes, you guys are fantastic. You guys are amazing as always, dudes. You guys are great, bros. Much love. Don't take anything too serious. I say, honestly, don't. Whatever happens in stream stays in stream. I'm just a dummy. I'm just a big dummy, bro. I just normally just talking. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> don't be offended. Dude, honestly, you guys are amazing, man. Much love, everybody. And uh, happy digging, bros, tomorrow. And we'll catch you guys on Monday if I don't hit you guys up in Discord. And uh, be safe. If you're working or driving, working right now. I know we have a lot of truck drivers. Be safe out there, guys. Be safe, bros. Spend time with your family if you're not gaming, bros. We'll catch you guys Monday. Peace out.